Hello, 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 beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new RuneScape video. On the 27th of November, the Leagues 5 is going to begin. And I believe right now is by far the best time to binge watch some League content. So, because of that, we compiled an entirety of the last year's League into one single episode. So you guys can maybe prepare a little bit or binge watch something on the side whilst you grind a brand new League. From the 27th on, you can expect a League video every single day for the first couple of weeks and I'm extremely excited to show you my plan I have for it. But for now, enjoy the last year's league and hopefully this video will be a nice refresher of your memory. I feel like leagues is the best time to actually fully enjoy the game. As you guys probably know, I've reached dragon rank in every single league so far. So I guess that's kind of going to be my goal for this one as well. But most importantly, we're just going to have fun and experiment a lot of different things. So that being said, I guess let's jump 20 minutes into the future and enjoy leagues for reloaded. Ladies, gentlemen, we got in. Uh, we start off by, I guess, just completing the tutorial. Boom, boom. This is same as the old stuff, I think. We're just gonna click some continuous stuff while they teach us how to play the game. Uh, and I do believe the very first thing that the game will let us do is pick our first uh, relic. I think the relics is what they're called. Uh, here is where we can select the areas that we will play. I have uh, two different ideas to what I want to do. If I go mage, I'm gonna go desert Asgarnia Kandarin. If I go range, I'm gonna go desert Asgarnia and Fremenic. However, I am still unsure. You have a new area available for your sh selection. Already, bro. What do I pick first? Wait, this is a problem, bro. Out of... Dude, I have to decide. Do I just start with Asgarnia or do I start with Desert? Oh, you have to... Oh, I see. They let you pick Karamja. That's good. I didn't want to... Oh my goodness, it's so dark. It's alright. Didn't let me zoom in, but apparently we've unlocked Karamja right now. And now we're gonna have to unlock one of the things. And this is where you have three really good options at the start. So, because I need to have something AFK to do, uh, I'm gonna pick Endless Harvest. However, Trickster, very good option if you pick something like Mauritania or something like Kandarin, uh, where you can go ahead and uh, do a bit of thieving and whatnot. Production Prodigy is very good all around, but super click intensive. Endless Harvest, I plan on AFKing three skills to 50 million XP, which is going to be a lot of points, which is going to be very AFK, which is my reason of choice. Again, if you're super active and you want to like super try hard, don't pick this. But for me, when I'm doing my downtime stuff, when I need to just relax or, or, or do something else, this is going to be perfect for us. So we got fishing, woodcutting and mining. And because I also plan on taking the clue relic later on, I can be fishing and getting my clues fully AFK, which is basically what I'm looking forward to. So let's go ahead and select our endless harvest here. And uh, that's going to be my very first relic unlocked. Perfect. Now we can end the tutorial and we can actually zoom in and play the game. Why do I look bald? What is my character? Oh my. All right, let's figure it out. Where do we begin? We got this. We got that. We got this. All right. Do I start by thieving a bit? Let's let's thieve a bit. If I remember correctly from the past is to actually get 25 coin pouches and then open them. So that's, I already know that's a task and it probably will still be a task. So, oh, I also noticed that the game gave me a pet already, by the way, because you have it from the past leagues. First level five, dude, we're going crazy on the level up department. Okay, so there we go. This is one of the first things that I knew for a fact we could do. And that is to open 28 pouches, get a bit of coins, finish a task and uh, let the task streak begin. 10 laps of drainer agility course. You know what? I'm down to do it. So at the start of leagues, it can be quite chaotic deciding what you're gonna start off with. We made our way to Drainer. I'm gonna do 10 laps and I'm gonna stay here until I see a Mark of Grace as well. That's going to complete a couple of tasks. And then also, I quickly got 16 woodcutting by just chopping regular trees. And then whenever I don't know what task I'm planning on doing next, I'm simply gonna result back to chopping some trees. No matter where I am in the world, when I'm unsure what I do, I just go chop trees, Everything goes directly to bank and then I can plan my next couple of steps. So that's my plan for now. We're going to start off by doing 10 laps and getting a mark of grace. We got first level 20. We're going to cry on a field right here real quick. Okay, there it is. And four more laps and then we are doing a bunch of tasks which I have written down whilst doing agility. 10 agility laps are completed. Beautiful. And 10 laps of drainer are also completed. Now let's go ahead and do a bunch of our tasks. First, we start off by... 
burning a few things. Okay, looks like we're 15, so I'm not gonna bother with regular logs anymore. Make a quick oak one, and that's gonna be the tasks that are very simple to do, very fast completed. I might genuinely push for 30 something wood cutting just to be able to do the willow as well. Uh, but there is burn some oak logs, and we're just gonna chop some more oaks right here on these trees. It appears we're now level 21 fishing. Didn't want to get all the way to 25, but I'll take it. Why is this guy burning? I'm so confused. But now we got some anchovies, we got some shrimp, we can cook it. That should be some XP, but also I think that's some tasks. So let's just go ahead and I don't even know why I'm burning my own, but hopefully the game lets me burn something. Just let me burn like one. That's perfect. Burn some food is a task. You can actually probably get lucky here and not burn anything. Or you can be me and burn everything. It is what it is. And let's cook some shrimp. Beautiful. Basically right now I'm just working on getting some super easy and fast total levels. Whilst I'm planning out the rest of the journey. I successfully cook five pieces of food. Also simple tasks. Uh, and uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and cook everything I have here. Okay, a little bit of cooking later and we are probably gonna end off with 95 cooking. So it's gonna be time to do a bunch of tasks that we have written down. We're gonna go here, we're gonna do a little dance. Bang. We're gonna go here, we're gonna visit death. Sure, that's it. I don't need to talk to you, goodbye. That's gonna be one mine copper thingy. There we go, that's mine copper. Now I need to mine 10 tin. Oh, there we go. Nice. Tentinor, let me get out of here, man. There's too many people and I'm not tick manipulating, so dipping real quick. So I need to enter this place. That's gonna be a task. Nice. Ooh. Okay, so that's a goblin defeated. If I pick up his bones real quick. That is bones buried. Let me just guess if there's a drink a beer one as well. That would be too clean. Didn't get it. Burn 100 willow logs. That could be one of the ones we should do. I would like 200 coins for a steel axe first before I do that one though. And then there's a chop 100 willow as well. And then it's fletch a willow shortbow, which is just 35 fletching. Also, I need a knife. I really need a knife. But that's everything to do with willow. Okay, so let's get this to 30. That's gonna be our next goal. And then to chop 100 willow to burn, we can do the fletching tasks as well. There it is, achieve our first level 30, a bunch of points, and we get wood cutting to level 30 as well. Now it would be nice to get 200 coins for a steel axe right now, but first I'm just gonna make my way to Varok, and we're gonna do some Varok tasks. The goal right now is to not worry about tasks too much, but push for the next relic. It's gonna help us teleport around the game a little bit better. I'm not going fairy rings. I will go the globe trotter. I'm, I don't know. I'm still in the dilemma, but there's my first 2k coins. Let's get the 10k and then move on. Okay, there is 5k and now let's try not to die. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Uh, is there a task for the boots on the bottom? There might be. Uh, but anyways, there is 10k. Let's get the boots if they are a task, which I think they are. I am... Very tempted to do globe, but fairy is also really good, man. I think fairy is really decent. Okay, let's take a look. I fully gambled. I don't know if this is a task or not, but let's just uh, speculate it. Okay, nice. Okay, so how much of this money am I willing to lose? That's the question. Because how hard is it to actually get money for me? I'm really not sure, but I'm gonna go ahead and just risk it a little bit and buy a staff of fire here of the start. There we go. Oh, and that's a task. Beautiful. And let's just buy a bunch of runes is what I'm thinking. 50 of those, 50 of those, just so I can cast everything. Let's just cast this for now. I'm doing this for cosmetics. I've always done leagues. I'm doing it for fun. Okay, that's a guard defeated. I'm just gonna guess there's something to do down here as well, probably. Wait, I could just go kill a moss giant, right? Can I slash with this? Hack, smash, chop, that's slash. Okay, I think I can do it. I'm like doing some the randomest stuff right now though, not gonna lie. I didn't bring any food. Probably not very smart now that I think of it. Oh wait, but this is multi. I hope not too many people have the same idea. Okay, there's one guy in there. He's gonna die. He's having a rough Christmas. Okay, what are we doing? Can I pull him like here? Let's just try it. Fuck. Okay, this should be fine, right? He shouldn't be able to come here. All right, it should be, it should be doable. And then I hope there's one where you like bury a big bone or something as well. And then I need to just get a knife and we are we're solid. Okay, there we go. Maybe there's one to cast a fire strike as well. Okay, combat level 10 is a task. We're getting super close to the next relic unlock. Uh, there's a nature rune. Beautiful. Insult head. Not bad. That's a task. Can I bury this? Is that a task? That is not a task. Uh, let's pick some of these up. I could actually get a rune axe as well 
from the spirits, right? Okay, let's go do that then. I'm down to get a rune axe, honestly. How do I not die here though? That's the question. We go here and then we teleport. Please tell me I can teleport. Right, we're good. Nice. Okay, we've milked a cow, we made some flour, and now we're gonna insult Aggie real quick. You mad old witch, you can't help me. Oh, that's messed up. And she stole my money. That's messed up. Uh, but anyways, I'm speedrunning 20 uh, points right now, so let's just enter the Drainer Manor, and then we're gonna be able to get a little bit more XP. Okay, there. And now, where's the chair? I need to get followed by the chair. Hey, there it is. Beautiful. We now have enough points to unlock a new relic. So I've actually had enough time to think and decide my plan. So I'm very much thinking about going desert Asgarnia Fremenic. And in the Fremenic, I can make a nexus and I can fully deck out my house. And if I do that, Fairy's Flight is better. Because Fairy's Flight gives you a Fairy Mushroom, which basically allows you to teleport to either Fairy Ring, Spirit Tree, or Tool Leprechaun. So basically, if I put a tree in my house, I can just teleport everywhere in the game. But Globetrotter, on the other hand, basically allow us to teleport everywhere around the game already, right? So this would be like the, the first good option. This would also be a good option, and, and this is where another dilemma comes in, because I genuinely don't know which one I would prefer. I mean, Globetrotter would be amazing right now, being able to teleport to, like if I click it, being able to teleport through a fully upgraded jewelry box, all the teleports from the Portal Nexus, basically at the very start of the game can be super solid. But if I go back and I go Ferris Flight again, teleporting to any Fairy Ring, Spirit Tree or Tool Leprechaun seems pretty decent. Dude, I don't know, man. Ah. I'm going fairy ring. I've decided. Let's go to relics and let's just take it, bro. I'm gonna take fairy's flight. Select it. Let's just get it over with. Boom. There we go. We have it. So let's see how this thing works. I am. I kind of want to get a rune X right now. So if I click teleport, I can then decide to pick fairy ring, spirit tree, or two leprechauns. So let's go ahead and pick fairy ring. Bam. There it is. Beautiful. Can I? Kill some of these now. I have an X. This can give me either a Steel X or even better a Rune X or even better a both would be quite solid. I don't have that many runes, but I'm willing to spend 5k on it. So let's take a look. So if I go here, here, I can go ahead and just attack this. And this is the same thing I did in the last rune, if I remember correctly. But we don't have that many casts, but we can get extras. That's a Mithril X. That's already very good. We can already use that better than Steel for sure. Today is a good day, man. Today is an absolutely phenomenal day. We just got a rune X. Beautiful. I don't think I need to stay here any longer. We're just gonna go ahead and teleport to Grand Exchange. And we are going to go ahead and actually do our very first thing that we want to do, which is to get 100 Willow Logs, because that's easy. We're gonna get levels in the process. We're gonna utilize our rune X in the process, which is also one of the tasks. So really good, we got lucky there. I don't really need Adamant 1 either, so we're just gonna use Mithril tier 41. That is beautiful start, and we can now AFK and plan the rest of the route. There we go. Chop some logs with the rune X, already completed, beautiful. Okay, we got ourselves 102 logs, and now we're gonna go ahead and burn all of them. But first, I need to get a higher fire-making level, so nice little process. Let's get it done. We're almost done with the first 30 fire-making. That should now allow me to burn all of these logs for more XP and more tasks. So let's get this done quickly. We burnt all our willow logs. This is now done. Beautiful. Whilst trying to get back into the Jagex launcher so I can actually play the game on rune light like I would want, I decided to AFK some willows. We're now 50 woodcutting. We got a little task completed. I'm gonna stay here until this Jagex launcher thing starts to work for me. Uh, but man, that's frustrating. Okay, there it is. That's Dark Wizzy done. And I do believe if it lets me get into the Jagex account, I can actually start doing some quests now. All right, a few quests, we get this done. We did the Romeo and Juliet, we do Cook's Assistant, that should give us some points. And if not, we should be able to cook something on this range now. But for that, I need a fish, which I don't think I have. And there's no bank down here, oh my god. Okay, so this should be a task that's pretty fast, and then... I need something that's gonna give me a bit of money, because I don't have enough. But there should be a dog somewhere here. Yo, I'm gonna do this, this guy's gonna give me coins, for sure, right? Hold up. I'm so excited. I'm gonna do it, bro. Watch this. He's gonna give me a thousand coins. It's gonna be great. Pick the odd one out. Bam. Just the best to ever do it. The speed and the technology. Here we go. The fish. And bam. Okay, here we go. We're the winner. Oh my god, a thousand coins. This was blessing from Jagex. It's exactly what I needed, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yes, dude, I can buy two more of these and finish the quest. We're good. Gentlemen, I would like to make an announcement. It took us three hours 
but we managed to log into Runelight and now I can actually play the game. Oi, oi, oi. Dude, I'm happy, man. Let's go. This is huge. Wait, do quests give bonus XP on this? I don't actually know. Bang, little bed. Already 12. That's actually solid. Looks like we have enough planks as well. Money seems to be quite tight on this account though. But maybe if this gets me up to like Oak Larder, I can also do that later. There we go. That's 18 and the last thing. Yeah, on Trickster, it's very easy to make money. Fire sale also. But there it is. Nice. Now own the player owned house. I think if I open these crates, we get a bunch of resources, which is pretty good. I don't know if I need this. I'm just gonna guess it and hope that entering my house is actually a part of the quest and it is and with that we can now unlock a new area which is perfect i've had a little bit of thinking and obviously i think i mentioned it earlier i am very decided what i'm gonna play i'm gonna play asgarnia fremenic and desert arranged but because of that i kind of want to take asgarnia first even though it has a lot of late game tasks just so I can start utilizing my Dorgish and Crossbow early. I'm gonna do it. I don't know if it's good, but I guess you can just look the rest of the video and see if the decision was good. I will tell you soon enough, I don't like to do like crazy planning and do like all these things. I just wanna go with Asgarnia. We'll see if it's good or not. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So let's pop Asgarnia open here. Uh, this is now going to give us a bunch of cool stuff. We're gonna have entrances to like black dragons. We're gonna be uh, obviously later on God Wars. Also, if I max, I'll be able to get a max cape here. Here. Cyclops, Serb, uh, Kriara, General Grador, Ziliana, Kril, Nex, Whisperer, and Superior Slayer creatures. So all of that sounds pretty good to me. Wait, Desert gives Dorgeshen. Wait, 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 wait. How do you get the Dorgeshen if you unlock Desert? Then I might be able to do that first then. Should I just do Desert then? Is there like a lot of tasks for Desert? Okay, I'm just gonna do it. We're just gonna not overthink it and we're just gonna unlock Desert first. Since it's a plan of what I want to unlock anyways. There it is. Desert is ours. And this also auto-completes a bunch of things, right? Because look how much stuff just gets done. So that's actually pretty good. These are medium tasks as well. Lost tribe, below house miner. Like, wait, I didn't actually think Gertrude's cat. So all of this just gets auto-completed. Okay, did Alcarid agility core still 30? We're now gonna go back to Varrock actually to get another task by just simply doing the lap and also getting to like 35. And then we're gonna go do a few agility pyramids because our money situation is absolutely horrendous this early on. Obviously, if we went with a trickster, it would be a little bit easier, but we didn't, so we are broke. I made it to the top, and if I start failing three times, again right oh no 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 Oof. this is exact oh wait one more let's see this this is exactly what happened earlier i made it to here failed once failed twice failed three times went all the way to the bottom i've tried since level what 30 agility we're now 41 we haven't gotten a single pyramid top we had to bank twice buy full inventory of kebabs let's just say we're struggling a bit but this is it this time we're gonna get the top and actually get a bit of money i believe so i don't know if this is already a task no this is just a desert task but when we cash this in for money, it's also going to be a task. Okay, let's see the XP drop. If I got a bit lucky earlier, I would have gotten this big XP drop. It's 5,000 only. I mean, I guess it's pretty decent, right? So we would have gotten a bunch of XP. Uh, but anyways, that's 43 agility. I think I'll do like one more top. Basically, I need enough money to buy Dorgeshin crossbow with bolts, with a bunch of other stuff. So 20k seems about right for now, but I can always return here if I really need money. Uh, however, I'm just hoping I don't really need money. There we go, 10,000. That's obviously a task. 40 points is pretty decent. My next goal is to push for these 190 points, but first let's get 10 more K. There we go. We're gonna run away with 20K. Agility level is 46. So after quickly cashing this in, my next goal is to get 190 points as fast as possible. If I trade this guy, he now has the Dorgi, which is, it is gonna be beautiful. And then how many do I get if I buy one of these? It's just 100. I'm down to go down to like 15k, that should be enough, especially after we are able to unlock the next relic. I'm not gonna be using that yet, but this is gonna be really good. We're gonna buy one of the rods, we're gonna buy 10 bait, and the rest is just gonna be few packs of feathers. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna catch this many, but the idea right now is we're gonna catch 100 lobsters, 50 salmon, 50 swordfish. But I guess first thing is we are just gonna be using this, and also catching one salmon should also be a task here on the Karamja. But yeah, basically a bit of fishing should get some nice levels, but also some good XP. 
Hey, there we go. Catch a salmon on Karamja. Lots of points, only 130 missing. And now we're gonna catch 50 of these and then we're gonna move on to lobsters. 50 salmon caught. We got all the way up to 46 fishing. I don't know why I said that so slowly, uh, but that means I can now go ahead and do a bit of lobster catching. I have the money. Do I want to catch a hundred lobsters right now? I might as well. I hope 10 bait is enough, otherwise I don't really know. Yeah, there we go. We caught a herring and now we can just cage and AFK for a bit. Okay, so since this gets asked a lot and I figure that this is pretty important information for most people to know is what is the best way to like track which tasks you've done or which you haven't done. So if you are playing on Runelite, which you should, if you're not, you can go here on the plugin hub and search for wiki sync and you download the wiki sync and then you click the like look up here, it will live update as you complete tasks you can pick which regions you've chosen and then you can just scroll and see a hey, which tasks can i do and that's basically all there is and you can always look it up to refresh it okay in hindsight this probably wasn't worth my time investment but anyways here is 100 lobsters we are 30 points away let's get this done quickly let's see if i'm not mistaken i can buy a torch from here somewhere somehow ah oh, there we go might as well buy another tinderbox, that's a task. Let's go to Grand Exchange and let's finish the museum as well real quick for some nice XP. All right, there we go. This should now unlock our next dilemma of the account. All right, if we go over here on the relics, we can now unlock either a banker's note or fire cell. And let me tell you, you can't go wrong with either of this. A banker's note is something I'm leaning towards very much because it just allows something that I've never experienced in the game, which is you can unnote and renote items wherever you are. We're talking Inferno, note like, I don't know, thousand sharks going to Inferno and just chug them, you know? Or I don't know, it's just like kind of insane to me. Also like 99 rune crafting, pick a bunch of rune essence, go next to an altar, unnote craft, unnote craft. I feel like it would be so cool to use. But as you can see, you can unnote items anywhere in the Gilenar. You Yeah, you can also note every item anywhere in the Gilenar, right? So it's like really insane. And this would be insane, obviously, if I didn't go gathering relic as well, then it would be even better. I'm very, very tempted to take this. However, the counterpart is the fire cell. And this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever read. Like this is infinite money glitch in leagues, basically. Everything is free. Everything that uses coins is free in the game. That means like you want to go construction training with like a 10 million item, you can. Like th this is this is really insane. But shops no longer buy items for the gold. So you can't like buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell to make money, right? So that's also maybe something worth considering. However, I've already made my decision in my mind beforehand, so I guess we're going banker's note, man. It is what it is. I mean, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Let's take it. And there it is. We now uh, are the proud owner of Crystal Memories and banker's note. Oh, I didn't know. This is a, uh, what's it called, man? The the old uh, last, re last recall. So this is really good. This teleports you where you last were, and this banks your stuff. So if I want a note to drop bang just like that this is beautiful bro i like it i love it the goal is to get the 780 points i want to unlock the next relic let's get started okay orlando smith now we get bonus xp because we've unlocked the next relic let's go ahead and take a look how much we get eight thousand and eight thousand all the way to 25 slayer all the way to 25 hunter as well nice little beginner clue scroll we're gonna we're gonna just go ahead and do it that's in wizard's tower luckily we got teleport right in front of that but i don't have a spade First clue scroll of the account. What is it going to be? It is bare feet. Wait, this might actually be a task. We got some shrimp and some earth rune. Bang. We use it. All right, awesome. Getting unique from a beginner clue. It worked. Perfect. Back to Lumbridge. There it is. We are now 28 range, which means it is time for a Dorgi. Little Dorgish and crossbow situation. This is going to help us quite big time. And obviously later on when we go range relic, which is not that far away, we're going to be probably using this thing all the way until we get a rune crossbow and rune crossbow is gonna make this thing even better but i'm gonna train a bit of defense now there's some defensive tasks that i could get okay well we just got a level 30 range meaning that i can now equip maple shortbow that's also a task and i can now uh, drop it because i will never use that thing all right we got a chef's head let's kill some cows get some hides and train a bit of crafting next okay well we did all of those goblins so we can enter I need 32 cooking. Ah, of course. Let's get it fast. <laughs> oh my god. Watch this. Boom, boom. Make a fire. <laughs> Wait. Boom. Now we do... Uh, boom. Oh, fuck. Wrong one. Wrong one. No, uh, wrong one. There we go. I misclicked. It is what it is. Now we do boom. Now we do boom. boom.
Dude, I've, this is stupid. <laughs> Why am I cooking shrimp? Now I change my mind. We do boom, and then we do boom, and now we click trout. Okay, and now we boom, boom, boom. Oh my goodness. Right, let's get 32 so we get this over with. That's actually kind of funny. Completely useless. Bank is right there. But it looks cool. All right, we got 32 nice and fast. Let's get uh, this and there it is. This one is all of that for 40 points. Honestly, not too bad. I'll take it. There's no black, but there is mithril this thingy here. Now I need to go to Varok Center and then Al Karid and I can have all of these done. Buy one of the mithril bodies. I have a little bit of money left. I can, which one's cheaper? 1k, 3k. Buy one of those, equip it, sell it back. We don't need it. I should hopefully be able to buy 2.6, equip all of this, bang, how much is that? 10, all right, well, there it is. Black X, okay, well, 10 points, we'll take it. That's 14, meaning I can make this. There we go, that's a task, should be 10 points, and I'm just hoping that this is enough to get to 20, because then I unlock a pretty decent moneymaker for myself that I would like to demonstrate. There we go, perfect. And I'm gonna keep one leather in my bank, might as well. That's 20 crafting, meaning that I can now cut my sapphires. And now let's take a look. Can we do this? There should be a lot of people here. I think you can sell it for profit. So value of this one is 25, value of this one is 250. It's actually an infinite money glitch. But yeah, you can trade 99 crafting on this guy. And if you have the production thingy, you can make the whole inventory in one click. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's great money. But again, 175 sell and you can buy it instantly. So I'm gonna do this for a little bit. It appears that once you get to emeralds, it is even more profit. So you basically spend 50 coins and you get 350 back so whenever we're out of money we can come here we can train a little bit of crafting and at the same time make money which is actually maybe a little bit crazy we'll take it okay so it feels like the xp per hour ends at about 1.2 million with my current multipliers and that is without the relic that makes everything in one tick so pretty enjoyable experience up to 51 crafting not sure how long i'll stay here for i don't want to get too distracted from the goal but this is fun and it makes you decent money as well. I would like to make an announcement. There is no bananas left on the Karamja, bro. Hello, any tree with bananas, man. There is absolutely no bananas left. Everybody yoing them. Oh, I see bananas, huge. Go, go, go. Oh my God, I need 10. No, he's stealing, he's stealing. This one, this one. <laughs> Dude, I've never been so excited about picking up bananas, man. <laughs> what am I doing? That was worth it. That's 40 points for that is a bit funny, but we take it. Also, after I finish this, this will also finish another task. We're getting pretty close. I really want to unlock the next relic or the next area, whichever one comes first. One more and... Hey, there it is, 100 empowered orbs, another 40, we'll take it. We just finished buying a kitchen real quick, that was a task. Now we're making some chairs, we're hoping to get to level 33, I think, so I can make oak larders, and that's then another task. Few easy construction levels, and at the same time, few easy points as well. So there's 33, we can now build our oak larder. And that's a 40 pointer, which is really fast and definitely worth our time. Alcarid Warrior defeated, let's enter the Calphite layer. I maybe should have brought mage, by the way. I'll see if I ever hit, if not, I'm bringing mage. Okay, so we go period 3 Grand Exchange. And now we see I should be fine. Can I get a drop? It's not crossed, so we should be able to get it, nice. Hopefully this is my kill. There it is, 40 points, we take those. <laughs> what is this? Oh my. Wait, this is so broken, by the way, like... Rudoku Helper on top. Shout out to Rudoku Helper, man. Uh, so wait, what do I need from here, actually? Oh, Lorunes, Lorunes. So we can teleport around. We get like five. Uh, do I need anything else? I don't think I do. I think we're good to go. I guess I can TP here. That's a task. Nice. 40, actually, that's pretty good. Okay, I did my usual technique of chopping trees and figuring out what my next steps are. I want to kill a lesser demon, cast a blast spell, and then we need to do a bunch of stuff. So I guess I'm going to use this money to buy some bars. Two leprechaun, alkarid. We're going to worry about woodcutting later when we're out of options. There we go. Okay, we got the crocodile down. That was annoying. Okay, so that's going to be lesser demon. It's not on top of the wizard's tower, but that's... Way too many people are there right now. There we go. That's a lot of points. I think I can cast a blast spell on him for extra points. There we go. 
Okay, that's 10 points. We need to make more money. Let's go back to Alcarid and train crafting and make money. I guess actually first I'm gonna go to Varok and move my house to Polnivnich. That's easy points and better. Relocate this to Polnivnich. Bang. Thank you, homie. I'm eating my dinner. I just got 80 points for getting my first level 60, which puts us really close to unlocking the next relic. All right, quick little Temporos game. And let me tell you, Temporos on this game mode, really fun. Lots of experience, which is basically, it's not slow or anything. It's like guaranteed XP. And I hope the rewards are pretty decent as well. I mean, we'll have to do like a hundred games at, at some point. Uh, we'll do it nice and slow, but let's see what the reward is. I'm gonna claim rewards straight away because I wanna finish these 90 tasks as fast as possible. I don't wanna prolong it any longer. Prolong it any, what the f Anyways, there it is, 56 fishing, Temporos defeated, we get, uh, well, only 10 points for this one, but maybe some points for claiming the rewards as well. Can I leave now? He's dancing. Let's leave, and let's also claim some rewards and see if we get something good off the bat. I don't know if this is multiplied or how this works. I probably just need net, right? Yeah. But let's take a look, if I net this, I have three chances. Swordfish, Lobster... And barrel, and this is a hundred points, I swear I got so lucky by the way. This is so insane. There we go, we pulled the barrel, which is very rare, and just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we made it to the goal of the first video, which is going to be selecting our most important relic on the account. This is what makes or breaks League for you, right? You got three options. We got Archer's Embrace, we got Brawler's Resolve, and we got the Superior Sorcerer. I finally got spooned on something, bro, I'm happy. So... We just got lucky, therefore, let me just explain it. I want to play Archer's Embrace, but I also want to play Mage. I've played melee in my last league and I don't want to repeat it. However, range just... We set up this account to start off with range. However, magic would be phenomenal as well. But basically, the idea is all of the styles have the exact same bonuses. As you can see, a lot of the ammunition is saved, faster attack speed, more damage, chance to proc uh, double bolts. It it's absolutely ridiculous. We're going to pick it. At this point, we are fully committed into going all out on a range. We're talking full Mazori, we're talking next for the Zerite crossbow, we're going Vorkaf for the assembler, all out on the range. And this video is going to be all about showcasing what this little Torgishan crossbow with these very questionable robes can do in this temporary game mode, right? So we're starting on 34 ranged and I don't know where we're gonna end on the end of the video, but let's get to doing some fun stuff and probably a lot more tasks as well. Caught 50 swordfish and I know this is not me using the weapon, so just for a little bit of fun. I I'm just gonna go shoot some things, okay? Nothing too crazy. We're just gonna quickly test it out, uh, but I do want to speedrun these 31 tasks in order to unlock Asgarnia, so we can then move on to, let's say, bigger and better things. But first, let me test this out. So we got this guy right here. Oh my, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, look at it go, you can't even see it. Oh my goodness. Wait, that was the double hit as well. Wait, I need to kill this guy real quick. I'm gonna kill a few of these. Just gonna speedrun level 40 combat, so I can then go ahead and uh, grab my first Slayer task. Look at it go, bro, it's shooting! Boom! 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 I love it, man. I don't know why, but I fucking love it. Yo, I just got a Tazar Ket Om from a drop, bro. Hey, You already know. Just got it off a drop. First kill. You take those. Alright, apparently I don't need to be level 40 combat to take task from Vanaka, but anyways, we got that done, bought a enchanted gem, checked it for more tasks, so we're basically getting there. We got some Minotaurs, should be nice and fast, and the reason why I'm just doing that now is because we're low level anyways, we're not really getting a bunch of XP, I need tasks, so I, it just makes the most sense to do right now. I turned the recorder on, I stopped hitting, but look how stupid this is. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. I stole your Minotaur. It was actually unintended. There we go. There's a Slayer task. Lovely. I don't think I need to take another one from Venaka, so we'll figure out what's next step. I can also grab a Slayer task from Duradel right here. Call fights. Okay, that's actually pretty solid this early on. And I can also look at his this to grab some Harpy Bug Lantern for later. And then there was a spinny helmet as well, which I think I had to buy and wear. There we go. Yeah, that's an easy one. So the first goal, obviously, is to get to 50 uh, range and 40 defense. So we can go ahead and trade this guy and buy ourselves one of these, one of those, and one of these. Wear all of that. I don't know if that's any tasks, but I can also go to the Oziak and get the body as well. And as soon as I'm 40, then I just 
strictly train range is what I'm thinking at the moment. We got a bunch of levels, but most importantly, 34 Slayer. I can quickly wield this. That is 40 points, apparently. I can also now drop it because I don't think I'll be needing that thing anytime soon. How's our point situation looking? 23 tasks until the next area. I'm not really too much in the rush to get it, but I guess I will... I'll slowly start working on it, but I will finish this task first. There is a little 40 defense, we can now wear green dragonhide body, that's a task, and we can now just full rapid it all the way till like 54 hours accumulator and then basically 99 after, so I think I'm just gonna wrap it all the way and then once I'm like getting close to 99 I'll consider training more defense maybe. Slayer task is done and we got a few completions in the process such as reaching level 50 combat. I have a few easy clue scrolls, I just wanna complete one real quick. South of Varrock Palace. Let's see if we can start getting better at this. Teleport, tool, Varrock. We're working on it. I got a studded body. AI. It's fine. Never doing it again. Exciting leagues gameplay right here. Million boys versus one mine. It's gonna be a bunch of points. I don't know about the XP, but wait, 80 points by literally just touching the mine. We take those. Do I mine it all the way? I feel like I mine it all the way. We are entering a bit later stages of the night, so we are gonna go a bit quieter, but there is a greater foe, and I think that gives some points as well. We're also gonna try to kill the red dragon, and we're gonna try to kill the fire giant, and just everything. See if we get any more points. But that's another task, and I will attempt to kill a red dragon as well, see if I can do it without prayer. But it looks like this was really easy to kill. That was 40 points, and I think burying one of those, also more points. Nice and easy. Hey, there we go. And we get... doesn't really matter. We got the task, we get some steel bars, and we get away from here. Okay, so this is my plan to train early game smithing. Come over here to Shanty, very cheap bronze bars, make it and keep buying and keep noting. I don't know how much I'll need, but this seems like a great way to get early smithing out of the way. All right, there we go. Sheep shear also completed. And I forgot something in Varok, so let's go ahead and uh, smelt a few more things. Nice, we take those easy tasks. So close to the next area. And we will now go and do the Giants Foundry quest. I hate this minigame. And to think I have to do this 100 times, it's like... Oof. But there it is. Wait, that was so much XP. What? We're 43 smithing out of nowhere. All right, we take those. Thank you. Appreciate it. Pleasure doing business. Okay, let's see how fast this guy dies. <laughs> he didn't make it. Bonk. Oof. From 1 to 40 attack. We take those. Wait, that's actually really good. Let's see if there's any easy attack tasks that I can do. And we only have 6 left till the next area. Okay, so Adaman Sword. That's for later. We equip it. Boom. Bam, just like that, we can now unlock another area. Now, you may be wondering what area are you gonna take, and if you paid attention on the first video, you will know I'm going for Desert, I'm going for Asgarnia, and then I'm gonna go for either Fremenic or Karend. We'll decide that one on the last one. But however, Asgarnia, here we come. So if you're wondering why Asgarnia, let me quickly explain to you what this area has to offer. All right, we have ourselves quite a lot of new stuff. Crafting guild. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm trolling, I'm trolling. Like we got Falador rooftop, a rooftop agility course. We got tree patch. Wow. Now, nah, but uh, seriously, we're doing it for the black dragons, blue dragons, Cerberus. Uh, and then the entirety of the God Wars dungeon, that's the main one, unlocks. But also, there's some very nice tasks here that I absolutely want to do. So Asgarnia, second area, let's go ahead and confirm the unlock. And let's go straight into trying to hunt for the next relic, which is going to be huge for the account. I'm not going to spoil what I'm taking, but if you're watching the stream, you already know. I'm looking forward to it. Let's get 1,250 points. First off, get six blue dehydes, so I can then upgrade my range gear as soon as I'm level 60 range. And then we're going to go for a bit of a longer one, which is to kill 30 black dragons. That's going to take quite a while with my current stats, but it should give us a decent amount of points as well. Okay, so I now reached level 60 ranged, which, I mean, it's already too late because I should have done bloody hide at 50, but I guess now it is time for me to get my crafting up to 71 so I can make some blue dehyde set instead of the green dehyde set. 71 crafting, now we can make blue dragon hide armor. Let's upgrade this scuffed looking gear and look a little bit better. 
it's pretty late, so I'm keeping it on the low. I've just been killing blue dragons for most of my evening. We finally got a Guam, which uh, is a task, funnily enough. And I got a Ruby as well, which I can make something cool out of. And I've been burying just about every single bone. And we're almost at 43 prayer, which is my goal. After that, I start saving them. And as you can see, almost 60 blue dragon hides. I think I need around 20 more to be done with this. So also 65 ranged already by simply just shooting dragons. So pretty chill, pretty good. I like it. If my calculations are not wrong, I have enough blue dragon hide to finish off the task that I've been working towards. Also basically got all the way to just about 45 prayer in the process. So that was pretty good. And now the most fun thing, I can do this and then do this and then do this. Oh, it's so satisfying. I'm so happy I took this. It is just so cool. I like it. Oh man, I don't know. It's so sick. All right, let's craft all of this and uh, see if that's all we needed. There it is. Craft 30 blue dehyde bodies. It's a big task. And now I'm going to go do Prince Ali rescue. That's Prince Ali completed. And I can now do the juices, I think. So let's give that a shot. <laughs> Oh boy, let's not talk about how long this actually took because I don't want to I don't want to mention it. Uh, but I did two rooms. So I did winter and I did spring and I'm gonna do autumn and summer uh, later on, I think when there is like a lot more people running mining 50 iron ore using the fossil island area. Very cool. There we go. Killing six cows in 10 seconds. That's six chickens in three seconds. I'm now going to make a sapphire amulet unfinished. And now we can add this. And now we can finish the clue. I don't want to do too many clues right now because I plan on taking the clue relic. But I am okay doing one of each. So here's the medium. Which is very easy to tasks because we also got a unique nice and easy demon slayer 40 points. Got quickly six herb, so now I can do tiers of gothics and actually get to rune crafting XP, which is a huge part of what I actually want to do next. 6,000 rune crafting XP. Perfect. Ladies and gentlemen, banker's note. Watch this. Oh, I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. And now I should be able to do Guardians of the Rift. Okay, nothing too crazy, but I got a small pouch. I got a fire talisman. I think that's a couple of tasks. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Finally found the large pouch, which I do believe is a task. There we go. Very good. Well, this is actually huge. I got nature talisman, which is one in 128 drop from here. And it's basically what I needed alongside the next uh, and the last pouch. So with all of these talismans, I will actually be able to probably get all of these points needed to unlock the next relic. And that's it. We now obtained absolutely everything I needed. Giant pouch also unlocked. There is combination rune, lava rune. That is crafting fire rune. Craft four runes with one essence. That's 50 water runes as well. And there is... 200 runes crafted and now there's one more I can do that is 50 nature runes crafted as well okay I think this is all the rune crafting tasks we can do at the moment so that's the last one craft a body rune I'm kind of tempted to do a little bit more rune crafting but look we are 40 points we are so close we need to move on and do oh I know exactly what I'm gonna do for this that was much faster than I anticipated and just like that, we grinded through the night in order to build this stash unit and store our medium clue stuff inside. And would you look at that? We can now unlock the fifth relic. This is a good one. This is a good one. Now, with my combo, with my endless harvest combo, going infernal gathering would be absolutely insane. I've done that in the past leagues. It's been phenomenal. However, there is this treasure seeking. My personal absolute favorite way to play the game is by doing clue scrolls and I cannot skip on this. I simply can't. Will I lose some XP because of it? Yes. Will we get a bunch of content out of it? Also, yes. As you can see, there is a small chance you get an additional casket to be upgraded to a tier above the one you opened. There's also a chance when you open a casket that you will receive another casket 
and there's also you will always get maximum amount of rolls so it's 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 really it's really good basically bloodthirsty obviously a slayer relic higher chance for superiors but you can't really pick tasks so not really something i am really even considering to be honest and then infernal gathering super good with the relics that i already took everything gets automatically smelted into bar and everything gets automatically cooked and everything gets automatically burnt as well so super useful but again treasure seeker is my choice let's go ahead and select it and now that we have treasure seeker it is time to start doing some clue scrolls and I'm looking forward to it. Hey, how does this work? Can I get a medium clue from this? I get a first unique and I have one more. And okay, that is like kind of cool. I like it. 15k coins, 14, 14. We take it. Wait, I got another one. Double unique. I decided to go and do my black dragon task where I pretty much have to kill 30 of these and right now we've killed 10. So we're one third of the way there. And after that, we're gonna check if we can do some of these elites. Here's a big level 70 range. We can now wear black dehyde. I plan on getting that from clues, not even from crafting. So we're just gonna keep going for now. Actually, I think I will attempt to do this elite clue to see if I get maybe some range upgrades from that elite clue. Dude, Cam the Camel, three steps in, this one's fourth. If I do one more, we've actually completed our first elite. Please. Doable. Well, it's like super late, but here we go. Elite casket number one. This could be huge. This is so disaster. Okay, purple sweets are good. Maybe I can enchant vest. And this is good as well. This is a task and this is a task. So it's not too bad. Looks like we found an uncompletable elite clue for us. Since we cannot enter the Kandarin, we cannot make a bucket of wax. As you can see, I need to make a sled, which I can't. That took so long, 30 dragons, and we get 40 points out of it. However, two hard clue scrolls. Let's see if we get something good. Wait a second. That was a one step hard clue. What? Oh, it's beautiful. Black dehyde body. That's a huge upgrade. Zami shield, white cavalier as well. That is good. Okay, so I've been doing a bit of soul wars, but I don't know how many points I can actually use. However, I'm pretty sure that the XP you can get is a bit ridiculous. So if I just use all of my tokens on the prayer right now, Let's see how much we get. 2.7 million. Wait a second, I just got 2.7 million XP in prayer. What? Can I do more? How much was that? Yeah, it used all of them. Can I use more? I don't know, but this is a bit broken, no? Here we have Smite now. Well, that's gonna be useful for when we unlock the next prayer book. We made an emerald ring, made a ruby amulet, used the herring on a tree, made Elsie tell us a story, then we made some steel bolts, then we chopped a log from a potato tree, and now we are shooting a wall beast real quick. And just like that, we have less than 100 tasks to go until we unlock the next area, the last area, and a bunch of points for the next relic. So this is going to be quite a grind. Boom, full adamant. Okay, well, that's one out of 50. We're going to have to do a lot of these 40 points. Luckily, all my farming is just from picking all of these up. But yeah, we'll need a lot of those. Can I know them? I can't. Okay, I'll have to bank at some point. You know, they say the sooner I get this grind over, the better. But goddamn, so I have 12 in my bank. We got this many. I need 75 of these in total. Like, whoever thought this was a good task, I don't know, bro, but... Anyways, it's gonna get us high thieving once it's done and then with high thieving we can then unlock a bunch of other things such as just going through the pyramid plunder rooms and everything that comes with it. So it has to be done, but it is absolutely horrendous, man. I've been running, uh, dude, around this fucking garden for... I don't even know how long, it's been the whole day. Completing these random events to get these lamps is actually really decent XP. 
especially with all the multipliers. Now I have two places where I put them at the moment, either Herblor or Attack. If I get Attack to 60, I can then just AFK it on the Krebs all the way to I don't know how much strength, for example. But if I put it on Herblor, I can try to get an Irrit potion as fast as possible that I can then clean it and have it in my inventory in case I get a Dr. Jekyll random, which I can then get an agility potion out of which will then make it so I can do Taibo Wanai quest because otherwise I cannot get an agility potion, which is absolutely horrible. So because of that, I do believe for an Irid potion, we are going to need a decently high herb level, 40 herbs. So let's just go ahead and put all the lamps in herb till we reach that milestone. So as you can saw, that was a lot of XP with up to 18. And obviously I could manually train this or I could do all the other stuff and passively train it. As you can see, another inventory almost completed. I hope this thing ends soon. We're all the way up to 40 farming, never even touching the skill, simply by just picking the fruits in this garden. There is no way I spent this long getting these squirk juices and I only have 15 and I need 10 more, therefore I need 30, 30 more of the... Bruh. I'm gonna get 80 points for this. <laughs> ah, it's not worth it, man. It's really not. I will, I have to commit, I'm st I'm too deep in this, I have to finish. If my calculations were correct, all of the hours led to this moment where we have the beer glass, we have this, and we are finalizing the last few of these. Oh my goodness, I think we've done it. Would you look at that, 25 autumn squirk juice. Yeah, this took a long ass time. I just hope this is the right one. Imagine I did all of that, like all these hours, it, yeah, it is the right one for sure. I kind of want to do it all in one go though. We have to do all in one go, otherwise what are we even doing? All right, here we go, here we go. So we're starting off on 52 thieving and this better be like a crazy XP drop, by the way. Come on, let's see it. 705,000. We're up to 71, is that good? I don't even know, bro. It seems decent. I'll take it. I still need to do summer, but hey. 71, I could do quite a lot of pyramid plunder rooms, uh, which should give me decent points as well. Uh, but before I do that, I think I still have a clue scroll in my bank. I do, and for that one, I actually can do it. In order to speak to Evil Dave in the cellar, all I need to do is complete Shadow of the Storm. So you know what, we're just gonna go ahead and try to finish this one off. Hope I didn't sell this too fast, but anyways, we got some money. I think I'll buy about 500 more so we can do this whilst questing and then we go do a few quests. Now there we go, completing the golem is nice and easy. 1000 crafting and thieving, that should actually be decent XP, which I missed. It is what it is, uh, but now I think I can do Shadow of the Storm so we can then do our clue scroll. And for that, I need three pieces of black clothing and a silver bar and a silver light. Don't think that should be too hard to get. I wonder if I can one tick it while it's in the air, the damage number, like this. One more. Like that. Yeah, I can do it like that, I can flinch it basically. Okay, and this is pretty important, right? We can now decide some good XP. Uh, what I'm thinking about is just going attack, getting it to 60, but let's see. Not taking defense and strength, not taking HP magic ranged. Magic could be decent, because we could get up to like high alk, but... I think we're just gonna take a tag. This is gonna be by far the slowest to train. So that's gonna get me all the way to 54. That's actually pretty solid. If I can get more rewards to get to 60, that would be phenomenal, uh, but very decent amount of attack XP there. But most importantly, we should now be able to hopefully complete the clue scroll that we have had in the bank for a bit. So let's see if that will work now. And there it is. It was worth it, bro. Quests, we got points, but most importantly, we're gonna get this absolutely insanely good item right here. It is really good, by the way. It is really good. You may be wondering why these Sara chaps right now are actually so good. Sara chaps are amazing. Basically, I could go and honestly attempt Zilli as soon as I got 70 agility, which I don't have yet. This is used for an elite, but I can't really do it. But Sara, this is amazing. Obviously, two Sara items is whatever. And this room plate skirt is, is alkable, basically. But uh, really nice, actually. And look at an upgrade from basically no pants to Sara pants. And I'll wear this as well, just in case. This as well, maybe it's a thingy. It's not a thingy. But we got a bunch of tasks actually, which is really good. I guess we are now in the process where we're just gonna try speedrunning more tasks. I mean, I guess it has to be done. So that is chopping some logs with a steel axe. Okay, we make a quick waka. The plan right now is to get an irrit leaf. Now you may be wondering why would you need an irrit leaf? 
but it's very simple. If Dr. Jekyll comes, I can trade it in for agility potion, which I absolutely need. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to train my strength a little bit because it's absolutely ridiculously low. I figure if I quickly train it up, I get some base levels, I get some easy tasks, and I'll just do it here on the Chaos Druids whilst also trying to get the Irrit Leaf. But I don't think I'll train it past like level 20. We have everything we need to make a Ruby Amulet, which is gonna help us just a little bit, that Strength Amulet right here. I decided I will also go all the way to level 30 Strength. It makes sense, base 30s, and then we go back to range. It's super fast. There it is, the big Irrit Leaf obtained. So I can't clean it, but if I take it to Narda, I should be able to clean it so we can continue on with uh, the rest of the plan. That is 50 Puro Puros, so 150 more to go. We're also up to 55 magic. I can now cast one high alchemy, which is nice amount of uh, points, but also we are up to six mediums, four easies. Before I end the video, I'm going to open all of these clues and actually, well, try to complete them, of course. And there it is, 80 points for catching 200 implings. And my favorite part is all these clue scrolls. Let's go ahead and complete the easy and the medium ones. Damn, this is starting to get pretty full of steps that I can't actually do. There's the purple gloves again. But what I'm interested in is this is on step two. If I drop it and I open another one, if this is on step two still, it is. No problem, actually. As long as my steps don't get removed, I don't mind losing one clue and then just continuing. So you know what? This is... I'm pretty happy with this. I'll be honest. Uh, this is pretty good. As promised, couple of caskets. Now, I don't want to drop this because getting a ruby ring is super simple. I just go to Shiloh and I mine the ruby. However, let me tell you, I just want to open these because I feel like we could get some really good stuff. So because of that, let's clean the inventory. Let's give it a shot and let's hopefully pull something that's gonna be useful for us now what do we need what do we want obviously a ranger boots yeah ranger boots would be phenomenal but let's start off at the beginning with the beginner and we get a steel sword with the cabbage okay very good we move on to easy with the coif and the gothic spade all right we take it move on to the next one another unique pretty good and then we move on to the next one and we don't get a unique, but we get some lore ones. I don't know how many, but that's pretty nice. And I get an extra bonus. And we get one and two unique. So, fill five uh, collection logs. 40 points, really good. And let's just uh, clean the inventory a bit before going to mediums. All right, here we go. So, now the good stuff. The medium clue scrolls. Let's take a look. Start off with a unique. Oh, and another man pickaxe, which is pretty good as well. Moving on to another two uniques, that's really good, and firelighters, 30 collection log slots for 40 points as well, that's very good. Can we get like any sort of boots? I would love to get any sort of boots. IOF can teleport, can't use it, Tybo when I teleport, I can use this one for clue scrolls. And we get a white boater as well, which is end myth plate legs D, so a lot of uniques there. Still got three more. <gasps> nah, there is absolutely no way by the way. Hey, there is no way, by the way. There is actually no way. Dude, I had a feeling, man. I had a feeling we're gonna end it on literally the best drop in the game for us. I don't believe it. I really don't believe it. Like, we are currently in the process of absolutely gaming. Wow, that's, that's crazy. That is... Dude, I'm so happy, man. It was bound to happen at some point, but I didn't expect it to happen on the fifth clue. So, dude, we wear those. Equip ranger boots. Grats, thanks, man. And we still have two more, so how about back-to-back? -back? And a power emmy. Wait, power emmy is actually really good. Cabbage round shield. I don't know about that one, but power emmy is definitely an upgrade from no amulet that we had before. And here we go. We also got armadil mitre, by the way. Don't sleep on these items, especially if I do want to do some god wars soon. And we get adamant helm h5. The first thing worth mentioning is I did decide to train my mining from 40 to 54 on the gem mines. So I should actually be having quite a lot of uncuts. As you can see, a lot of topaz, even a ruby, which I need to make a lot of tasks that are very easy. So we're going to go ahead and grab chisel. And we will just uh, grab our uncuts and we will need this literally just a few seconds later. So let's go ahead and start off by chiseling these. 
which I do believe should also be a task. There we go. Successfully cut it. It's only 10 points, never mind. But these are gonna be amazing, and you will see why. Well, the main reason... Also, I forgot I have a banker's note, so I could just grab all my uncuts, and I can leave the rest in the bank because I don't need them for what I'm about to do right now. Okay, so if I trade this guy, I do believe I should be able to sell this. And I can get a bunch of trading sticks. And all I need to do here is I need to buy these. So I probably have way too much... Uh, but let me go ahead and cut all of this first anyways. Eh? Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. I was gonna go controversial. Alright, so there we go. So we now did that. Uh, can I sell it back? Because I only really care about sticks. But also, I want to see if I can maybe get the red topaz machete, which I have the exact number. Can I wield it? That's 80 points, by the way. That's beautiful. I think this one's kind of useful, so I'm actually going to keep it. And I'm just going to chisel the rest, get enough trading sticks to do my next step. So, you probably guessed it. I want to enter the Hardwood Grove. I think I can just quick pay this and just get straight in. That's going to be a task, and... Okay, and it appears I can't chop this until I help with the Taibo Wanai minigame first. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. I believe I can just go ahead and uh, kill the spiders though. Ah, uh, never mind. I think I need to complete the quest first, huh? I don't think I can start getting any sort of a reputation before I do the quest. And I can't do the quest because I need to get an agility potion. Yeah, none of these does anything. Oh, man. So look at this. I had this guy like seven times and I didn't set a bank pin for my account. But now he checks, he sees that I have a bank pin and now he gives me the lamp. So this is like different and new. I've never really seen this. Now you may be wondering where I'm going to put this lamp. If you pay a little bit of a close attention, you will see her blurry struggling. Let's just go and chuck it here. See the XP? 2.2k. I'll probably get a base level 20 as well, so that's beautiful. And I'm just gonna chuck all the lamps into her because this seems to be like a pretty hard skill for me to level at the moment. But maybe I should have thrown it in attack as well because I do want to get 60 attack. And this right here is going to be my AFK spot for, well, when I need to AFK. Uh, we're just gonna be chopping this mahogany and when this is down, we're gonna chop this tick. And this is also going to help us in the future with our construction training going all the way to 99. And this is going to help us reach 99 woodcutting, which is also going to be a big point booster when obviously we need to just kind of chill. So this is what I'm going to do right now and I'm going to get some rest. Chill time is completed. We got all the way to 83 woodcutting and we have 36 beginners, 5 hard clues, 2 easies, 4 mediums and 1 elite. Uh, I'm gonna AFK a little bit longer, and then we're gonna look into completing some of these hearts, elites, and mediums, see if we get some good rewards, and then move on to a bunch of tasks. Because today is the day I unlock the very last area. I guess one of the things worth doing is 75 magic logs. It's a very big point task, so might as well start chopping down these magic trees here in desert. There it is, big 80 points for 75 magic logs chopped. Is it time for us to do some clues? I guess we might as well, right? This one might be a little bit out of the blue, but there is 50 fire making, which means I can now light these mahogany logs that I plan on chopping a lot of whilst AFKing. Now, I don't think I'll be burning all of these, but I need to get to level 60, so I mean, I might as well. I thought I would never see the day where I can defeat the lesser demon, but there it is. I only completed two hard clues, the rest were all Garazi jungle steps, which I cannot do. And the elite one is... I need to go to the abyss. I don't know if there is a way around it, but either way, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, open these two caskets. And who knows, maybe we pull something crazy, you know? It is still hard casket after all that can upgrade to an elite, so let's take a look. Start off with the arma item. I thought it was Bendos, by the way. That is not bad with some sharks. Well, a lot of sharks. So that's pretty... And the rune pickaxe, by the way. So these are all really good. And the magic shortbow, which might actually be a task. So hold up. Magic shortbow. Yeah, that's a task. And a pretty good one as well. I don't think any of this is a task necessarily. But we'll take it. That's a pretty good chest. And the next one is... 
That is beautiful. Couple of blood runs is whatever. This is good alks. Good alks. Zami chaps are very good. And then Saradom install is also pretty decent. So two really good hard clue rewards. I'll take it. Nice. I don't think there's a way. I don't think I can go up this way. I think it's a one way entrance. Yeah, so there is no way for me to do this clue then. I can't go through wilderness obviously. So another elite, unfortunately. Gone. All right. Not too bad. I mean, it's okay. It's fine. Let's uh, do Suliusep, I think. All the way to 85 woodcutting and Suliusep cap does not want to drop. However, I found a little cool trick where I can go ahead and find very easy tasks. So we will do those, uh, let's just say in a moment, but I will, however, first finish this rotation. So I'm not lost next time I come around. I also got really a lot of fossils which I didn't expect that I would get this many from here. So this is gonna help when I need some lamps or something like that. I don't think the game is giving me Suliusep mushrooms at all, by the way. Look, I have zero mushrooms. So my banker isn't actually banking. Okay, so this has to be bugged with endless harvest right now because I'm getting no mushrooms. That's why I'm getting no Suliusip cap. That's why it's taking so long. Uh, let's just go do a bunch of tasks then. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Okay, let's see if this is actually a task. I feel like it should be. Yeah, nice. I'm committed to unlocking a new area right now. Let's do a little bit of speed run in the task department. Start off by entering the champs guild, that's 40. Okay, so I'm kind of doing two things at once right now. I'm trying to unlock blackjacks, but also since I'm already here, I might as well do seven rooms of the pyramid plunder. But as you can see, these are super easy tasks to do. I just need to figure out where the entrance is and we're just gonna try and do this real quick. That's the first one. That's the second one. That's the third one. Fourth one. It's usually so many tasks in a row. It's like th this place is so crazy for points and tasks. Boom, and then I can do one more. And here we go, the last one. We're gonna come back here to finish the job once we have 91 thieving. Where's the exit? There we go. And now I can continue with the blackjack mini quest. Now we're gonna come here and get compost and then super compost. I don't think I need this cape, but I mean, I have nothing else. Might as well put it on. Pretty good, only 40 tasks away till the next area, but I believe I put, yeah, there it is. I made this compost at the very start. So this is probably gonna be a task I would assume. Yeah, so that's a task, and then if I chuck this in as well, that wasn't anything. Okay, but still, a bunch of tasks in a row, 40 left to go, let's unlock the new area. Prayer level, there we go, plus 80, just like that, easy. Alright, that's a Falador lap after I've done some Varok laps, nice and 40 points there. Okay, surely this will work, right? I do this, and then I pay Southeast. And that should also be protect your crops. There we go. Nice two tasks. If I'm not mistaken, I can make these planks. Boom. I have all the resources here that I need in order to fix this camp up. Let's uh, figure out if I can do it. That's a chest. And that's actually a task as well, which is beautiful. I don't really know what I need to build in this area. That's a well. This is probably buildable. Bonk. This is buildable. There we go. Almost fully done. Getting nice construction XP for that as well. And I think something in here will be buildable and this whole place is gonna be fixed. This and this. Is that everything? That seems to be everything. I do believe once you fix the camp up, you can speak to this guy. And he should be giving us some fossils or some sort of rewards. And just like that, he gives us the rewards. Nice, perfect. I mean, a part of me really wants to put it on a tag just so I would have 60. But realistically, that's definitely not worth it. So looking at just the state of my skills, I think it would be silly not to put everything in Herblor. So because of that, let's just begin with the first one, 24,000, we're up to 37. Move on to another one that is up to 43, and that's actually really good. So we're gonna add one more, and then I think I can even do extra. So going from basically 0 to 47 herb is uh, really good, and uh, we have a few more we can add. Let's take a look. So again, I think we just commit to herb 24,000 more. I'm just gonna do it. 20, 42,000 for that one. And then another 42,000. And we're now 56 Herblor out of nowhere, basically. Which, you know what? I think it's pretty good. But what I'm gonna do right now, if you look at my base stats, they're actually quite decent. I'm missing a bit of fletching to get to 40. And I'm missing a bit of strength to get to 40. I think that's gonna be my next goal. It's mine. Agility potion. Please. 
Yes! Sorry, I'm in the middle of eating, but you don't understand. I would not be able to complete Tai Bo Wanai quest if it wasn't for this random dude coming to me in game and me having a greamy irit in my inventory. This would not be possible. Oh my, this is so good. This gives me such a breathing room for my AFK 50 million fishing. This is so, so amazing, by the way. Uh, I guess after we find the dig site, we're gonna try and complete Taibo 1. I, I know I still need a spear, but spear should not be that hard to get, I think. Uh, we need to do a little bit of farming of the jokers to get an iron spear, which should be a 1 in 32 drop chunks. And if we get this, we should then have all the items to actually complete this. I hope this is pretty fast. I mean, I don't expect this to be long. 100 yogurts in right now no sign of spear so we should have three by now uh, we're just gonna quickly dip and come back but surely i get it fast right i mean i can't get it fast anymore this takes a little bit of time but yeah just spear and then i can do type of one eye and then we are actually chilling there it is the iron spear it is obtained let's do the quest oi 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 i don't have the fishing level to catch a karamb one it's a rough day to play the game like it is what it is okay we are decided we're gonna do temporos for five fishing levels and then try to finish the quest by getting a karamb one i'm just gonna have to make sure i don't lose these items and we should be okay oh my god it's perfect there we go uh, 65 fishing, meaning I can now catch Karamb once. We can now return to the quest. We did two full Temporos games from 60 to 65. And now we're also going to claim the loot and see if we can get lucky on a tome or something like that. So let's see. We got two on the last one. We got how much from this one? We got two from this one. Uh, let's see if we get something good. Obviously, the, the drops are increased. But the points you get are not. So let's see. What do we need? We need tome. And that's about it, I think. Boss, Spirit Flakes, that's pretty good, Collection Log item is solid, and we basically got more flakes, okay. Was I able to fish here the whole time? I was. Does it give normal fishing XP? It does. So I never actually even needed an agility potion just to do the fishing here. But, look, it's better to have the quest done than to not have a quest done, okay? It's fine. There we go, big XP drops, obviously these are all multiplied by 12, so what's my attack now? I didn't get a level, damn it. Uh, but most importantly, we got uh, 65 fishing. We can now AFK, catch Karamb once. And also, I can speak to all three brothers, get uh, a little bit more things. But then, uh, we are 20 tasks away. And I need to unlock this area. I want to unlock this new area. And we are super close to the next relic. And you guessed it, I also want that. So, if I quickly speak to this guy. But I think if I speak to all of them, they give me like extra rewards that I haven't had claimed yet. Yeah, that's 60,000 fishing. That is beautiful. This guy gives us 60,000 cooking, thank you very much, up to 58, and there we go, oh, 30,000 attack and 30,000 strength, that's actually pretty solid. Uh, so with that in mind, let's go catch some Karambwans. There it is, 50 Karambwans have been caught. Oh yeah, he's angry. Hey, there we go, we're mushroomed now. Easy. So how many points is this thing then? Just medium? Oh, that was just... Wait, maybe I need to put it on the thingy on top actually for it to work how we should work that I should be able to rub and do fossil island Bam, that's the task. Perfect. This works for gaming. If this doesn't work then uh, unlucky Wait, I can just buy this one. Bam easy nice There we go, that's the first small KC and the only one I plan on doing for now, but still easy 40 points Big level 80 crafting already, we can now work with glories, and I do have one, hmm, maybe that could be a task, oh, but my magic is not high enough to be enchanting glories at this point in the game, but yeah, still training crafting, I'm just going for 10 agility tickets right now, so we can buy snapdragon for a task, and then we're gonna find some other things to finish off these 11 tasks. We got 10 tickets, if we go here to pirate, or is it this guy, I think it's this guy, I can trade it for a snapdragon. That is 40 points and we are just 10 tasks away from an area and super close to the new relic as well. Base level 40, we're just doing quick fletching training in order to get to 42 to make a willow shield for another very easy task. 27,000 XP for fixing a few things around his house. You now gained enough points to unlock a tier 6 
Relic. Okay, so we almost synced it perfectly, but not quite. This Mahogany Homes gives quite a lot of points, actually. So let's go ahead and uh, head over to the Relic section. And this is uh, this is pretty exciting times. This is pretty exciting times because we got a couple of options. And if you know what I'm going to take, which is going to be Fremenic Desert and Asgarnia, you will know that I have no access to strong prayers. Therefore, ruinous prayers seem extremely tempting. We also have this Farmer's Fortune, which is basically guaranteed infinite amount of farmed resources, alongside basically 99 farming banked almost instantly. But I'm gonna skip on it, and I'm gonna struggle a little bit with my potions and whatnot. And then there's also Equilibrium, which basically just shares experience. If you're going for like max, fast XP, whatever, maybe this is decent. But I know my pick since the start of the leagues. And that's going to be the Ruinous Powers. Obviously, I prioritize something that you can't play this in the main game, right? So just because of that, this is extra like interesting for me. So we will now obtain Ruinous Powers, a powerful alternate prayer book with all prayers unlocked. And this relic gives us an item and must be unlocked at the bank. So because of that, let's nicely go to the bank real quick. Select it, confirm it. Look at us go. And just like that, we now receive the ruinous power. 7,500 points for the next relic. Basically double of what we already obtained. However, these, I believe, are going to be very good for our future of basically going for all the God Wars drops and all the DKs and stuff like that. So if we change this prayer book, ooh, it is beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. So what do we have? We got Rejuvenation, Ancient Strength, all of the stuff like that. But I don't have any of the good stuff yet. So I have to kind of figure out what all of this does. This increases attack by 25 and Strength. This heals me, apparently. This recoils damage. Oh, if I have recoils, okay. Apparently I can hit faster if I eat food. What? Like, just, just, it's so crazy. Boosted combat stats last longer. Like, uh, these are gonna be bad. I need these ones. Range attack increase and range strength increase. This, I need 84. Bro, I'm so close. There's no way I'm one off. And then obviously we have our typical melee prey, range prey, magic prey. But that means it protects me against that style, but it deals like more damage with other styles. Uh, but yeah, we need one more prayer level to really start utilizing this. Let me tell you, I'm looking forward to it. However, before we fully end this video, let's also unlock a new area because, uh, well, you know, I want to unlock the last area and we're six tasks away, so let's get it done. I decided to use a little bit of our money to invest in some construction training. There's very, there's some easy construction tasks, but also if I complete a bunch of construction tasks, then I have, uh, well, it's also part of the tasks that we get. So there's 27k XP. This is going to be level 65. And if we click continue, we can now build superior garden, which is not the point. Uh, it should be somewhere in here, but anyways, we can now build mahogany portal in our house, which is what I'm going to do. But first I need some mahogany planks and that's going to cost us quite a little bit of money, I think. Okay, mahogany, expensive. Let's go house. Let's go building mode. I don't think I need this up north, so we're just going to build over it. Build a portal chamber. What is it? There we go. 100,000. And I think, is it this that I need? No, it is this that I need. There we go, mahogany portal, bang. 40 points for that one. Now, I also want to start doing some birdhouse runs to get, uh, you know, the good passive hunter XP. So because of that, let's make some of the things here. First off, oh, do I need to like this and then upgrade this and then upgrade to this. And we're just going to upgrade it all the way. This and I need more of these. And then this, boom. So now I can work at this and I think I can just make a clockwork... Is it clockwork mechanism or clockwork toy? I feel like it's clockwork mechanism. That seems about right. And I think this is basically what we need to make. Can I make more? Yeah, so we need four of these and then we can start uh, looking into doing some birdhouse runs. Oh, we're getting close. So this is the first step to the puzzle, which is 59 Hunter, which now allows us to create new birdhouse traps. We're going to pick the rest up. And this is basically what we already have here. I've never really done this, so do I just do this? Uh, seems pretty simple. And we're just gonna chuck these and put some seeds in and we should be getting some tasks in the process. Build this. Now we put it in. And now we wait. 
Uh, we can just cancel these black dragons. I mean, we have a lot of points, it's fine. So one of the tasks is to simply get an assignment from this guy. Most giants will do it later. It's actually pretty good because I can get the keys as well. And now we're going to go to pest control and we're actually going to do two games real quick. Would you look at that? Pray at an altar. We now have... Padawa teleport. Okay, let's just do Padawa teleport. That's a bunch of points, by the way. And I also need to cast one more spell. We are exactly one task away to unlocking our final area of the account. Let me just go ahead and quickly get this done. There's probably more things I could do on this spell book, and I mean, I might. But I think for now, all we're gonna do is cast this on a man. And there it is. We splashed. Cast an Ice Rush is completed, you can now unlock a brand new area. And this is basically what we have been waiting for. This is where we're going to be ending today's video. So we are going to go for Tiran. No, nah, we're going to go Fremenic. We're going to go Fremenic. It's going to be nice. We're going to do Vorketh. We're going to do DKs. We're going to do Duke. We're going to get a Duke pet or the little, little chunk, whatever his... He's not Duke, is he? Or is he Duke? The, the weird looking guy with eyes. I, I don't know the names. Yeah, we can do Phantom, Muskpa, DKs, obviously Releka Slayer Cave, Waterbirth Island Dungeon, Vorketh, Basilisk Knights. So I can also get the Nezi Helm upgraded, right? And then Duke Succulus. So there we go. Let's go ahead and uh, not procrastinate any longer. We unlock it. Fremenic, it's decided. It is over. It is done. We are a Fremenic warrior. And the main reason for that, if some of you are wondering, is obviously the first league was all about chambers. And honestly, I do not enjoy doing chambers on repeat over and over and over again. So that's the reason to not go current. Tiranen is just not very interesting because Bofa isn't that good. Uh, because literally Crossbow is better. Kenderin could be a good option, but... I feel like it lacks a little bit of fun. The only thing you really get from Kandarin is like gorillas and like jewelry. Wilderness is just not really it, I think. And Mauritania is just uh, very melee oriented. We're now a proud citizen of Desert, Asgarnia and Fremenic. No more changes can be made. We are an archer and those are our zones. First thing I'm going to do is talk to Ava, check for devices and grab myself two of the accumulators. This is going to stack with my ranger relic and start really protecting all of my weapons. I do want to do some soul wars to get good bolts. If I get good bolts, I then immediately start hunting for a rune crossbow. However, right now, the world is so full you can't even get onto it. Uh, but this is my setup right now. I think we look absolutely cracked. I mean, we're talking Dorgi. We got an amulet of power, Sara full helm, Black Dehyde body, Sara chaps. We somehow got ranger boots as well. And I genuinely think we could even run and do some DKs like that. Pyrefins. Wait, this is not bad, by the way. Because I can get superior creatures. First superior on the account. Infernal Pyre Lord. We're gonna get an imbued heart. It's gonna be insane. 22,000. For an Adamant Medhelm. Huge. AFK'd 200 plus U logs, which is now okay for. Well, I need to burn 100 U logs. And then I also need to fletch a bunch of them. So I guess we need to train a bit of fletching now. But first. We got an elite clue scroll and it's actually doable. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. Maybe I get a rune crossbow from it. I couldn't do the elite because it required me to do Fremenic exiles, but I could do the hard because it was just one step left and this could turn into an elite still. So we're just going to open this and see what do we get. One unique, two unique, and then three uniques and two alks. That is not too bad. Good morning. I did a little bit of skilling. And I'm questing at the moment. We got up to 88 woodcutting in the process, 68 fletching. And what I'm doing right now is I am burning and questing at the same time, trying to complete all the Fremeni quests in order to progress with my elite clue scroll. All right, I made my way over here to Isle of Souls because I need to get 100 flex, but also I managed to do all the fires for 100 U logs. Ladies, gentlemen, let me demonstrate to you something absolutely ridiculous. Oh my, wait. Wait. Nah. Bro. <laughs> Runecrafting might be my favorite skill in the game. This is dumb. 
And if I get to 77, I can then do Astras and actually do my quest that I can't do right now. There is craft 2,500 essences. I'll go down to 5k, I think. Our next step is to get 60 smithing and 60 slayer so we can complete Fremenic Exiles. So that's what we're gonna do. Hey, that's 60 smithing and now I only have 60 slayer to go. There it is, we now have all the requirements from the Fremenic Exiles. We will do it right after this task. And here's the big 70 defense, so we can now wear a lot of good stuff. We're talking Armadil, we're talking Need is Not Phase Guard. We will hopefully get that pretty soon, but that means no more long range. Long range is gone. We are now training strictly range till 99, probably, is what I'm thinking, or to at least like 90. Fun fact, I'm going through the list of things that I would need in order to complete the quest, and I have just about everything, aside from the fact that I need one rune throwing axe, and... There is absolutely no way for me to get a throwing axe at the moment. I can get it from Dagon of Supreme, I guess, but that is really the only way. But even to get to that place, I need a rune throwing axe. So the only way for me to actually get it is if there was somebody who has Kandarin and Fremenic unlocked that would be willing to help me get into the DKs where I can then get a rune throwing axe as a drop, which is absolutely absurd. Whilst I'm trying to figure out the whole runex situation, I flashed 100 U-Bows, which I can now comfortably alk with all of the nature runes that we somehow have. And in the process, I took a task of Hellhounds. We're gonna do that very quickly, I might as well. Task completed, and we accumulated eight clue scrolls. Let's see if we can complete any. Hey, that one came out of nowhere. 20 successful Karamb ones in a row. And I think I got pretty lucky because I'm only 72 cooking. So it, as you can see, it's very likely to burn Karamb ones three in a row. In fact, they're just to prove a point. Ladies and gentlemen, six hard clue scrolls. Hopefully some of these get upscaled to elites and we actually pull a rune crossbow or rune throwing axes. I don't even know if I can get rune throwing axes from elites. Let's see what do we get. Start off with... Cyclops head. Magic Longbow would be really good as well. This one is unfortunately wrong. Another rune X is nice because that means I can put the other one in the stash. This is Sara page. Also not very good. Very low amount of Alcabus. Not a good start so far. Oi! There it is. There it is. This one's beautiful. Obviously we, we already got Ranger Boots. So this don't have as much of a value for me. But Gothic Scoif is really huge. Uh, we're gonna wear that temporarily. There we go. Still got three more though. We get a Peach Helmet and just a full rune starter kit here. Oi, okay, so Bandos item, Sara item. Another Fire Lighter. I mean, that's pretty decent again. Ooh, Sara Chaps. This is huge. This is really good for Ziliana. Another Unique, more Sharks. Ooh, it gave me another one. Let's go. Okay, okay. And we got one more. Ooh, nice, and then Arma Chaps as well, and Gothic's Dehyde Body. Oi, wait, that's huge. And here we go. Oh my god, and it's another one. And we are just printing these hard clues, man. And it's a magic longbow. D today is a solid day, man. It really is a solid day, bro. Oi, wait a second. That's really good. So, right now, I'm actually... This is gonna be my new weapon, by the way. It may seem a bit silly, uh, but it's actually really good. Alright, so, this was not as bad as I thought. It took us probably around 40 minutes, but there is 73, and we should now be able to catch Ninja Impling. We're gonna grab some Entangles, and uh, actually go ahead and do that real quick. I do believe we will be strictly focusing on Ninja Implings, and just trying to get it done as fast as possible. I'm not really gonna bother hunting anything else. So, the goal is simple. Rune Throwing Axes. One more level. Okay, there it is. Um, a little bit of a problem fixed right there. 74. We can now actually catch ninja implings. All right, here we go. Here we go. Two ninja implings. Will it drop? Dagon of hide. Snakeskin boots. Dragon dagger poisoned from from the thingy. That's actually pretty solid. It's mystic again. Snakeskin shits. Where we go again? There we go. Come on. More darts. Unlucky. Another chance. Dude, I'm mad, man. We didn't get the throwing axes, but there might be another way. I can try teleporting out, but I can't kill this. I can kill this. Can I kill this? So I can kill this too. If I just go on this side, 
Okay, okay, watch this. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna I think it's gonna work. We're gonna teleport out of there back to Releka. We're gonna create Crystal of Memories. We're gonna go the other way around. And we're gonna destroy this from that side. That's how we're gonna get in without throwing axes. And I'm just hoping it's gonna work. Okay, so the moment of truth. Is this doable? So I can't destroy this, but I can do boom, boom. Please, on God. Dude! Dude, we're in! We're in! Yes! Okay, I'm sure we can do this and go back. Please be doable. I mean, it looks doable, right? Start off with an Earth Battle Staff. Very nice. Oh, that's also a task, apparently. Alright. Hey, there's a first unique mud battle staff. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Oh, wait. Us getting that mud battle staff was actually 160 points, like an elite task. Because I got an equip mud battle staff, which was 80, and then equip a combination battle staff, which was also like a lot of points. That's pretty good. That's already worth our trip here. I didn't even see. We got a dragon X. Yes, dude. I think I willed it and I spec with it. That's a that's a task. Uh, I got basically everything I wanted. I, I'm gonna kill one more and and dip. I don't need to do this anymore. Here we go. The Jormungand. Oh my! He didn't make it. He tried his best. Don't look into his eyes, dude. We're winning. That should hopefully do it. There we go. There it is, 50,000 Slayer, that's actually a lot more. 50,000 Crafting and a lot of Arun Crafting XP. None of this I really care about aside from Slayer. Which is actually really good because now our Slayer level is 73. Meaning we can now do Wyverns. And I can get a Arun Crossbow from Wyverns. Hey, let's go. Okay, that's Rune Dragon defeated. We get a Ref Rune as well. We grinded it out and we have three Elites and four Heart Glue Scrolls, almost five. We were on the last step but couldn't complete because of the Rune Boot requirement. So this means it is finally time for a huge opening yet again. So let's just start with Hards actually. Start off with Hards, we get an Arma Full Helm, a Red Dehyde Body G, another Magic Long which is good and all of these pages are really good as well. Rune Heraldic, this is amazing, this now with my Rune Square Helm Heraldic, whatever it's called, this now allows me to complete another clue, and this, Ancient Braces, is literally so good by the way, this is so good, massive update from Red Spike Event Braces to Ancient Braces, this is also gonna be amazing for Nex, this time we just get a Sara Plate Skirt and Ancient Full Helm, nothing too crazy but money still, and another one. And we got Holy Blessing, Ancient Blessing, Black Chaps, Rune Dagger. This one is probably the worst out of all. Let me quickly go to the bank, get rid of it. Now for the fun part, three Elite Caskets. This could be huge. Start off with the Katana and some Tuna. But wait, we got it. Wait a second. I don't need to do anything crazy. We now have a Rune Crossbow, which is huge. I mean, I have a fletching level. I was not too far away from getting it. But now I can actually go and demonstrate why the ranger build is so OP. Uh, we got a bucket helmet, Archaea scarf, Zami page, Gothic page. Pretty bad, but we got a bunch of pages. Can't complain. And another one. Oi! What did we get? A royal gown top. It's pretty bad. I don't know why I got excited for that. Oh, the hits are so much bigger than with the Dorgi, by the way. And the specs are coming through almost perma. Obviously, I'm not gonna waste rubies until we are on bosses. Uh, realistically, I'll probably just use Runite Bolts, but yeah, this is gonna be chill. Oh, this guy's dropped Prayer Pot. Hey, yo, thanks. We will try to kill her with poison. So we're just gonna use all our specs and just use the DDS, basically. I hope I am poisoning here. Uh, and she's poisoned. Okay, I'm not gonna hit again. So two more poison hits will kill her. So now we wait, basically. It's gonna take a bit of time, but it should be alright. So that's one hit, and then one more should kill her. And there it is, the poison kills her. So now we've done every task but the KC task. We get another Mossy key on top, which is perfect. 
So now we just speed kill nine more times, hope for Briofta Essence. And if we get it, we're happy. And if we don't get it, we're sad. So let's see how it goes. And there it is, 5kc, Briofta fully completed. I think that gives me some sort of points. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but now we're just going to speedrun seven more kills. We're basically hoping to get the Briofta staff. We are winning. Briofta's essence with five left to spare. Wow, that's beautiful, by the way. We got it. And that is, I don't even know how this works. I guess I need to put it on a staff. That is huge. Do I even kill five more? There is no reason to kill any more. I need to figure out how to attach this thing and use it to actually get the points. But we are completely fully completed with Briofta. Alright, so I don't have a single battle stuff on the account and I see BA to get it. So I'm just gonna speak to Zaf and I think if I give him 50k he will make it for me. Now we have a Briofta stuff uncharged and if we equip it, it is beautiful. 80 points, that's a hard one as well, out of the way, nice. Now that we have a rune crossbow, we unlocked an ability to do just about every boss in the game. Just a simple item changes so many things. So first thing I want to do is I just want to go straight to Kriara and see if I can grind out some armadil pieces. But also I could do that whilst training Slayer. If I go here into rewards, I have a little bit of a rewards. Let's see if I can buy... Whenever you get an aviancy task, it will be a bigger task. Okay, so is there no way to unlock it first? There we go. Connor, Duradel, Neve, Sheldar, and Crystalia will now be able to assign aviancies. That is good. There we go. We got a Mithril Grapple. So that is pretty much everything we need. We got a Sara on the Coif, a Zami on the Shield, Arma on the Chaps. We got Brazers. We got the Ranger Boots. For the prayers, we're going to be using the Dampen Ranged. We're going to be using Metabolize, which is actually... Kind of interesting, because the delay before you can attack after eating food is reduced. So I can eat and shoot basically one tick faster. And then range attack and range strength also big increase. However, I will be taking 10% bonus damage. But I think this should be good enough to kill Kriara. Let's, uh, let's try it out. Guys, we have an incident. I need 60 strength to open or 60 agility. I can't even enter it. I've prepared everything, man. I've prepared it all, bro. Here we go, here we go. We are ready, we got the KC. Now I hope that KC doesn't go down when you enter, like in last leagues. But even if it does, it is what it is, right? And we're going. Let's see if it procs. I need to be careful though, because... I do not have that much HP to work with. That's the first spec. 42. Second one. Third one. Swap the bolts. Yeah, we're doing it. We're cooking. We're cooking. And we're just gonna do one kill, get out, come back in, one kill, get out, come back in. That's basically the strats here. My defense is pretty low and my HP is pretty low, so it's like hard to keep track. But very noob friendly, as you can see. Lots of spanks. We'll wait for the loot. We get frozen keepies. We get grimy dwarf weed. And we TP home. And then we pray and we come back and all we're hoping is that our kill count did not get deleted. Because if our kill count got deleted, we are sad. But if it didn't get deleted, we are very happy. And the kill count is there, so we can do this all day, every day. This is gonna be insane. Runite bolts, that's actually pretty good for us as well, by the way. Dwarf weeds again, we take those. Oh well, in case we ever lose one, we now have another rune crossbow, beautiful. It appears that the very first drop is a God Sword Shard 2, which I'm actually not against. This is a good drop because I'm not killing minions. All the God Sword Shards are actually really good because they are very rare. So this is good. And obviously we're looking for God Sword Shard 1 and 3 as well. But let's see if we can actually get an Arma piece. We are 25 KC. So I believe we are now on the raid without calculations. I might be wrong, but I think we're now on the raid for Arma pieces. This is pretty good. This is really good. God Sword Shard 1 as well. We're on 34kc and uh, no Arma pieces. So let's keep going. But this is a really good start here. What did I just do? 25 combat achievements. I have no idea what I just did, but I'll take it. There is another God Sword Shard 1. Very first dupe. I'll take it. It's not too bad. Hey, we got uh, Kriara Adept, so that's 50 kill count. Also, earlier I didn't mention it, but we didn't get the 25 kill count, but we got killing Kriara without taking any melee damage, so Flight Killista never hit, boss never hit. So basically, if I want to complete combat achievements at this point, I need 100 KC, kill it with a Black Salamander, and I need one kill where I kill all the Guardians first and then finish the boss, but I will be doing that once I have a little bit of a better gear. 
We got one bolt left and we made 81 KC and we got nothing to show for it. Lovely. All right, well, there it is. Uh, 100 kill count without a drop. There is 200 more. I mean, that makes sense, right? But then, okay, uh, I will obviously keep going. I mean, I want to get full armor, mine. That's also points. Uh, it's just a little bit unlucky that uh, we didn't get it yet. We just got our first level 90. I'm going to assume it was range. So that's pretty good. I mean, we started it at like 80 something. I don't know exactly how much it was. We're now 103 kills in and we are now 90 range, which is, uh, you know, pretty good. So can't complain. Hey, sometimes, sometimes you just need to persist and grind through the dry streak to get it. There it is. Oh my, it's the best piece as well. Thank you, game. Look at it. It's beautiful. Boom. Oh man, 200 points for that. That's beautiful. I actually got so many points for just doing this, by the way. But there it is, the first piece, and I have power amulet. Oi, oi, oi. We go again. We run it back. We go for a back-to-back -back situation right now. There we go, back-to-back. Oi, -back. it would be too perfect. It would be too perfect, man. Oi, there it is. There it is, guys. It's that simple. Just go dry, complain, get the drop. Two out of four completed. All right, so I've done 150 kills in a row and we pulled away with Arma Helmet and Arma Chestplate. Now, I could use my luck and uh, stay here for a bit longer. However, what I do want to work towards is maybe upgrading my accumulator to an assembler. First Vorketh kill. This might be a bit of a mess. I don't know if I can pray range. Either way, I don't have anti-fire, so I'm going to get hit probably hard. But I need to see which way do I get hit harder. If I pray range or magic, we're just going to have to improvise and see. But maybe it slaps. That was range. That was magic, okay. Three in a row? Hey, yo! Hundred, hundred, hundred! Okay, I'll need to do a bit more. I am a bit rusty, I'm not gonna lie. And my tile things aren't on. Okay, I mean, I can kill it pretty comfortably. So that's already good. And the loot should be really solid, so... I got work of Speed Chaser, nice! That should be a lot of points, actually. That is solid. Ooh, and the first Dragon Bolt as well. These are going to be huge. Okay, that's a no prayer kill. And this was not too hard, actually, with infinite food. No problems there. Time for a very temporary small upgrade. Since I just got uncut Dragonstone for a drop from Vorkath, I figured, you know, I might as well make a glory. So crafting it is a decent task. And now we're going to actually charge it in the Heroes Guild. So I can put this to this. Now it is a glory. Now we can go here. Now it is charged glory. Ah, there we go. Much better. Nice. Wait, this one worked, by the way. How did this work? I felt like that was the worst. I'm so confused. Well, we got all the achievements we wanted to do at the moment. There we go, 15 kill count in, and we finally get a dragon plate skirt, which is, uh, there we go, it's a task, beautiful. 80 points for that, solid. I just pulled ruby bolt tips, unironically, this then lets me actually use more ruby bolt tips. That's huge for the account, no way, what? Okay. And we got dragon plate legs as well. Nice. So this, this, more money. Yoink, 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 yoink. Well, it's been such a successful stream. I streamed for 13 hours and now it is unfortunately time to have a little bit of a break. So we got Warcraft to 25, halfway done. I'm gonna alk a bunch of these things and I'm probably gonna get pretty close to the cash that I need. Uh, but yeah, I think right now I'm just gonna go chill and AFK uh, fish, I think, until tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow morning, I think I will return to Warcraft, return to Kriara. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I decided to do a little bit of Soul Wars right now because I want to get Ectoplasmata, very good points. And dude, it's so fun just with Runite Bolts with my Armadil set. It's actually like really, really fun. And uh, this seems to be the game where I'm going to get my first win as well. But also the goal for today still is to finish up Assembler and maybe even return to Kriara and do a little bit of that. So we got a little major here. I just want to demonstrate to you how nice this feels. I can quickly eat a little bit. And that's true prayer. He's chugging food. 
I'm gonna turn on this guy. <laughs> he got two hit. Uh, that's what I mean. Like it's when you see low level with this, it is so funny. And he's running. All right, so this guy right here is trying to do a little bit of PVE. Let's see if we can smite him out real quick. One, two, three. He didn't make it. Uh, but yeah, super satisfying. As I said, a little bit laggy this world. But yeah, I just wanted to demonstrate how silly it is. I mean, look at this guy. 22, 36, 2, bam, dead. What about this guy? Need to pray range though, because on this prayer book, I take like 10% bonus damage. Oh my god, I just 3 hit that guy as well. And I'm smiting myself. I'm out of food, but like, they're all dying, so... Uh, but yeah, we already killed the boss twice, so this is gonna be our first win. I don't mind if I die, obviously this minigame is like, yeah. I will do this for a few games, get a bit of points, and then when I feel like it, I'm returning to Vorkath, and when I'm not feeling it, I will just do some points, because I do want to go to the next relic, because it's gonna be super satisfying. I should basically insta buy ectoplasma matter let me just double check that that's actually a task and it is so let's go ahead and buy one ectoplasma matter that should be quite a lot of points very solid i think i just go into another game i mean i'll do this until 92 it's probably worth it uh, there is one more thing i can do whilst i'm stuck on this super laggy world and that is actually pest control so i can get myself void i can get some easy points let's go ahead and do it i've fallen into a bit of a skilling trap i think so what i've been doing right now if i've just been doing pest control and training crafting and i went from like 82 to 87 crafting simply doing this and getting void as well so this is one of the tasks that i'm working towards and i'm looking at these points and i feel like 3000 points is so easy for me to get right now i've just not been focusing on it because obviously i've been prioritizing pvming a little bit having a bit of fun and whatnot but i think i could easily nuke this down even today now i'll have to decide whether i want to finish doing arma and vorkath and stuff like that first or if i just go for some points okay now for the moment of truth let's see if we need all the pieces of void or just one now since i do plan on training melee very soon i'm just gonna take the void melee helm because i don't have any melee gear just yet and if i wear all of this that is an equip full Void Knight set, so I don't actually need all of them, so that's pretty good. I've made up my mind. For now, I'm gonna try to get as many points as quickly as possible for the next few hours. See how close to the next relic I can actually get. And the main reason for that is if I quickly take a look at the relics, and I know what I'm gonna take already and I'll explain more about this later, I get a big jump in the XP and a big jump in points received from a minigame. So realistically, I do want to push to this relic before really going on those long grinds. But first, let's speak to Gommel, actually. I've been doing some combat achievements. And let's see if he can give me some XP lamps. Now, there is one thing I wish I did earlier, and that is to realize that agility is a little bit annoying for me to train. And also, I need 70 agility for Zeliana, which I really want to do for the Armadil crossbow, now that we have a chance to actually use Dragon Bolts instead of, well, Armand or Rune Bolts enhanced. So, let's just go ahead and use a little bit of XP lamps on agility. 60,000, by the way. We do want to push this to 70 as fast as possible. Obviously, I don't have the Trickster. Therefore, I can't just get this done passively. This is the easy diary completed. And if you guys know, this will allow me to do some cool stuff in the shops. Obviously, now we have a little bit of money. So a lot of points coming up ahead. Everyone that took farming relic is probably laughing at me right now. But here is the banana tree. And that's also a diary task. So I'll take it. And a task, apparently. I just got a gout tuber. But I need a spade for that. No way I actually got that. That's 80 points on top of that. And now I need to repair a full fence. And then the game should actually start letting me get the machete. So that, that's really insane, actually. Finally, man, I hate these dialogues. It takes, like, it's so annoying to make this. There we go. We now got an open machete. Don't need this machete either. Because we got this one. Okay, so Karamja, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. I hate this. I, I always struggle with it. This jungle card service just doesn't want to work for me and cut a log from a mahogany tree. Maybe it's gonna let me do it now. I don't really know what to do. I had a hundred favor. I had sticks. I come in. I click it. It doesn't let me chop it. Now it lets me chop it. So the solution was to start recording. Oh my, I'm such an idiot. I actually know what it is. Uh, I need to use the fucking card from Shiloh to... I'm such a... 
Maybe I should start reading better. Okay, easy and medium will basically be done here and we can claim a bunch of XP for probably agility. <laughs> there it is. Okay, easy, medium, done. Nice. Okay, now we got Karamja gloves. Now I can rub it for the first time, put it on agility, 12k, up to 56. Rub it the second time, again onto agility. 60,000, we're up to 59. All right, not bad at all. I used all of my money to buy 28,397 Chaos Rune, and we're gonna go right here into the store whilst wearing our Karamja gloves. And now I need to sell it for Tokul, so a little bit of clicking. And we are left off with 327,000 tokens, which is actually a lot more than I expected to get. But there are a lot of tasks in this area, and I'm actually going to start right over here. First one, Obsidian Cape. That's a task. This is so, so silly that this is this many points, by the way. We're left with 183,000 token, which is not enough to buy an onyx. So I'm gonna go alk a few things, craft a few gems and get this onyx as well. As you can see, only 2.6k points missing. And there we go, we scraped together just enough runes for 260,000 tokul, which is gonna be very easy points. And as soon as this crafting goes to 90, it's gonna be even more points and even better amulet. This is going to turn into a fury, probably very shortly actually. But there we go, 260,000 onyx, bam. There it is, beautiful 200 points. That's jelly as well, and now for Tura, Turoth and Kurask. I don't even know if I need to kill them or not, but we're, we're just gonna kill everything. And this one is 50 points, so just by doing that, we now only have 2,000 points left to go. Should be pretty achievable. That should be both easy and medium tasks in Lumbridge and the Drain are also completed. I'm also going to do all the Varrock ones, just make sure all the diaries that can be completed are completed, and we get a bunch of XP lamps in the process as well. All right, here's my two rewards. Again, we're gonna chuck it into agility and we're gonna chuck it into agility. Now, after 70, I can pretty comfortably train it uh, through Polnivnic, for example, but before 70, I really don't have a great training spot. That's gonna be the Soul's Bane completed. We did that for diary. If we enter this, that should also be the diary. Then we just make Mahogany's and we are done with this step as well. Medium tasks also completed. Let's uh, go and uh, claim our rewards real quick. Here we are, our boy Toby. Two lamps going all the way into agility yet again. So that's 30,000 and that's 90,000. Up to 66 agility, that is basically perfect. We are almost 70. All right, and now for the final trick of how we're gonna go about getting a bunch of points, you probably already know, we're gonna be doing a lot of stuff in the Tazar city. So we are missing 2000 points, but first let's get the fire cape. I'm just gonna go in my range gear, nothing too special. I only have seven prayer potions on my account. So I just plan on praying protect from magic when there's a magic mob. And outside of that, I'm just gonna tank it and eat food because I have bankers No. I'm actually a bit of an idiot. I'm doing this on a 2000 fully populated Soul Wars world with a million ping. Okay, so I could probably take it, Jad. I know how to do it. I don't know. I don't want to risk it. I'm, I'll be honest. So I'm just going to do it nice and standard way. Make sure I secure the speed run. All right, so there's the fight caves completed. I think we also got some speed tasks. Yeah, so fight cave speed chaser and uh, we can now equip the fire cape. And that's gonna be another task. And whilst we were doing that, we also basically finished the diaries for the Karamja. So if we were to take a look at the hard Karamja tasks, I'm only missing become the champion of the fight pits. And now we can do that as well. So pretty solid. Yo, shout out to my boy uh, Pivia. Anyways, for uh, helping me in the fight pits. And that will be hard diaries completed, I believe for another 80 points and a lot of XP and agility that we will claim soon. So there we go, the hard rewards coming in, Karamja Gloves 3 included. And again, one more time, agility. We're now to 68, almost there. But that, us getting the fire cape, wasn't everything this city has to offer. Inside, there are challenges. And if you just kill one jet, two jet, three jet, whatever, the challenges as they go on, each one gives you a decent amount of points. So that's what I'm gonna try to attempt right now, see how far I can go. And I know for a fact, after the relic choice, I'll be able to go even further. Uh, but for now, I might only be able to, let's say, do three jets at a time, I don't know. I've actually never done this challenge in the game. So we'll figure it out, we'll test it out, we'll see how it goes and uh, see how far we can go. 
So we were a proud owner of this infernal cape for a grand total of 1 minute and 13 seconds. We're gonna immediately sacrifice it because we will be doing inferno at our earliest convenience, just not quite yet. And there it is, that's 200 points. So we did all of that, we got 400 points super fast, and now let's do the challenges. And as you can see, only 1.4k points to go. I think I can reach this easily. Alright, let's see, I've never done this in my whole life of playing this game, so... I guess we start off with the first one. I genuinely don't know what to expect, so... I'm also using this prayer book, because... In case I mess up, I guess. Uh, looks like just first one is a one Jed. Okay, so that's the first one, and I think every single one of these will give us points. Yeah, the start is 80 points. Okay, that's the second... Well, that's two Jeds done. That should be... Was that any points? Yeah, that was 80 points again. Okay, first attempt at triple jets. And that was 200 pointer, that's very good. Three jets were pretty easy, and now we got a thousand points left to get. I might as well try the four one, I've never done it in my life. Yeah, this will definitely be easier once I unlock the next relic, but since we need to get there, we might as well keep trying. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I just got. I think I got 95 range in the middle of that run. Okay, let's not choke this. Okay, and that was 4. I'm not even gonna attempt 5 because I know for a fact it's, it is just with this gear, let's just say I will struggle a bit, but when I have the next relic, it should be a lot easier. So that was 200 more, and now I only need to get 690 points. I know exactly what I want to do to get that. I am banking on the fact that I can get a ancient staff from this guy for free. No, I had to buy it, but 80k for an ancient staff will be worth it. Not a task. However, I did just swap to a magic spellbook. My goal is to get 78 magic. I have Dust Devil task. You can connect the dots. I guess I could just do this room only and that should also be okay. But there we go. First encounter with Dust Devils. And that's the first task. Cast an Ice Burst. And that's another one to defeat a Dust Devil in this dungeon. We're getting super close, only 500 left. Alright, there it is, 78 magic. It may seem like a weird level that doesn't really provide anything. However, if you enter Soul Wars and with a potion boost, I should be able to cast a Barrage spell right now. And with a Barrage spell, I definitely can then cast the Ice Blitz spell as well. And those are both point tasks, but obviously first I will go ahead and uh, finish my Dust Devil task over here. Alright, at the end of the task, we get a Choke Devil, 78 Magic, 77 Slayer. I had like 6, 7 Superiors, so really good task for Superiors. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another task and then get myself into a Soul Wars game. Alright, well, I'm gonna feel really dumb if this doesn't boost me to the level that I want. Please? 16, yes, nice. So I can cast Barrage, I can cast Blitz. Yeah, we'll just play this game out. Obviously, good points as well. We're only missing 570 right now, so let me just W key straight into someone. I, I forgot to change my prayers into the aggressive one, so I uh, that that's a bit unlucky. I'm not hitting hard, but let's see. So I can do this, cast a little Barrage. That's a task. And where is that guy? I can cast a blitz on him too. Or that guy. Just come here, you. I cast it on you. I cast it on this guy. And that's another task. There we go, just like that. Now that we are already on the ancient spellbook, I have one more thing up my sleeve. But first I need to decide what I'm gonna do with all the zeal. We got 300 exactly. I think we just buy 10 spoils of war, I'm gonna be honest here. Nice, it's perfect, we got a bunch of them, let's take a look if we can get more bolts. This is good, rubies are amazing. I got a cabbage, what the fuck? And bones, okay, out of that, the diamonds are great, the rubies are great, the essence is phenomenal by the way, this is really good. Uh, as soon as we get upper rank, I'm gonna be using these for massive experience and a little bit of alcables. Oh wait, and we got a shit ton of edibles, I didn't even notice. That is amazing. First thing on the menu is going to be the Leviathan, but I forgot prayers. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. It's worth mentioning, 
I maybe have like five Leviathan KCs in my life playing this game. And the one of the reasons why I took Desert is so I could practice and do a bunch of this boss and just get familiar with it. And it's also going to give us some points. So I guess no further ado. Let's see if we can do this thing. Oh, he's packing like crazy. Alright, that was Leviathan defeated. That was pretty simple. For some smoke runes and 80 points. Okay, now let's just attempt to kill Maspa. I haven't looked at any guides or anything, so... I'm just gonna send it and hope I can just brute force it with my stats. Okay, that was pretty bad, but we got a kill done, which should be more points. And we also got charged dice, which I don't know what it's used for, but we got it. So now we are only missing 130 points, so let's figure out how we're gonna get that done. One of the easy tasks is to move this house to Releka, uh, but I'm going to also move it immediately back to Polnivnic because it's just where I want it. And this is the next easy one, picking one summer squirk. I will need to pick a lot of this in the future. I wish there was a one-click mass going on, but that just leaves us with one simple task to go before we unlock the very next relic. And just like that, entering the bank is going to be the final task we will do in order to unlock the seventh relic. And I've been teasing these for a while because this is, I think, one of the hardest decisions that you can take based on relics. And let me explain why. Berserker is arguably one of the best options you can take. This, when your low HP deals ridiculous damage and you always max hit mobs when they are full HP. This is completely ridiculously strong relic, like really absurdly good. Then we go to Weapon Master, which, you know, if you combine this with a Zerite crossbow that we will have and you can spec it five times, it is absolutely ridiculous. So every 30 seconds, your special attack energy is restored by 30% instead of 10%. Combine that with a Light Better Ring and you got an absolutely ridiculous combo. Then if you have no special attack energy remaining, you will sacrifice 25 hit points for the special attack instead. So basically you can use your HP for spec and then special attacks are 100% accurate against monsters. So you will always hit your specials as well. And then on top of that, as if that wasn't enough already, the special attacks also have a minimum max hit of 20% of your max hit. So Weapon Master, super ridiculous. And then you got another one, yeah? And we keep on going. And this one, Soul Stealer, is the one where all of your attacks have increased minimum hit. So you're always hitting. 10% of your minimum hit, and then when one of your attacks successfully hits, there's 50-50, whether you restore your HP and prayer by 10% of your damage dealt or not, right? So every single hit, and we're hitting fast, we can be healing prayer and we can be healing HP. And that isn't enough, right? The relics restore effect does not work for multi-target attacks, okay? That is basically, you can't be like barraging like multiple targets. And then this relics restoration effect will not work with the Scythe of Vitter. It's initial hit, however, it will only work for its secondary hits. We do not care because we don't have Scythe. So this is actually the choice that I will personally go for. And I've been contemplating on this and I know that Berserker is better damage-wise, and I know that Weapon Master is better damage-wise, but for the plans that I have for this account, for the 6 Jed challenge, for the Inferno, for so many things, I feel like Soul Stealer, man. The amount of things you can just simply do with this is phenomenal. Like the combat achievement tasks, the infinitely long Vorkath runs, the, like everything. This is going to be nice. And of course, I do have the banker's note and I can unnote an unlimited amount of food and unnote unlimited amount of potions, but there's just something about having a relic like that. I just can't skip on it and I'm gonna select it. I'm going, I don't care. And on top of that, we're also getting the XP multiplier up to 16X and minigame points are now rewarding us 8X. So this is it, this is my choice. I am picking Soul Stealer, and I really think there is no wrong option uh, when it comes to the seventh tier of Relic. Now, funnily enough, the first thing I'm actually gonna decide to do today is AFK and get myself 70 strength. That is going to be needed for us to enter the Bando's room. And I have my melee void with steel boots, very questionable gear, no fire cape because I sacrificed it, no infernal cape because I haven't decided to do it yet, but I'm just gonna be slapping these crabs, and as you can see, my HP is going up, my prayer is going up, but 
this is obviously not my main damage style, but also I can't hit zeros anymore, so XP training should be pretty fast. Not only is this place super AFK, this place also drops a lot of unidentified fossils, which I can then later on use to get my agility to 70. So we could treat this little training session as a full preparation to kill every single God Warriors boss. But in order for us to do that, we need 70 strength, 70 agility, 70 HP. So we already got one out of the way. And by us doing these crabs, we're basically doing both of these at once. So pretty solid. And I really enjoy this place. I'll probably be here quite a lot. Decided to clean my fossils and we got some antique lamps and you guys already know the drill We need 70 agility after that. I'm not gonna bother. There's a lot of agility tasks Perfectly calculated this we now have 70 agility This is our access to Ziliana and this is our access to armadillo crossbow and we now got 70 strength Which is our access for bandos. I do need to afk a little bit longer So I'm gonna get my attack to 70 as well Which is going to be our access to wield a Saradomin sword which is also one of the tasks. So I'm kind of just doing absolutely everything I can right now to prepare for our PVM grind that's coming very, very soon. I've been doing a little bit of zealing. Uh, we got Mr. Nomad over here. I just want to make sure I cap my prayer XP per day. So how many can I use? I have 900 tokens, which I think is a lot. Can I use like 600? This will be like over a million prayer XP. So what will happen? I still have 715 zeals. I can't use any more. Okay, so it didn't use much zeal at all, but we are up to 86 prayer. That's probably because I used some XP earlier. Uh, there we go. We're, we'll do this every day, but I'm kind of tempted to use a little bit of it on rewards. I think I need around 500 to cap for the day, and I plan on doing a few more runs easily. So how about we buy... I say we buy 15 more Spoils of War, and we take a look at how much we get from this one. More essence, more essence, that's amazing. That's basically 99 runecrafting in like a speedrun session. Hey, look at these boys. Adamant bolts, ruby bolts, diamond bolts. I think I'm sorted for life here uh, with the amount of uh, bolts that I just received. This is really, really good. I'm very happy with this. Let's do a few more runs. And honestly, I wouldn't be opposed to the idea of using all my essence. I got 15, 16,000 of it, and uh, that's really fast XP. Our very first Ziliana kill, let's take a look. So I'm not sure if I should like run or like how to do this. Or if I should just straight up like just do, like just tank her. I'm gonna try to just tank her. That's what we're gonna do. Just tank, TP, come back basically. There's another frozen piece. Okay, we try it again, just tanking her with melee basically. Full on lazy gameplay, which is basically one of the reasons why I went the relics I went. Because I wanted to play like this. Because this is. Th you can only do this in leagues. Look at this. It is an absolute movie out here. And obviously, I'm running Metabolize as well, so every now and then I'll need to eat a bit of food, but it should be very simple to do this for a very long time. Unironically, this is an insanely good drop. Magic Seed is like. It is really good. Is gonna be some nice training for us. Got the starlight as well, and now we kill Ziliana. Just like that. And that should be a Grandmaster task. Yep, very good. There it is, the first drop, Sara Sword. We can uh, wear it, and it's a task for sure. It's a beautiful sword, man. It wasn't even highlighted. How cheap are these these days? Yeah, this is going to be my weapon to train strength with, most likely. I'm also going to, at some point when I'm AFK, and go for a dragon defender with this thing just for points. But yeah, we're just going to put this on strength. And whenever I'm AFK in crabs, it's probably going to be with this sword from now on. Oi, 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 diamond bolts going crazy then. Apparently, we got a Sara's Light as well. I don't know if there's a task surrounding this thing, but there's a second unique in 14 kill count. And now the last one that we really need is uh, a very rare one. Well, we still need the God Sword as well, so we need two more. I'm gonna check if there's any tasks regarding this. At least when we're gonna do Zami, it's gonna be nice and light. Second Sara Sword. I have a feeling we're gonna get a lot of those. There's another Sara Light. So we're now two for two. Well, two Sara Lights, two Sara Swords. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I just got a God Sword Shard 3, which actually completes my sword. This is huge. I got God Sword Shard 1, 2, and 3, meaning that I can basically just swap the blades around if I get it and complete all the tasks. So this is really good drop, actually. So all we need now are just God Sword blades from all the God Wars and uh, we are sorted. Oh, no way. Vorkav said first kill, by the way. I mean, first kill back, 26 kill count. There we go, we can go make our assembler. That's basically why we were here for. I did want to do a couple of challenges, and it is quite nice with a sustain relic. Uh, but that's amazing. Let's go let's go make this straight away. Ava's assembler. There it is. I guess it's already on my back. I need to do it like that. There we go. 80 pointer, but most importantly, very, very useful for us. And I guess now it doesn't really make sense to do more Vorkath until we're beast out, until we have full Arma and ACB. So maybe even full Mazori before I even return. So because of that, I guess it is time to return to Ziliana to try and farm ourselves an ACB. It's going to be a bit of a grind, but let's get it. Wait, I just got 99 range. I didn't even know it was coming. How much points? I don't even know. Dude, what if I get 99 range and then we top it off with an ACB? After 99 range, we get nothing. And that is 100 kills. It is now getting a little bit late, so I'm gonna start speaking a little bit more quietly. But I haven't seen a drop in a while, and obviously the ACB is 1 in 127, so we're not really even on the drop rate yet for that. Running out of food, but we keep on going. Ah, there goes the broken try streak, but it's for another Saradomen sword. Low on food, so I will most likely go and purchase a bunch more. There is another Sara sword, number four, I think. I alked the others because they alk for like 160k, but still no ACB to show for it. There we go, a little bit of late night chill skilling later. And we got ourselves 90 crafting, which is what we need for Onyx amulets. And as you guys know, we actually do have Onyx already available for this exact moment. We're just gonna take gold bar and amulet mold and we can make it. However, I don't have the magic level yet. So I'll have to level this up a bit before I can actually wear the fury. Uh, but we can make it and claim some points in the process. There it is. Onyx amulet. 200. Elite task. And now this will go right here when I can use it. Here comes another God Sword Shard 3. Decided to return and do a bit more PvE. Ah, yes. The Sara Light into Sara Sword into Sara Light into Sara Sword combo into Sara Light again. 137. We have not been lucky in God Wars, so let's just uh, grind it out. Yeah, it's only fitting. That we get a Sara Sword after a Sara Light. We are currently five Sara Swords, four Sara Lights. No sign of ACB, no sign of Sara Hilt. The Sara Sword is taking the lead, six to four, crazy. Yo, this is happening right now. Sara Sword number seven. If you guys do not know, the drop chance for an ACB is one in 127, and I believe for the Sara Hilt as well. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. <gasps> okay, it's not what I needed, but it's good. There it is, man. Good. Finally, a rare drop that we actually get. 162. That leaves us with ACB less drop yet again. I can actually make this, but I don't have smithing, but that's gonna be a reason to train smithing. Well, there it is, 200 KC, almost at a drop chance for two of them at this point, and still nothing. This is the collection log so far, 200 KC, everything obtained aside from pet and ACB and the thing is this is the most important drop for my account because I'm range base and it would just help us big time So right now it's getting very late. I'm going to chill I'm gonna go probably do some fishing until the morning and we're gonna go again It is a brand new day. We're entering at the warriors guild. No particular reason is just very early I want something chill to do. I'm gonna get myself a dragon defender very quickly And again, I don't think it's an important thing at all It's gonna give me a little bit of points, but I'm also not prioritizing points right now I'm going to try to find the best balance that I can between Actually still going for points because I do want to unlock tier 8 in like somewhat reasonable time and between just PVMing and farming like really good gear. So that's like my plans and uh, I guess we'll see how it goes. 
Wait a second, I killed one of these and I got 400 warrior guild tokens. This is actually boosted. What? Okay. Now, I was a good boy and I farmed a lot of zeal yesterday. I have almost 3000 and the main reason for that is so I can gain this XP every single reset. I'm just gonna guess about... Uh, let me just try like 500. I, I'm really bad at math, I don't really like doing it, but... Prayer XP... That was 999,000. So basically that's the exact amount of zeal you need for the daily reset. Uh, that's the prayer level, that's usually why I did this. So we now also unlock Cruor's Vow. This is useless for me. Attacks reduce your opponent's defense. But can I pray this with, let's say, my aggressive melee? Where's my melee bonus? Oh, there we go. Attack and strength by 25%. So I can pray this and my attacks reducing the defense. And let's say melee and let's say metabolize. Also my attacks can inflict poison, so I can pick one of these, or defeating an opponent will drain my prayer points but give me hit points, so I can pick between those. Interesting, so I can play like this for example when I'm PvEing, and with my relic of preserving prayer and HP, I should be able to sustain it. Bronze defender on the very first kill count. Okay, this might be really fast with my uh, 4x uh, rate. Okay, yeah, this is, I guess, like, ridiculously fast. What is going on? Literally, next kill, Iron Defender. Okay, we'll speedrun through this. Okay, still Defender, three more KC after that, or maybe four. Okay, Black Defender. We're currently 13 Cyclops in, and we got a Black Defender. That is Mithril Defender. Adamant Defender in 34 KC. Alright, and just like that, Rune Defender obtained, took me 40 Cyclops. I think it took me less than 30 minutes to get to this part. Uh, now, very quickly, we're getting Dragon Defender and then we are out of here. Hey, and there it is, 16 kills later. We now have a Dragon Defender, we're gonna wield it. Should be a task. In the process, we also got to 100 combat, so that was a task. So now I've woken up enough to the point where I think I could go back to Godwars and try to get the ACB. But I guess before I go, I have almost 8,000 Karambuans, my cooking level isn't that high. Let's just go cook a few of those instead of always going to the store and buying more. Okay, well, uh, I did this for a little bit longer than I anticipated. But we now have about 1,000 Karambuans and 90 cooking to show for it. Very nice. Well, would you look at that, another Godsword Shard 2 on the very first kill back. Starting on 202kc, let's see if we can pull ACB anytime soon. Ah, Sara Light trying to get back into the battle of the Sara's Light versus Sara Swords, man. It's what's going on right now. Uh, 208 kill count. I forgot to record it, Sara Sword is coming back. We are currently on 8 Sara Swords and 5 Sara Lights. We're playing a Sara Sword versus Sara Light minigame at the moment and... Uh, yeah, we'll see which one we end up getting more of. Ain't no way I got the Sara Light right back to back. That's crazy, by the way. Look at my chat right now. So we got Sara's Light here, Sara Sword here, Clue Scroll, and then here, uh, another Sara Light. There's no way I got another Sara Sword. I'm just gonna start alking this, by the way. 216 KC. Another Sara Sword, I guess. Oh, back to back Sara Swords. Well, I guess uh, more alks coming through. Man, I really wish there were tasks where it would count for like high KC. There's only task for 100 kill count and to be quite honest, you get that super fast in God Wars. I feel like there should be tasks for like, I don't know, 250 and 500 as well. Because otherwise when you get the dry like this for the item that you need, yeah, not the best feeling to just constantly kill the boss that takes like pretty much hour. Let's say I get about 60 kills an hour, maybe 50 kills an hour, and then you don't get rewarded for it. So it takes a lot of time and you get nothing in return, right? So I wish we had a higher kill count tasks for God Wars. Yeah, there's another Sara Sword. 248 kill count. Wait, there is a task. Wait a second. Defeat any God Wars dungeon boss 250 times. Okay, so one of them is a task. Maybe there's one for 500 as well then. Yeah, there is one to defeat one 500 times as well. Well, hopefully I don't get to that on this one. That would kind of suck because this is like the most important one. But okay, I did not know. I did a bad research. Another Saradomen's Light. Man, I'm just, I can't get it, can I? Oh my god, we just pulled the Rune Sword, which is like giga rare as well, by the way. We got 13. 13 Sara Swords. I made like 1.4 million Alking Sara Swords. It's another God Sword chart. Oh my, we're done. Hey, there it is. There it is. Look at it. It's beautiful, though. No?
Oh my, look at it. It's fucking amazing. I love it. 302 kill count. We were basically good to get two of them. Dude, we take those. But now we need to do like things. We need to train like fletching to 84 to put dragon bolts on. We need to train smithing to 75, I think. Yeah, 75 to get our AGS on and stuff like that. So this is so sick though. I'm so happy we got it. All I had to do was turn the stream on and we got it. Beautiful, beautiful. You may be wondering how I will train my fletching. The answer is simple. We're just gonna make broad bolts. I made a 2.5 million just doing Ziliana, Al King Sara Swords and whatever it is. Uh, but let's just quickly test, yeah. It's absolutely beautiful. So we're gonna be running around the game making broad bolts, basically. That's what we're gonna do. Let's try to have a nice smooth kill here. So we go, we go boom. We shoot him like twice. So he can slap quite hard. This hit is the slap one. But most of the time we should be okay. So when he slaps, we run under and we are ready to eat. But most of the time, if it goes like this, it's a nice smooth kill. Boys, first drop, Bando's boots. Two tasks immediately completed. We take those. Only took us 10 kill count. Since we already got the drop, we already got one item. I can return to Bandos in the future. But most importantly, I do want to get at least one KC of Zami. So I can create the key for next. So I'm going to call it a day for just Bandos right now. And uh, we'll do some Zami. Maybe I'll do a lot of Zami. Maybe just a little bit of Zami. But one thing's for sure, Bandos is pretty annoying with 70 defense. And I don't really need to be doing it right now. There's like, it doesn't really give me any benefits. Yeah, I think this will be kind of chill. But we got the last frozen key piece. Let me just go ahead and uh, do a little bit of this boss, by the way. And I'll be saving this as well. There it is. First drop from the Zami. KC35, Zamorak Spear. If I wield it, that's another task. And as I said, lots of tasks. I could go to 35 or, or whatever, but right now we got all the keys. We got everything we wanted. I want to try next. I want to see if I can find a group of people doing next and uh, see if I can infiltrate. But first, I need to buy 30,000 broad bolts and stuff so I can fledge them, so I can get this up to 84. And I'm going to spend like 2 million on that. So it's going to be a bit of a expensive, but happy with the first dummy drop. All right, then here we go. We assembled our frozen key and we're going to open the frozen door. We're also on the next world. So we're going to quickly take a look if there is anybody even doing next at the moment. Uh, but we still need to get 40 kill count. Luckily, I did get these ancient bracers off of one of the clues. Boys, we're in. What do I pray? What do I pray? Is it mage? I don't fucking know. Don't tell me I'll be tanking because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Cough. I'm coughing. Wait, my stats are draining. What am I doing wrong? Help. That's range, apparently. I'm just copying others. Wait, is that it? Did I actually... There we go. First next KC. What do we get? Bruise. Dude, that's huge, man. Let's go. And restores. Wait, I can actually use some restores, not gonna lie. What I do know... Oh, I'm coughing. Sorry, brother. But I wanna... <laughs> Everyone coughing. Ah! <laughs> LOL! Fuck. Stop coughing on me, bro. Get off. Nihil Shard. I don't know what a Nihil Shard is, but we got Nihil Shard. I feel like this is common. We got some air orbs too. Okay, I need more restores if I want to do this, because my stats get drained to Narnia low. And then I got nothing that I can do with it. Oh, this guy got Zerite Vamps. Oh, that would have been such a good drop, by the way. But we got an achievement. We'll take it. Okay, let's see who gets a drop now. I feel like... The drop rate is so increased, somebody always gets something. I got even more drops. Somebody got a Nihil Horn. I don't even know what Nihil Horn is, I'll be honest here. Oh, that's the crossbow. Oh, shit. Okay, so that's what we need. That's what we need. Okay, good luck, good luck, good luck. Dude, this is fast, though. I like it. I like how fast this is. Perfect next. Another Grandmaster. I guess I didn't make mistakes. And we got rubies, by the way. That's huge. Nihil Sharded. Oh, fuck. Okay, we got some super restores, though. We'll take it. <laughs> this fat, greasy guy gets every MVP, bro. That's the first MVP I got, I think. Because I got big bones, right? You were the MVP for this fight. So this could have been something. In a mass, hey, we'll take it. That means we, we are doing something right. If we can get an MVP in that amount of people. So, not bad, not bad. Oh my god, back-to-back -back MVP. We take those. 
Okay, so next was fun. We ended up getting 20 kill count for now. I will be returning to next probably when I have like a close to full base gear is what I'm thinking. Or at least the dragon bolts. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty chill. It's pretty like I enjoy it. Uh, but right now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do some relaxing slayer. And at the same time, fletch very unrelaxingly. So I can finally get that up to 84 to make myself a dragon bolts. Alright, that's 50 kill count on the good old Krill, and we're getting very decent Slayer XP uh, whilst doing this. So, we would have done this regardless, so it's actually really good that I am on a task. And throughout this whole time, I have a little challenge where I basically just do fletching in between the kills. So, 12,000 left, and we can actually make some Dragon Bolts. Dude, I was waiting for this moment to pull a uh, Cosmic Talisman. There we go, I've been just fletching in the meantime, I'm all the way up to 83 Ladies, gentlemen, we scraped together everything we had. My fingers are numb. But there it is, just with a few more logs, finally. Ah, 84 fletching. And this is a massive increase in damage for our account because we can now start using dragon bolts. Now, I don't have a lot of them, but I have enough of them. So as you can see, first we make them. That was not even a task. And then I'm going to split 80-40 uh, diamond and rubies. So let's go ahead and make those. Uh, Ruby is arguably slightly more important because I will also be using them at next. And usually you end up using more rubies in comparison to diamonds. And then I just need to figure out what I need to enchant those. And we are absolutely gaming. Cosmics. Oh yeah, I'm pretty short on Cosmics. But I have a little trick up my sleeve. I'll show you in a sec. Because uh, we finally got a talisman. Let me just grab all the runes. And we're just enchanting everything real quick. Perfect. With the ticks as well. And just like that, we now are a proud owner of ruby bolts and the diamond bolts, but they are dragon, so very, very good. So we need cosmic runes, right? We need, we need them. Hold them. Oh, yeah, yeah. And this is just cosmics, by the way. This is not even the most XP. I just simply need cosmics for all the enchanting we're going to be doing. I decided to do a little bit of fossils, ended up uh, filling up quite a lot of this place, and we got four lamps. Now, there is really two skills that I can put my lamps into. Either it's herblore or it's farming. I'm probably just going to be balancing out these two skills as I go. But right now, my farming is struggling. Let's just put a little bit of XP into that. So a little bit more, 32k XP drops up to 57. It would be nice if I could get it to 60 so I could plant U seeds. And just like that, fruit trees and trees, I can now plant U seeds. Ended up scraping together three more lamps. Now we got 60 farming. Let's put a little bit into herb, might as well. That's 58, that's 61. And that is 62. Very nice. The next thing I want to do is I want to train my smithing. I need 20 levels in smithing, so that's going to be a little bit hard to get. But I need to be able to create a god sword blade. Now, you may be wondering why that is the case. Well, in the last episode, we actually got a Saradomin hilt. So all we now need is a blade in order to get a bunch of points, which otherwise I can't get. So the way I'm going to train, th this is not efficient at all what I'm doing here. But I need a couple more bars in order to do better bars in the crucible in order to get more XP. Is this a good way to do it? Probably not, but I don't really know another way for me to get bars quickly. Okay, I'm still figuring out the minigame properly and to how to get the best possible swords, and I think I'm missing some molds. So if I hand this in, I'm wondering how much XP. 93,000, that's a lot of experience. That was a half a quality sword. So there's also this shop, and I think this is where I have 963 reputation, I should really start considering these things, just buying molds. There's a lot of them, let me figure out which ones are the best for me to buy. So I'm just gonna go based on my level, and I can see that serrated tip is good to unlock. And I'm not gonna bother with the other rewards yet, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get enough points. This is literally what makes this game worth playing, you need these tips of the bat. Yeah, 100,000 XP again, okay, this is pretty nice, I like this. So for one hand in, I got like 700 reputation, which seems very good. I haven't noticed, but something pretty big just happened. We got a total level of 1,800, which means I no longer have a cooldown on my last recall relic, which is very, very useful for all the PVMing we're about to do. I think my favorite part about leagues is how it teaches you how to play the game. Like on the main game, I would never have a reason to do 
this minigame. But now I fully understand how it works. I went through, like, literally, I went through a guide to figure out how it works. And I now understand that only later on will I be able to make a 100 out of 100 quality sword, most likely from, like, runite bars or something like that. And the shop is really cool, so you keep buying the better molds and you keep getting more and more XP, basically. Already at 69, we're gonna go all the way to 80 if I have enough bars. 209k XP for one sword. Wait, that's insane. I, I need to check. This was a 100 quality sword. Uh, we are up to 80 smithing. And as you guys know, this is what we needed to create our god sword blade. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, yeah, I'll be definitely coming back here. All right, let's see if this is any point. I mean, it should be, right? So I have two of them. Oh, I can just click once. Okay. 1.6k XP, not bad. There's the god sword blade. I can now create a hilt. That is a Saradomen hilt. I can now wield it. That is a 200 point task, very good. Really solid, will I ever use this? Most likely not, it's kind of really irrelevant, but points are points and we're only 6k away, so I might really start looking into trying to unlock this eighth relic then. All right, I decided to do a little bit of fishing and then I decided to do a little bit of beginner clue scrolls. There really is not too much when it comes to beginner clues. What we do try to do is we need to complete this whole log. So we need 16 more uniques in order to get a decent amount of points. So we're just going to open this somewhat fast and we're just going to hope for uniques pretty much. And so far it does not look like we are getting any. That's one on the Rune Scimitar Ornament Kit. I'll make sure I can pick it up and I don't miss it. That's the second one. Pretty good. That's the third one, uh, is the same one, but I might pick it up anyways. And we still got, okay, most sleepers and top. Uh, this might be a clue, but I'm not sure. Sandwich lady outfit, uh, even more uniques, bare feet there, pretty good. Amulet of power tea and more sandwich lady stuff, let's make sure we pick that up. Sandwich lady outfit, there we go. We're getting points for doing this and this took like basically no time at all to complete. So that's pretty all right. A rune scimitar ornament kit, Saradomin. I think that's also unique. Another defense semi with another pair of mole sleepers. Jester cape is definitely new. Oh, pretty good there. I didn't see what I got in that one. Uh, that is not it. That is useless. That's not very good. Another jester cape, unfortunately. Nothing on that one, nothing on this one, nothing. Hey, full sandwich outfit completed. That's pretty cool. I don't know if that's a task, but let's just make sure it goes in the bank. Let's see if we can get another thing. We can. Nice. Another Dune Scimitar ornament kit. Very good. And the last one for nothing. You know what? This was pretty good. For only 25 clues, we actually are only missing frog sleepers, shoulder parrot, and demon fit. So pretty good 25 session, to be quite honest. Nice. It is late night, therefore we are chilling. So there is level 80 hunter. It is a pretty big level. I went from 74 to 80. And the main reason for that is I believe we can now hunt herbivore. And there's a bunch of herbivore tasks. At least I think so. It used to be in the past. So maybe I'll complete a couple right now. Oh yeah, not to mention these chains will be used in Inferno or long range training to train my defense up as well. So there's a tier 2 and again the dilemma man, farming or herblore? Let's just put one more on herblore and then we'll think about it in the future where we're putting it. That is now 66. This is what I hope that I can squirk in peace. Oh my god, there's so many people here bro. Please, tell me I don't have the fucking annoying pit thingy. I think we're going. I think we're squirking. No! How am I getting caught? How am I getting caught? This is bullshit. No, not me, bro. Do I need to do it on my phone? Hold up, we going, we going. Oh no, I have the shit IP. No, it's disaster. We can't be squirking today, man. That's 200 points. I'm not gonna be able to get AFK. I'm trying a few more times, but this might be a bit of a disaster, not gonna lie. Come on, get me through. We juking? Oh my god, the peak performance gameplay situation. Oh my god, someone else got caught. Okay, we got one squirk. 99 to go. Good morning. It is a brand new day, and that means we're gonna grab some experience. So, let's see. I'm just gonna... I have 2.5. This is gonna be easy to calculate. So if I use 500, it only uses like 250, and it caps me in the prayer XP. 
Uh, but there's 91 prayer, just one more day, and we can start using Intensify, which is going to be like really huge. So I need to do a bunch of bolts, and the best thing to do once doing bolts is to do pest control, I think. But also, even better part is now I get a lot of bonus points. And I think I can use all of this on some useful things. So you already know the drill. We need to get 87 magic so we can enchant our onyx. So let's just see how much XP is this. We're missing 246k. Oh my god, I got 600k XP for that. I might be doing this a lot. There is 87. It was that simple. It was that simple all along, by the way. And not only that, I also want to get my defense up, right? Because... Defense and the prayers causing me to receive 10% bonus damage. It's stacking up and I take a lot of damage, whatever I do. So we're going to put the rest onto defense for sure. Uh, and then we're going to enchant our Onyx. But I'm not going to use 85 points. So I'm just going to do more runs and only use 100 points at a time. And here we are with the level 6 enchantment. And if we use it on an Onyx, we now have our best in slot amulet. I cannot get anything better than that. So now... Fury is our best friend, Glory is no more. Okay, let's try this again, did a few more games, and obviously my defense is struggling, so we can use it three times. How much do we get? 492k. It's already 76, we go again. 554k, 79, we go again. This is so dumb. I kind of want to use this all day today, just in case if they nerf this the way they nerfed Soul Wars. Because this 616k XP, this is kind of crazy. Not gonna lie. I might just do this till 99 defense because 99 defense is pretty hard for me to get if it wasn't for the pest control. Use this 100 points on prayer. We can now finally test out how this intensify works. Now this on paper seems like an insanely good spell, but I don't know if I can pair it in combination with some others. I can't. So I either use the ranged attack and strength or accuracy and I don't know what's actually better by the way okay that's interesting but I need to decide between this and that I'm just gonna assume intensify is better but if somebody in the comments can tell me what's actually better I would appreciate it thank you here comes more dopamine best control is now my favorite mini game in the game let's go ahead and get some defense xp 677,000 let's get a little bit more defense xp 739 Let's get a little bit more of defense XP. 739k again. Yeah, let's, uh, how about, how about we do, well, hold up, a little bit more defense XP. 739k, we're up to 90 right now. I might go all the way to 99. This seems absolutely broken. <laughs> all right, so hear me out. There's many things I should be doing, but instead I've been playing pest control. Listen, I can explain. Let's do a little bit of defense. And that's 91. And how about a little bit more defense? And that's 93. And how about, let me see, I think a little bit more defense. That's 862,000. Bro, this is absolutely crazy. And that's 80, 80, what, 862k? And then we do one more because we might as well. 924k. How about... Dude, can my pop-up stop? Let, let's do one more. And that's 924k. And how about we do one more? And let's just, for safety, do one more. And how about... Oh, wait. I don't want to waste a thousand right now. I mean, a hundred. I'm just going to use ten at a time. 90k? Okay, 90k is fine, right? Yeah, I need to do this like four times. So let's go ahead and do that. Boom. How am I still getting pop-ups? I think the pop-ups are just delayed. Here, I'll just use it, might as well. There it is, 99 defense, and it only took a little bit of pest control gaming. Now, there is an argument for me to go for 94 magic, so then I can finish the rest of it through Slayer and just barraging, or I do strength, and then when I do DKs, for example, it's gonna be a bit easier, because I'll be able to do all three. So this is basically kind of uh, where I'm thinking of going right now, and I don't wanna leave this place, like, this place is sick. Let's just put one in strength, see how much we get, little 616. Uh, probably gonna go for a little bit more pest control, might as well. 665k, and a little bit more. We're now on 90, and let's do a little bit more. We are now on 91, a little bit more. We're now on 92, let's do one more. 
We're now 93. I don't need to... I mean, here is... I'm just gonna use 100, even though... Because I will want to get 99 at some point anyways, right? So, there's 94 magic. We can now cast basically everything there is. Complete a bunch of tasks. Alright, alright, alright. Listen up. It's been a few hours, I think. I kind of lost the track of time. I might have gotten myself uh, 2,000 points. I can explain. So... There's 85, there's 87, there's 89, and there's 90. Oh my god, so many pop-ups. And how about 92? And we do a little bit more. Dude, this is like so crazy. I mean, it does take a little bit of time to accumulate these points, like I'm not gonna lie. But it's been the most chill morning I've ever had since release of Leagues. I've just been vibing, playing some semi-AFK pest control. And just like that, we're gonna max strength as well. There it is. <clears throat> that is 99 strength. Completed on the account as well. Even more points, 99 strength. Look at the chat box. Oi, oi, oi. And you thought that I was done, right? You thought that I was done. No, no, no. Look, we got some points. How about we train a little bit of attack as well? And we're getting like combat level 120 rewards as well. Very nice. And just like that, 99 attack strength defense is completed in a single morning. Well, that's honestly impressive. That is, I did not expect that to happen. But I guess now it is time for me to do some fun PvE to end the video off. And if I look at my gear, it's honestly looking pretty decent. But one of the upgrades that I really want to get is I want an Archer's Ring. It is a shame that I'm still using Ring of Shadows. So let's return to DKs and let's try to complete every single possible combat achievement diary there. And on top of that, also hunt for some rings that we absolutely need. There is only one problem going on at the moment. I'm in the most laggy world possible, but the login servers are currently offline. So if I log out or change servers, I can no longer play. So we're gonna try to do DKs on like 400 ping. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. I showed this in one of my previous videos, but I'll show it again just in case. If you need to enter DKs, you set your portal right here. You teleport out. Then once you make it to the other side, you destroy this. Get rid of that, get on the other side, and you can run in. You can theoretically destroy this as well if you want to. Alright, let's do some DKs. Okay, so one of the first things is to just go in and kill, let's say, Prime, whilst both of the other two are on you. Okay, thank you. Starting KC is 151, let's see how long it takes. Okay, now I hope I hit it. I'm doing a combat achievement task here. And this is the third time I'm trying this, to kill minions first, and they have spawned every time on me. But this time, I think I did it fine. There it is. Very good. And I guess now what I will try to do is I might try to kill 30 Kriaras in one event, but I don't have prayer pots on me. So I'm gonna grab prayer pots and I'm gonna do a 30 minute commitment for a Grandmaster task. Man, life is so nice with 99 defense, I'm not even gonna lie. But yeah, I am now committing 30 minutes of my time to staying in this room and never leaving. Not quite sure how it will go, but let's give it our best. Oh my god, yes! Yes! Hey, Armadil Chainskirt, it's beautiful. I'm gonna commit to this though. But there it is, full armor, more points. Oh my god, we look like a demon. Literally, only archers ring missing. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. You know, it's challenges like these where I need to do this, for example, for 30 minutes, stay in this room, where my soul still a relic is so chill to do. I barely need to eat any food. I barely need to do anything with prayer. Uh, but what I do is I normally just pray when the boss is out and then I either flick or I just don't pray when the minions are out and my prayer is always full. I've used zero prayer potions and I think I've killed, what, about 10 right now? I think we need to kill 30, so... It's gonna be a bit of a process, but uh, we on it. We're doing it. Hey, no way. I wasn't recording. I forgot to turn it back on since the last clip. Here's another Arma chain skirt. You may be wondering, why is this guy excited for a dupe? Well, we can dismantle this thing, and once we get Mazori, we can have fortified Mazori. But I guess since I already have full Arma, it doesn't really matter. Look, it's a cool item, okay? Let me enjoy it. There's no way I just pulled the Godsword shard. So I don't know if I mentioned this, but the reason why I'm using like Runite Bolts right now to kill the minion and not like Dragonstone Runite Bolts is because the Soul Stealer Relic doesn't proc when the Bolt procs. It's a little bit complicated, right? But that's why I'm literally using 
three different arrows. But they're fixing that. I'm reading the patch note right now uh, of the fixes they're trying to do. So the specs of your bolts are also going to be able to heal you. And that's going to be so fun. I can't wait for that. That's going to make this even better. So right now there's often instances where we're specking 100, 100, and 100, but we're not actually healing. However, once they fix it, the soul stealer relic is going to the moon. There it is, Grandmaster task is now completed, we have killed it 30 times without leaving the instance and there is only one more task that I can do when it comes to combat achievements and that is kill the boss by not killing the boss. So basically with the recoils and vengeance I'm gonna assume. So I can comfortably teleport out and prepare for that uh, next I guess. The only unfortunate thing is I cannot kill Kriara uh, by killing her with a salamander. Oh wait, I can. Wait, let's do this. I don't know what I need to feed the orange salamander. I cannot use the black one, but I can use the lower tier one. Never have I imagined to be picking swamp tar to be able to make mithril tar to be able to feed an orange salamander to be able to kill armadil. Yeah, let's just pick some of these up. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. Uh, it is what it is. I just hope that the game protects the food. So it's like, you know how I have the range relic, so I don't lose bolts? I really hope I don't need like 15 tar for one attack. I'm just gonna test it out right now and uh, yeah, we're gonna analyze it together because otherwise this might be quite a process and quite a rough one. Okay, I have 15 man until tar. That's, that's better. I thought I would only get one. So let's see. I hit it once, it goes down. Okay, let's try it again. It goes down. Okay, I'm not gonna try it again. I'm gonna get a nice safe amount. Okay, so we got Salamander, we got Merentil. I think I just spray and I send it in a private. I mean, I have a range relic, so this should probably kind of help. Oh no, it's like not even sped up. I have a feeling I'm never gonna hit. Okay, I hit once. Hit again. This might be a hard one. I have a bad feeling about this fucking orange salamander is trash. Dude, my biggest concern isn't that I couldn't make it, because I can. My biggest concern is running out of mud and tiltar. Yeah, now I hit a three, good. No way I'm being this unlucky. And then I hit a three again. Yeah, no way, man. Oh, just hit it here, please. Five. Just hit it again, please. It's all I need. One hit, one hit, one hit. Oh! <gasps> No way! We still to go! We brought it back! We brought it back! I, this is the best feeling ever! There is- I was sure... I was so sure this shit ain't gonna work. And we brought it back. Through the power of fucking... I don't know who. But we did it. Dude, no way, man. <laughs> okay, we got one more. One more to do. And for this one, I'm not gonna do- Basically, I can never hit Kriara directly. So I'm gonna shift click the left click to walk here. And I know usually you click Kriara, you click Minion, you click Kriara, you click Minion. I'm just gonna try to never click Kriara. It's a bit out of the box, but I don't want to accidentally hit her because I'm attacking so fast. So with Chins, it would it would just be too fast, I think. So here, I'm just gonna try standing under, and I know I'm gonna get meleeed. And I'm just gonna be hitting this melee like this. I'm just gonna try it like this anyways. Okay, I might go this way into the corner. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, that should be killing Kriara without ever touching it. There it is, and that is all possible combat tasks completed for the Kriara. That is uh, really good, really good, very happy with that. We're gonna start today's episode doing Kirill. He is my slayer task, I do need to get stuff of the dead from him, his god sword as well, but we already got the spear. Since the last time we did him, we got 99 defense, we also have better bolts, so I do believe, and better gear, of course, so I do believe the kills should be quite chill. Okay, my favorite part just happened, so whenever I need to go, right, I just grab an axe from the bank, I go AFK a bit, get 3 wood cutting levels, then TP back here, TP back out, deposit everything I did, and then I can go back to PVEing. It's actually really chill, I really like my endless harvest, even though everybody flames it. Okay, so I need to kill one of these with melee, which might be a bit hard, because I might hit a lot of zeros, because I'm using dark light right now, with armadillon. <laughs> I'm using full arm, I have negative bonus. Yeah, this is probably not gonna work, I'm just wasting my time, but like, it is what it is. Can I hit or what? Jesus. 
Okay. Wait, it actually worked. I genuinely didn't think it would work, but it worked. Nice. So the only problem with Kirill combat tasks is the fact that I cannot do one of them. I can do this one, where I kill him with all of his bodyguards being dead. I can also do this one, kill it a hundred times. This is the one I can't do, basically. Defeat Kirill in a privately rented instance whilst only using Demon Bane spells. I don't think I can actually do this. Which sucks, because I was actually trying to complete all the tasks possible. Privately rented instance without ever being hit by his bodyguard, that is doable. And then 20 times in a privately rented instance without leaving the room. I might go for this one, I honestly might just go for the Ash Collector, get a nice little long run in and get it done. Okay, that should be an easy task where I kill him after all his bodyguards are dead, thank you. Ooh, there's another unique. Steam battle staff. I don't think there's a task with this one, unfortunately. Everything else has a task but this item. I think I just did the... Uh, wait, what? What's a demon whisperer? I don't think I've done 20kc, so maybe I just haven't gotten hit by any demons. That would be huge if that is what happened, because I am not very good at flicking this. Kill Krill Tutsarok in privately rented instance without ever being hit. Okay. Yeah, so... I did this Grandmaster task completely unintentionally. I killed him without getting hit by any of his bodyguards, which is, I would assume, pretty hard to do. Uh, but we did it accidentally, so we'll take it. Ooh, another Godsword Shard 3. Those are pretty rare from the bosses, rarer than the actual items we want. But I'll take it. I, I have already fully completed this, but I'll take the dupes, I guess. I think that did it. I think that did 20 in a row. And uh, now I can finally do speed kills again, because this goes pretty slow. You need to wait one minute for the boss to spawn every time. Uh, but I'm just gonna kill everything just to make sure, you know, so I don't go out and then it's like, oh, it was a different task and I lose everything my entire half hour that I've been here. Uh, so we're gonna check and uh, I think it's gonna be all good. Now let's take a look. Kirill Tsutsaro, all we're missing is killing it 100 times and the one we unfortunately cannot do. Uh, very good, very good, happy. I'm doing these CAs pretty effortlessly with my relics. There is absolutely no way we just pulled a Godsword Chart 2 off a boss. Ay, ay, ay. I'm getting all the rare drops, just not the ones I need, man. And there it is. We finally finished every single combat achievement diary there is when it comes to Zami. I've also been killing just boss and this little guy to work on my Slayer task a little bit faster. Uh, but now, I do believe it is time to move on, do bigger and better things, and we will definitely be returning to this boss once I have the 5x multiplier. So, I will be pushing these 4000 points now. That is setting up a magic birdhouse. There we go, that's casting a search spell for 80. Okay, so here a couple of fast ones should happen. First we swap to the thingy, then we teleport to Moon Clan. Then we can teleport here, we can use the fertile soil on the herb patch, very nice. I believe by studying this lectern, I can also go ahead and make a Catherby teleport. There we go. 200 by the way, this one's a lot of points. Okay, nice, I can do this, cast a spellbook swap as well. How about we go nations? Bam. And we can also create the Gorok teleport tablet which is also 200 points, and all of a sudden, we're only 3k away. We're gonna be starting our questing spree to unlock the tombs of a mascot, which is something I wanna do in the very near future. So let's go ahead and start off with contact. Pretty sure I'm supposed to kill this guy, no? Yeah, that's a task. And that's gonna be contact completed, a little bit of thieving XP, a carries, and a combat lamp. We'll take this up to 74, and where can I use this? Attack strength, defense, hit points, ranged magic. Okay, so out of those, I guess just magic then. 112 magic XP, thank you. And now for the next quest, Beneath Curve Sands, this one should take a little bit of time. All right, there we go, Beneath Curved Sands completed. We now also have the Carries Partisan and Circle of Water, which I don't really know what that's used for. We got a bunch of Agility XP. I think we went from 70 to 77. Oi, 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 all right, pretty decent. And we can now do TOA, which is like the most important part. Yeah, that, that's solid, honestly. This quest is much better than I remember it doing last time, so uh, not bad, 3,000 points to go. Okay, so that's a Cal fight with Carries Partisan defeated. I'm also gonna take a quick stab at the Cal fight Queen. Okay, and that's Calfight Queen defeated for more points, thank you. 
Okay, this is this is really fast 99. So I guess I'm doing 99 cooking next. Hey, there's the 99 cooking 200 extra points. Let's figure out what I'm doing next. You may be wondering, what is this dude doing? Why is he spam buying bananas? Let me tell you, I need about 5.5k in total. I'm just gonna buy all of them now. I'm probably not gonna do the entire MTA right now. Okay, so here's why we bought all of the bananas. Uh, we can now get a bunch of points in the graveyard section of the MTA. So this basically just bypass every... Like, this is such an annoying grind, but now it's very easy. And it's actually not the worst XP either. Uh, you need about 5,500 bananas if you are on 8 times the rate, like I am. There we go, I think we went a little bit overboard. I think we need 2,675. Let's do some of the other rooms as well. I don't really know what the meta is for this room, but I just I just did this and it was quite fast, so... I think I need only a thousand more points. And when it's a bonus, I just do the ones that it's a bonus for and that's it. Not gonna lie, for this room, I do not have the screen recording for it. Usually I just play it full screen, I zoom out like this, and I don't even move, I just run and grab. It's gonna take a little bit, not too long for what I'm trying to do, but uh, these two rooms get a little bit long though. And now for the last room, just do a bit of alchemy and we should be good. Okay, let's see, is this enough? 1240, I think this should be enough for now. Okay, let's take a look, where do we begin? I think I start with bones to peaches. Okay, that wasn't a task. Then we buy the cheapest infinity gear, which is going to be the boots. And we wear it, that's points. And then we buy Mage's Book, and that's points. And then we do Master Wand. Oh, oh wait, I probably don't have enough points for this. I did not know you needed to buy all of them, like bottom to up. Okay, I didn't know. Okay, and that is the Master Wand completed. How much was that? 80 points. <laughs> Good morning, ladies, gentlemen, this is what we do when we are on the phone, when we are chilling, when we're in bed, whatever. We go on mobile and we click on this and it AFKs for 25 minutes. And this is literally the reason why I took uh, Endless Harvest is because I plan on getting 50 million fishing experience in the length of this league. But uh, here should be the very first one, 99 fishing, we now are only 2000 points and 200 away from the relic. I just woke up, I'm gonna chill a bit and then uh, we're gonna grind some points, I guess. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. I decided to do 10 medium caskets quickly while figuring out my next steps of the plan. We are 2.2k away from the tier 8. Let's see if we get some uniques or something cool. Okay, start off with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, all uniques. Well, that's kind of crazy, actually. Oh my god, I got dupe ranger boots. There's... <laughs> I mean... Listen, I just woke up, right? But like... How many have we done? Nine mediums. And I have two ranger boots, by the way. Cabbage shield, I think I already have that one. There we go. Fill 20 medium clue collection log slots. That's gonna be some points. Might have been 200 points. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into this because there must be some tasks about equipping some of this stuff that we're getting. Uh, I think there's one for like prayer bonus and stuff like that. But it's so hard because like so much things go on the floor. I know for a fact I need to get pages. Pages are really good. Uh, a little Pissarillius, Sardomin Miter. I think if you get like full top to bottom, this is called the vestment set. That's also a task. Oh, and there we go. Holy sandals as well. So if there is a task about equipping a lot of prayer bonus, that's going to come in handy. Gothic code as well. That's a lot of prayer bonus there as well. We still got three more. Gold elegant blouse and strength MET. These are so many uniques, by the way. Collection log slots popping up like crazy. This one, no uniques, I think. And the last one, we get another Zami page. I would love to finish a Zami book, for example. But yeah, pretty decent 10 opening. Okay, let's just see if this is enough prayer by itself. Yeah, see, prayer bonus of 30, just like that as well. Beautiful. This is actually an interesting task. I do believe equipping a leaf bladed something must be a task, so we might as well do it. Also, if we go into rewards, I have 705 points, meaning that I'm super close to buying rune pouch. I know it's a bit of a jump into what we're doing, but maybe we should do this. 
I actually completely forgot that this drops superior versions, so this could also be a good way to get a heart or, well, better drops. Well, let's see. I'm not in this one, though. Ooh, we get a missed battle staff. There we go. Another collection log slot. Is that a task? It is. Nice. That's really good. Any free tasks like that, we will absolutely take. 80 points. There it is. Leave bladed sword on the floor. That's gonna be a task as well. And that's defeating 10 superiors for 80 more points. And nothing crazy on the loot. And that is actually another task that I think is worth doing. So skeletal wyverns. Uh, I think I need granite legs from this. And yeah, let's go ahead and do them. Alright, apparently that was also a task to kill a skelly wyvern. And I'm just safe spotting them because I don't know how this behaves without a shield. This task is actually not too bad. Some good drops would be magic logs, rubies, and then obviously adamant bolts. Adamant bars, stuff like that, decent. I'll see what other tasks we get, and uh, if it's not something we're currently interested in, we're just gonna move on to more point tasks. We're only 1.7k away. But I cannot be saying no to basilisks, because if we get a need is not face guard drop, well, that's a bunch of points, and uh, the drop is much increased on slayer tasks, so we are definitely doing this one. And that's the first task, and apparently it's like a combat task as well. But there is 40 more points, and obviously we're hoping for that rare Basilisk jaw drop. Ooh, wait, they have superior version. Hold up. Basilisk Sentinel. Surely this guy drops it. Okay, let's take a look. Nothing. If you were wondering if the Soul Stealer Relic can sustain me here, it can. I don't need no prayer potions, I can pray protect from magic and annihilate and I'm perfectly fine chilling here. I love this relic, it's uh, it, it, I don't know, it makes playing so chill, I don't know what it is, but I really enjoy it. Okay, surely, 89,000 XP and we get... Clue Scroll. Okay, let's see what we get from this one. Again, nothing much, but we're up to 84 Slayer now. Back to Kurasks, and after this task we will be 85 Slayer, and that is where a lot of points can happen from killing Abyssal Demon, Abyssal Sire, equipping Abyssal Whip, lots of free tasks there, that's kind of my goal as to what we're going for at the moment. Superior Kurask, nothing. Another Superior defeated, 4 coins, and another one nothing well 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 a Daganov slayer task i've been waiting for this one but i guess before going i'm just gonna quickly get myself some dragon boots uh, simply because i know it's a very fast task ah there we go i figured when we would get those things but where did i get them oh there we go dragon boots pretty easy to get took me a little bit of time though but 80 points very easily let's see if it works now <clears throat> that's one done And if I can kill this as well, that should be another one done. Because I kill all of them in a very quick succession. And I think I got 200 points for something. I think I just did the combat achievement stuff. Okay, the next one I'll be going for should be fairly simple. We're just gonna pray, go back. And just focus on... This guy was being attacking by both of the other ones. And now for the next tasks, I basically just need to get a rune throwing eggs drop, which might take a little bit of time. But after that, we just focus on getting KC, which uh, should be pretty nice and simple. So there we go. That worked. Very nice. Okay, and another one is he needs to be frozen. There we go. That hit instantly. And now I just uh, need to kill him whilst frozen. That's 86 Slayer, and that's another task completed. I mean, these are pretty chill, pretty simple, to be honest. Hey, and there is 99 hit points. I honestly didn't even know this one was coming. Uh, but we'll take it. And that's another Dragon Axe at the same time. Nice. Let's see if they both... Ooh, slightly unlucky. But if we keep trying, I think it's gonna work. Oh, so close, man. Why is this so hard? Damn it. Oi, Sears Ring. Whilst I'm trying to still do the challenges. Nice. And that's gonna be a little bit of a task as well. Sick. Come on. Don't milk it. Are oh, you fuck? One HP, man. Oh my god, I hate it. There we go. Jesus, that was annoying. Alright, we did it, we did it. That's what matters. Okay, so right now, we've done all of the tasks, really, that we can do. And from here is just kill count and hoping I get a rune throwing eggs drop so I can do the last combat achievement. But other than that, we've basically done everything, which is... Uh, it's, it's good feeling, man. It's nice. 
It didn't take me too long, it wasn't too annoying. So now we just hope for some good drops. Hey, that is 10 uh, kill count on the Supreme. Oh, and we got a circle, hold up. Pretty sure that's a task. There we go, just getting points on the DKs right now, it's beautiful. And that's Dagonoff Adempt, that's 25 KC. I basically need to get all the bosses to 25 kill count. Uh, this one's mainly due to us coming here pretty early game, when we were only able to do Rex and Prime. Uh, but right now we can comfortably do all three. And uh, yeah, this is what I mean, I never really need to have any prayer on me. And uh, I hit pretty comfortably and I can just TP home and come right back because I went into normal instance. If you go private instance, you cannot use crystal memories. So uh, that's what we're doing. Ooh, dupe Sears ring. Damn. All right. Well, that's not what we wanted, but <laughs> okay. Literally any other rig would be better, man. Oh, yes. I got rune throwing axes. I've never been more excited for a drop in my life, bro. This is like my only way, aside from ninja implings, that I can get these. And I need them for a combat achievement task. Oh, that's great. Okay, so this should, in theory, be simple enough. Uh, let me go. Okay, that's a good start. And that's it, I think. Eh? It didn't work. Why did that not work? I clearly did it. Hey yo! Okay, should I try to hit it once? Let's see. Might regret this. No, it's a bit... Okay, yeah, that was a good idea. We go under, we click this, go this style, and then Rex. And that bounced. That 100% bounced. Hey, let's get it. We did it, we did it. Huge! And I got Skeletal Top, which uh, is also a task. If you were wondering why I picked up the Hides earlier, it's to complete this task. One is to equip full Skeletal and one is to equip, I don't know, something similar. So you can make it with the Dagon of Hides. But I'm happy because at the moment, right now, we finished every possible task there is, aside from the kill count tasks. So, safe to say, right now we just killed 25 of each, we've green logged the combat achievements and then, well, we just hope for drops and move on, like, we're gonna be on the next relic today, it's gonna be sick. And here's another Dragon Axe, I kinda want this to be shining, I think uh, it is a shame that the price of Dragon Axe is so low these days, but this is such a signature item, I feel like, it's a shame not to be shining, you know what I mean? Hey, there's another 200 points coming out of nowhere for getting 35 million range XP. Very good, 750 points to go. If we just get a little bit lucky here, we're gonna be almost done. Hey, there's another Dragon X. I think that's number four. No way, by the way. Completed all Dagonoth King achievements, 200 points, and I get the best possible drop for our account, Archer's Ring, at the same time. That is crazy. Oh my god. So now with the Archer's Ring, I only need the Rex KC, like literally all I need, Warrior Ring and Berserker Ring. But look at this, 470 points and if I just went for let's say uh, Abyssal Demon Task and Abyssal Whip, that would already complete it. But I do kind of want to finish DKs, I want to get both of the rings left from DKs since it's also my Slayer Task, I'm not like losing time so to say, right? The only time I am losing technically is the fact that uh, I don't have 5 times drop rate, I have 4 times drop rate and if I were to go to the next relic, I would then have 5 times drop rate. But yeah, this guy didn't drop it. I think I might just kill one more and then go imbue my archer ring and then do other tasks to finish this relic and then eventually come back. Okay, I have decided I am going to be skipping tasks until I get an abyssal demon task and I will go all the way to the next relic right now. I think the time is now. But first, we're gonna imbue our archer's ring. So here we are at our favorite place, Mr. Nomad from Soul Wars. And if I look at imbues, I can go ahead and imbue it for only 260 tokens. I will definitely do that. I can also put some more experience in. I haven't done it uh, the daily today, so I just put 500 of this in and see how much it actually uses. 1978 down to 1660. So that was a prayer XP up. But now I have so many of these tokens that I feel like I kind of want to open a bunch of chests. I mean, I might as well, right? If I get any sort of essence, it's like really good for us. We buy 20 for 600 tokens. I will still have a thousand left over and I can get bolts. I can get a pet. I can get pure essence, which would be amazing. I can get a lot of good stuff here. So let's just uh, click through it. And I can already see some beautiful things here. 
Okay, so firstly, we got the diamonds, then we got a lot of rubies, then we got another runite bolts, no adamant bolts in this situation, but I don't really need adamant bolts anymore. So that is very good. Oh, and I also got pure essence, which I didn't see, and now we have 10 more. And we get adamant bolts, so if we need more bolts, we got that option now. I was really hoping I would see a pet following, but look at this, 12,000 more pure essence. I actually think I have so much pure essence right now, 30,000. I don't know if that's enough for 99, but it could be, and we might go and do that super fast. Uh, but first, I'm gonna try and skip for an Abyssal Demon task. Alright, I wonder how long this will take to skip through. Could the Vorkath. Oh, that was almost instant. Only skip two tasks, and we already got 124 Abyssal Demons. Let's hope we get a whip from this, and it's gonna be all the points we need. Let's go. So I tried to kill an Abyssal Demon earlier, but it didn't work, and then I read again, and yes, you do need to kill these on task to get the points. But the best part is, I'm hoping to see quite a lot of elites from this, uh, but as you can see, 200 points for this, this is like really amazing by the way. Oh my goodness, we're absolutely spooned, there comes the whip! Boom! Nice, alright, and look at this, 70 points left, but I have the perfect thing I wanna do to finish off today's grind. And we're gonna finish it off with another 99. Let's get it done. Ladies, gentlemen, my favorite place in the leagues. Good old pest control. And this is where I'm gonna be finishing off our tier 8 relic. By simply going to the exchange void knight. And let's go ahead and finish our magic. So, 844k XP for this. Please tell me I have enough. I think I do. And now we're missing just a few 10 pulls. Then... 10, 10, don't do me like that. Okay, there we go, it's enough, it's enough. And bang, just like that, another 99 on the account, and we can now unlock the tier 8 relic. And so, the question on everybody's mind, what relic are we going to take for the tier 8, the last relic, the full power of the account is going to be unlocked? Let's first off analyze which relics I took, which ones I maybe regret, and which ones I don't regret. So it's a bit of a ramble to end the video off. First off, do I regret taking Endless Harvest? The answer, no, not at all. I really like it and I've taken it almost every league because there are times in a day when I can't be on PC and look, I got 99 fishing, I will probably go for 50 million fishing. I will get 99 wood cutting, I will probably go for 50 million wood cutting. Right, so just by that itself, in the long run for me, it's worth it. However, seeing other people pick trickster, seeing the thieving easy 99 or easy 50 million thieving with all the money it provides, with all the utilities you get by getting passive agility XP as well, Trickster seems like a super good option as well and at the very start of leagues I actually thought I would go Trickster but then I changed my mind like the last second uh, but again both of these I'd be fine with second option Fairy Flight 100% happy with this Globetrotter kind of useless uh, because I can just put Nexus in my house and that's it third option Banker's Note by far my favorite relic I would never change it for a fire sale even if everything is free throughout the course of the league we're gonna get so much money that we're gonna be able to afford all the buyable skills anyways right all the buyable tasks are gonna be easy so Banker's Note all the way third one Archers so fun I absolutely love Archers I believe all of the three are very viable probably melee one is like the least useful at the moment but man, do I love the archers. Then the next one, Treasure Seeker, my absolute favorite. I would not change it for anything. Always go Treasure Seeker. Right here going Ruinous Power. It's an absolute blast. I love these spells. If I went Zia, I would go with Farmer's Fortune. I would never go Equilibrium. A little bit of extra XP. Who cares? So this one's nice, but the Ruinous Powers have proven to be very good DPS increase for us. On this one, yeah, everybody going Berserker. Every single person going Berserker or Weapon Master with a Zarite crossbow. However, again, I've used it now for all these challenges, all these combat achievements. I really like Soul Stealer. It is such a nice feeling. Almost never needing to click food, almost never needing like a prayer potion. It is super nice. And that leads us to this very moment where we need to decide between three absolutely broken relics here and the very end first one executioner this one is beautiful when the targets are below 20 percent hit points you just straight up execute them amazing for raids amazing for bosses 
all in all super useful let's go to the next one undying retribution oh my goodness this one is absolutely phenomenal upon triggering this effect you'll deal damage to all monsters or players that are two tiles away from you but when does it happen when you die so you get revived with full hp with full prayer points and you can kind of see where i'm going with my afk build right so i can fully afk use up my hp use up my prayer i happen to die oh well we're now back to full hp and full prayer so let's talk about the last one as well the guardian the thrall you can summon this guy or girl and he basically just deals damage follows you around and for 30 minutes super useful again uh, but i do plan on doing a lot of warcath and you cannot summon this guy inside warcath so that's one of the things that are also leading me to this undying retribution. But let me talk about why I'm going to pick this. The main reason is I'm going to be doing a lot of content that I'm unfamiliar with, that I'm still learning on. TOA final boss, I don't want to go 30 minutes through the entire raid and then die on the TOA. I don't want to do Awakened Leviathan and then die on the super like insane phase, right? There's so many times where I feel like this will just be so useful for me. But then if you think about it, the Awakened Leviathan, I could just execute it with the X, right? So it's definitely three good options, but we are gonna be going with Undying Retribution. Let me just make sure that this is exactly what I need because I don't wanna mess this up. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one, Undying Retribution. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be unlocking it. There it is. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. And this way, we've now unlocked all the relics. We are going to be starting off today's episode by doing a little bit of rune crafting. I've gotten 30,000 essence from my Soul Wars crates, and it is time to transform this into XP. Now, okay, I actually didn't realize how hard it is to talk and do this perfectly. But the idea is we have too much essence, let's turn it into XP, get a bunch of really fast XP. I mean, it, I can probably get up to 20 mil an hour if I don't misclick. The main reason to do law runes is because I can also sell them in the shop and turn them into a little bit of profit. So that's what I'm gonna do. Probably gonna leave like 1, 2k essence in case I need like a different rune. That is 85 rune crafting already. I do believe I need 87 for Elite Diaries in Fremenic. So that's going to be my goal for now. And then I do think I want to do a little bit of next because now our drop rate is increased from 4x to 5x. So doing something like next or God Wars would be really decent. Big level 90. Uh, we're we're going to come back here when we need to for now. I think we're good. Oh, perfect. On the last herb as well. That's 62 farming. A bit random, but before I go PVM, I'm going to do a farm run. And now I planted the snap seed. Let's hope that this doesn't die because that's a nice little task. And now we go do next. It was an MVP and we get the next master, which I guess is just a kill count task. Uh, but yeah, I'm getting very much a lot more familiar with how next works, which is really good. 20 wines of Zami, that's good for uh, our herb as well. Oh wait, that's a huge drop. We got some dragon bolts unfinished. I thought I would need to go to Vorkath for that. That's nice. I already have enough stuff so I can make a bunch of bolts with that. That's amazing. Bro, this guy has an execute thing, man. Bro, his HP just poof. My MVP though, yoink. Fuck, I didn't get it. I mean, it was my MVP, but bad drop. I'm feeling a drop here. It has to be, right? We got a big bones. Uh, always, always, I get MVP, but no drop, man. One time it's gonna drop. It has to. Oh my god, specs. Oh my. Holy, what did I just see? That's the one. I, I know it. You know when you know it? Next trio. Okay. I didn't even know we did a trio, but 74 rubies. And obviously MVP. That's crazy, actually. 74 rubies is kind of a crazy drop, not gonna lie. Wait, they all dipped. But new people came in. Dude, I'm staying. Watch this, watch this. We're gonna get it here for sure. Ah, come on, man. So many Onyx bolts, though. 50. That's crazy, because it was a trio. Nice. Bro, if ever, game, give me the drop now. Like, if ever, just give it now. Fucking thousand cannonballs, man. Are you serial? I'm specking everything. I'm getting all the MVPs, man, but uh, the drops never us. Ah, man. Just give the fucking drop, bro. Watch this, watch this, watch this. 100% my drop, my MVP. What did I get? 
I got baited. Ah, uh, 50 kills. I thought I got something, man. It was my MVP, but ah, uh, come on, dude. I want some drops, please. Enjoying the vid, see ya. Oh, he's leaving. No, we're losing one. I mean, I felt it the last 15 drops, but if this one is the one, like, it was meant to be, you know? Nihil shard. Okay, 22. That's pretty good. We take those. I need 150 in total. Whenever I get this drop, it's good drop. Oh my god. 5,800 fire rune. Ooh, we got dragon bolts. Nice. Okay, so we went down from 100 to 50. KC is 56, and we got 84 of them. Okay, we are actually relaxing. All of those are gonna be made into rubies, so we can keep spamming this boss because supplies are pretty decent. Like, I don't need to farm anything to get enough supplies to keep running this. Ooh, back to back huge drops of dragon bolts. That's gonna help a big time. We're now on 185. I'm gonna make all of them into rubies. Oh, this is so good. There we go, we got diamonds, we got rubies, perfect. Duo situation going on here. I'm sure it's gonna be fine, right? I mean, we got infinite supplies, so. Oh, he's flicking, I think. Oh, he's out of prayer. Ah, it's too easy, actually. It's actually too easy. Nice little duo. Oh, and that's points, I didn't even know. I don't think he has a banker's relic, by the way. Oh, he has the thingy. He has the execute thingy. No way he comes in to start... He comes in and steals the Torva plate legs, bro. That's so fucking crazy. It was supposed to be a duo, man. I'm so annoyed, bro. I've been doing this shit all day. He comes in for one kill. Just randomly comes in, snipes the world, gets a fucking Torva legs and gets out. I see the aim, man. This game is so fucking... <sighs> we got a ecumenical key shard. <laughs> a 39 nihil shards. That's really good. We need 150 of this, nice. We're thinking nothing. You were correct, you were correct. It was nothing indeed, man. Oh, double hundred. Double fifty. Hey, yo. Okay, good luck, buddy. 57 rupees, man. Oofed. I've never seen him go to this side of the room. On the last stage. Come on, man. Come on. Psst, aye, aye, aye. At least I have infinite restores, I guess. Onyx. Oh, why is that? How much money is that? 600k. I mean, it's probably one of the better drops, I guess. I can't complain with this. Because we need money and a lot of it for points. So we'll take this. 364 Dragon Balls. Salute. Bro, we can do next till the end of leagues. Holy, that's a lot. Jesus. Alright, we good, we chilling. That is a crazy drop, by the way. Oh shit, he has to dip. Oh fuck, save me first, brother man. I'm gonna solo this. Do you guys think it's winnable? Like, be honest with me. Little solo next situation performance. Okay, so here I pray this, I eat to full and I pray. Okay, winnable. Hey, yo, chill fam. Surely this is a drop, like, no way I clutch solo next and I don't get a drop. <gasps> yes, dude! Solo next into a Torva plate body. We take those. Oh my, I'm so happy, by the way. I am so happy right now. Oi, oi, oi. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go, dude. Okay, dude, I don't know why I'm so happy, it's leagues, but like, I'm really happy. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. And then I guess at some point when we go to Bandos, we're gonna hopefully get a little full Torva situation going. Oh man, this is, this just gave me energy to keep doing next, like, I've been at this for an entire day. Somehow, some way, I have 845 Dragon Bolts. Hold up, 845? I can make all of these into rubies and diamonds, like, this is sick. It is time for me to chill a little bit and enjoy a few games of pest control. Obviously, we're still missing prayer, uh, but also, it is a great place to make all of my bolts. I want to make most of them into rubies, because this is really what you end up using. So here, I'm pretty much getting the most efficient prayer XP and pretty efficient fletching XP as well, which I can uh, also turn into points. When I care about points, I will be doing all the fletching tasks, but I think I'll be doing all of those tasks 
after maxing. But we'll see. Maybe I'll feel different tomorrow and I'll do everything as I go. How much points we actually ended up getting? We got 562. You guys already know. We will put all of it on prayer. Now, prayer is halved, right? So this should only give me 443k. But hey, that's still 443k. We're up to 95. Okay, looks like we ended up getting to 96 prayer, which is kind of sick. Almost 1 to 6 combat. Oh, wait, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how these rooms work, bro. Shit. I know how this one works, kind of. Dude, I'm going crazy right now with the damage department. Your DPS? Yeah, it's fucking stupid, man. Oh my god, we did it. Wait, I got... Wait, what? I got 50 million ranged XP. I thought I did the room correctly. Alright. Oh, what? <laughs> Dude, I thought I was fine. Okay, well, that was, that was something. <laughs> Dude, don't worry about it. Okay, I'm practicing what to pray, bro. It's okay. You know what's weird? The protection prayers are not on the same spot. They're, like, much more up. It's like actually hard because like I'm used to having it here not like all the way up to Narnia yeah I'll, I'll get the shadow this run and then I'll be able to do this room better could I bring something better here I need like a spec weapon or like a dragon throne axis or something hit now oh shit I didn't see I was lacking critical information are we winning I think we might be winning right now always start right side he says okay let me start left okay, I'm kidding I'm kidding Oh, I'm trolling. <laughs> okay, I see what he meant. I get it, I get it. I didn't know what I was doing, bro. Okay, we won, I think. There we go, there we go. Now we pull a purple real quick. Pull a little Mazori. And let's see what happens. We got a bunch of points. Is it pur... Oh my god, it is. It is purple as well. I don't know if it's mine or not. Let me check the scoreboard. I'm the leech. Let's go, man. Huge. Do we take those? Wait, let's see. Let's see what do we get. Wait, 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 wait. What do we want? We just want Mazori, right? We just click it. I've never gotten a purple in TOA. I've never even done TOA before and survived till the end. So let's see. Oh, no milking. No milking. We go straight for it. Dude, I got the Mazori, bro. This is huge. How do I take it? And I got the thread, which I don't even know what it does. Look at us go, dude. That is huge. Now I want to make this thing fortified. I don't know how to fortify it though. How do I fortify this thing? Chisel on Arma Helm. Okay, let's go. Dude, this is fun. And then I can do this thing as well. Like there's like a mini game or something. Chisel. All right, let's take a look. Ladies, gentlemen, we can chisel the Arma Helmet. And now we can do this. Okay, crafting XP, boom. Texturing defense, range magic hit points, damn it. Which one is gonna be like <laughs> All of these are useless, man. Um, guys, guys, which one do we do? We go magic. 800,000. And it's lost. And as if this wasn't perfect enough, we can also buy this rune pouch right now for 750 points, add the thread of Elidinis onto it, and we make divine rune pouch. That's 40 points, and we can chug this, this, this in. What else do I chuck in? I can put something else in, I think. Yeah, we got one more space. Nice. Okay, pretty perfect TOA uh, for my standards. Good luck, fellas. Let's see if we can get a back-to-back. -back. This one was a bit higher in vocation. I don't really know how you check how high it was. Oh, 220. So we're going slowly up and up and up. So I learn. And another purple. But for who? Helicopter. Okay, good luck, dude. Wait, he actually wants light better. That's crazy. Oh, another fang. Oof. All right, that's unlucky. Ooh, elite torstall potato cactus, dragon dart. I think that's a task. I think that's pretty good. Uh, bruh, unlucky. Hey, I wasn't the leech. Huge. It is super late, but thirty tickets in a row. I just want to do some really AFK tasks, and that is crafting 200 magic longbows. Good morning. Did some late night and early morning agility training. We now have 101 agility arena ticket. This takes exactly one hour and 40 minutes to complete. And 
how do I cash it in? There it is. And I just need to do a hundred ticket for agility going from 78 all the way to 82. And that's 200. That's a big task. I decided to end today's video at my favorite place over here in pest control. And if we quickly check our stats, everything is pretty much maxed, but the prayer. So we're going to go ahead and do that right now. I played a couple of games. I think it might actually be worth it to use one point here and then one more simply because higher level equals more XP usually. So that's 97. And now we use a hundred and let's do a hundred more. And let's do 100 more. And that's 98. And two more hundreds should do it, I think. There's one. Let's just go a little bit over. Why not? And there is 99 prayer as well on the account. So this is pretty huge because we should be getting a bunch of tasks with it. Firstly, we are now max combat 126. Secondly, we now have another 99, which is, well, 99 prayer. I think I will start today by just finishing my Abyssal Demon task. Now, there are tasks for Sire as well, but I'm not feeling it at the moment. And also, I just want to stack a little bit more Heart Clues and Elite Clues, because a couple of hours from now, there's going to be a patch where I really hope that they will make every Elite, every Heart completable in an area. So that's what I'm aiming towards, and I just want to stack a few clues. Dude, <clears throat> I nearly got one hit by a Greater Abyssal Demon. Look, I'm 20 HP because I was just praying Annihilate. And let's just say he annihilated me. All right, we got a whip and an elite from a superior, actually. Another whip. Another superior. And we get nothing. Well, elite. Another whip. Another whip. Oh, nice. There we go. No deaths, 300. Uh, my first 300 duo. Okay, let's take a look. Can we get another Mazori piece? That would be absolutely phenomenal for the account. Oh, unlucky. We get Emerald, Gold Bars, and Lily of the Sands. Okay. Nice. My first ever 500 invocation. Whoo. Sick, dude. And it was a duo as well, and I think I did pretty well. I'm not even gonna lie. There's a bunch of combat achievements. Okay. Ah, let's see if it's also a purple. Oh, yeah, it's also a purple. I don't know if it's mine or his. Okay, but it's his, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Good luck. Ooh, 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 ooh. What does he get? Oh, another one. I think that's like fourth. Yeah, <laughs> he has so many of these. <laughs> Lol. No way, bro. No way. Let's see what do we get. Wait, what are all these items? Mazori crafting kit. Mana fight ornament kit. Cursed phalanx. I don't know what any of this does. Okay, so apparently with one of these kits, I can make a nice assembler. Maybe this one. A needle is required to work with this crafting kit. All right, let's go ahead and uh, grab a needle real quick. Oh, this is kind of exciting, I think. So let's use the needle on, no, let's use this on this. Oi, there it is. There's Osmut and Fang on the floor. He's dropping all the Osmut and Fangs, but. Oi, oi, oi. And now we can wear it. And it's a plus 200. Oh, shit. And let's see how it looks. Ooh, looking good. Now we just need Mazori body and legs. Nice. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Come on, be purple. Be purple, be... Ah, it's him again! He even died! No! It is disaster. It's fine. Ah, uh, let's see what he gets. He doesn't want another fang. Oh, that would have been perfect! Nine! No! This is disaster! Ouch! <laughs> Great. Okay, TOA, we got back-to-back -back purples. Now we're coming to next. Let's see if we get something at next. Starting off with some prayer pots and death rune. We're doing duos, by the way. Dude, there's nothing more satisfying than double 100 ruby specs. Like, that's so crazy. Okay, good luck. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Coal and ruby. How much coal is that? 1.3 thousand. 
And also 62 rubies is great. Uh, nice crafting XP there as well. Okay, okay, okay. Good luck. Not the best. Uh oh. Uh, do I try to solo next? Like completely solo. I'll try it. I think I can do it with my relics and the amount of food. I mean, it seems pretty doable so far to solo. The only downside is I'm using quite a lot of uh, supplies. I guess this is now the hard part. Okay, let's see if I can do it. 1000 HP. I mean, so far it seems like I could comfortably solo next. The only problem is it's a very long kill and a lot of supplies. But this is the second time I've basically fully soloed it. I mean, this, this time it died on like the first phase, so... Let's take a look. This is an extremely high chance for an item right here. And there it is. Another solo next defeated. Last time we got the Torva plate body. This time we get nothing. Okay, let's see. Good luck. Nothing. Lots of brews though. 10 brews, 10 restores is uh, actually pretty alright. Oh, double 100 again. I love it. Okay, good luck. Come on. Oh, man. Uh, Wine of Zamorak though. Pretty decent for... Well, I have no ranging potions at the moment, so... Yeah, I'm coping. I'm coping. 81 KC though. Oh, there it is. 100, 100. Half of the HP just gone. Okay, this is it. This is it. This is it. Come on. Just death runes. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, come on. Yeah, I'll, I'll take the rubies, but... Ah, come on, man. Just give me the drop. Anka diamonds and coins on KC84. KC, I don't know how much. Let's see. Runite ore, 53 of them. And we got the bunch of fire rune as well. But KC85, we're going up in the world. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Just got ancient ceremonial gloves from this dude. I think that's the second piece of that actually. But I didn't know you can get it from here and I can't fucking move and I'm gonna get stunned and ay ay ay. Yes, okay, good. We get a lot of nihil shards, 47. At least we get this. This is a good drop. I need 250 of these in total. So then when I get my bow, I can actually make it. I think he went out. Yeah, okay. The Nihil stack is moving up to over 120 right now. Pretty solid. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try to do this one time. See how it goes. That's kind of nice, actually. Oh, and we get Onyx bolts. Nice. Lots of restores, lots of brews, some vines of Zami, but nothing what we need. Maybe the solution to get the drops in next is to not expect the drops. You know, 90kc, one drop so far, it's a bit bad, but uh, we're getting MVP every single duo as well, which is uh, really, really nice. We just need to keep grinding. At some point it's gonna drop, but I should have seen a lot more drops. This is like really unlucky with the 5x multiplier. Anka Diamond, 40. Water Rune, 8.8k. Cannonballs and prayer potions. Man, I really feel like we should get... We did so many duos and we got absolutely nothing to show for it. Okay, after this one I'm taking a bit of a break because I've been at this for many, many hours today. So maybe we finish this solo and we get a drop. That would be a great way to end it. Let's take a look at another solo next. If anything, bro, come on. Come on, dude. Come on, come on, come on. Please. Man. Okay, well, at least we clutched it. 93 KC. Apparently, I also got ancient ceremonial something. Oh my god, I turned recorder on, I almost die. Good. That's the third piece. I, again, I have no idea if there is a quest with this or a task with this, but it's a third drop. I'll take it, I guess. KC 94, we get some prayer potions, some soul runes. Kill count 95, we get a bruise, a rubies, and restores again. Again, supplies. And blood runes. We are once again alone. My buddy died. He did not survive the shadow. Uh, I'll do one more solo and then um, my supplies are probably gonna start to look a bit sus, not gonna lie. I mean, we're down to only 300 karams. I mean, I have a thing like 10,000, but I just don't want to cook them. Double 100 on a solo is so satisfying. All right, there we go. Another solo. This is the best chance we're gonna have. And we get an ancient hilt. No way. We got something. I don't... Uh, it's, not the, it's not the best, but... 
At least I got something. I will take it. Thank you, game. Oh my god, I've been doing this the whole day, man. I mean, what it feels like the whole day. It wasn't the whole day, but you get the idea. Luckily, we already have a God Sword Blade, so I can just put Ancient Hilt on it, equip it. It's not even a task! Ah! How is this not a task? Maybe I need to spec it. Hold up. No, no, no. There is no way this is not a task. Hold up. Like, what? <laughs> I was hoping, I was hoping there was at least like spec or something with it. Well, all these hours of necks, I'm out of prayer potions, but I do have a hundred renards, I don't really know from where, so uh, we are now a proud picker of the snape grass. I need a hundred of these. Well, I just wanted to do some random task and I decided to mine some gems and uh, there's 2000 total. Got a mining level out of that one. I'm just trying to get opal so I make an amulet. I think it's opal. So I make an amulet so then I can train my herbler and have the amulet equipped and I think that's a task. I don't really know why I'm doing it right now. I'm about to do TOA. I ran out of prayer potions. I was gonna just train herbler. Now I'm mining. What the fuck am I doing? Hey, make 30 prayer potions. Uh, I don't know why, but my amulet isn't really giving me any bonuses. That's another thing that I wanted to do. Uh, but yeah, just stacking on as many prayer pots as possible right now. Then we do some TOA. It's gonna be sick. Ah, there we go. Make a four dose potion. So you can only do that whilst having amulet of chemistry on you, I think. Wait, what is this? Did I just not loot this last time? Wait, did I do a run and forgot to loot? What is this? 1300 bloods. That's amazing. Ooh, I just completed combat achievement hard tier. Because I just did a perfect Zebak. Nice. Please, I want to see a purple, man. That was 500 as well. Oh, oh my god, we got a purple. Dude, let's go. Mazori, please. Mazori plus. Just not hit. Not hit and we're happy. Ooh, here we go. I guess anything that's not a Mazori mask, I'll be okay with. And no ring, please. Oh, I got the ring. Oh, no. I got the light better. Uh, maybe it's a task. Wear it. Ah, it is at least a task, so not too bad. I don't really think I'll be using it, but I will take it. Nice. 12.2, not the best run from me. Uh, but let's see if we can get it back to back. Another 500 invocation. Another purple. I don't know if it's mine. It shows open. Is that mine? Or his? I guess it's his. Okay, I don't know how you can check if it whose it is, but let's see. What does he get? I've seen him get two fangs already. Ooh, Mazori mask. He got a body, now he has Mazori mask. Nice. Oh, I guess he already has it. Not nice. Ooh, 60 dragon stones. Little bit of mahogany logs as well. That's pretty nice, honestly. That's pretty nice. I have been PVMing the whole day, so right now... I think I'll just go chill a bit, maybe I'll cook some of my carambo ones, because uh, I only have 200 left, and I think I have a bunch in my bank, so I think that's what I'm gonna do, just to chill a little bit, wind down, and, uh, what is the gluten mean? Ate the most food, <laughs> but he's the leech, I'm the gluten, though, god damn. Hey, there we go, 25 million cooking XP. I quickly decided to cook exactly 3,918 Karamb ones. Still have a bunch more. And, uh, well, the main reason for that is I can now use this whilst PVMing. And every time I run out of them, I'm just gonna grab another batch and get another 12 point something mil XP. And then do it all over again the next time I need them. Dude, I've set up a bank... Oh my... Dude, I don't believe it, because I've set up a bank pin at the start of leagues, right? And I cannot remember it. It should be this, because this is the pin on my account. And I can't get in. Please wait 10 minutes before starting again. I cannot fucking play leagues right now, because they force you to put the bank pin on because of the event. I put the bank pin on, and now the bank pin doesn't work. I'm fucked. Attempt number two of trying to get into my account. I'm just gonna start fucking writing it down, like, this is my standard. And it doesn't get me in, that's horrible. Okay, what about this one? Bro, that's horrible. I'm not gonna lie, that is horrible feeling. You know it's bad, when I start running agility laps, man. I don't know what to do, I really don't know what to do, I'm just running laps. Luckily I have Bird's <laughs> Nest and Fairy Mushroom, so maybe we do like a ultimate series. I'll have to like farm my... I don't know, bro, this is horrible, man. Dude, I just went through literally four stages of grief and I just full yolo the random thing and I think it worked. 
I don't want to have a bank pin, bro. This was too much stress. At least I got in. Oh my. All right, that was stressful, but we can play normally again, so I don't need to do agility. I just came back to finish up this 85. That stressed me out, like, more than you guys can imagine. If I was locked out of the account for three days, it would be pretty devastating. Pretty devastating, to say the least. But we got 30 minutes until the system update, and I do believe they're giga buffing clue scrolls, as in, they're making the clue scrolls completable in your region. But whilst we're waiting for these 30 minutes, I'm just gonna do some chill, relaxing Slayer. I know for a fact I have a Kurask task, I still need a Leaf Bladed Battle Axe, and I want to get my Slayer up to the point where I can kill Cerberus, because that's gonna be huge for our account, because we have all three different variants of boots, and we could start upgrading them. So, yeah, let's grab our Broad Bolts. I always forget this when I'm on a Kurask task. We grab this, we go kill some, see if we get lucky. We got superior Kurask. And we get a rune longsword. And a clue scroll. Another King Kurask. I really hope I get a heart one of these days. A uh, bunch of herbs. The patch is here, and I'm doing clue scrolls. I'm gonna start with some elites, some hearts. I have a lot of these, so... But first thing I wanna do is actually get a strength cape. So I have a teleport to this area a little bit easier. So now I have a pretty convenient teleport right over here to the Warriors Guild, somewhat close to the bank, but most importantly, it's just in this general area, there's quite a lot of clues that send you either to Dunstan or somewhere up here, so uh, or Warriors Guild, so this is just helpful in general. The second thing that's gonna help us speed up these clue scrolls is by having access to glory teleports. So I can build a quest hall, go to the guild trophy place, and I should be able to build a... Amulet of Glory, however, mine is charged, so let's just uh, go around the game first three times and then we build it afterwards. That is Amulet of Glory in the house completed. It is actually amazing, there is so many people doing clue scrolls right now because you can complete every single step. A part of the elite uh, that requires me to quest right now, which I really don't want to do, but I'll do it later, it's Spirit of the Elite or whatever. For now, I think we're gonna open like 10 hard clues at a time. Uh, and see if we get something cool from it. I will probably be doing some more clues, so I'm not gonna be banking my inventory, but let's start with one elite and ten hearts. So, elite, another rune crossbow, interesting. Obviously, we don't need this. Then hearts, we're really looking for any sort of collection log slots, is what I'm thinking. Wait, they fixed it. I got a master casket from doing this elite. They fixed it in today's patch, let's take a look. There we go, Master Clue completed, we got a Dragon Plate Body Ornament Kit, can't be using that unfortunately, and a Dragon Halberd, which I probably can't wear, yeah, because I need Regicide. No, I got another Master, is it bugged again? It's not bugged again, okay. I was scared for a second that it was bugged again, we got Samurai Gloves, Samurai Gloves, Rope Top of Darkness, and a bunch of Onyx Bolts. That is actually really good. Oh, and the Dragon Scimitar, which let me guess, I can't wield it. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and alg this, and uh, yo, that's pretty good though. I got scared for a second. In the start of the league, there was a bug where when you open the clue scroll, it like kept duplicating over and over and over again. But I just got lucky for a double master there, so that's uh, that's pretty awesome. But obviously, we got 10 hearts that can also turn into elites. Oi, oi, oi. We got a dual side, gothic side boots, bandos, coif. That is pretty solid. What we're looking for is all the god dehyde, but they need to be in the same style. So the same, the same god variant, right? So there's gain 50 uniques for 200 points. We also got an amulet of glory. That's pretty cool. Amulet of glory T. Nice. Wait, but I still have 10 clue scrolls. So I opened them, but only zero of them went down. This didn't go down again. How high is the likelihood? There's an enchanted rope top, 200 collection lock completed. Very beautiful. Now it went down there. Okay, so now this is actually working as intended. Finally, the clue relic is absolutely insane right now. Okay, we got nine more. Start off with an ancient plate body, ancient dehyde boots as well. Moving on to a master cask, it's very good. And we got bandos chaps, maybe that's what we need, we'll take a look. Okay, we got zami bracers, pretty solid. Uh, nothing in the next one. Gothic stole, nothing crazy in this one. We still have five more though. Bandos Dehyde Shield, wait, that's pretty solid. That's my best shield, I think. That is extremely good with my range setup. I've just been using a rune shield this whole time, but now Bandos Dehyde Shield is actually a pretty solid upgrade. Okay, and we have five more hard clue scrolls. This is just non-stop pop-ups right now. Uh, nothing in this one, just a Cavalier. Arma Bracers, that's probably new. 
another enchanted top and the page. We need more of these pages. Very cool, but uh, just a couple of collection logs. We got Saradihide boots as well, not bad. And the last one, do we get a bonus? We do not get a bonus, but we get another Amulet of Glory, another Rune Cane. Okay, that is pretty cool. I'm gonna do more clue scrolls because the loot seems very decent right now. Looks like for my master casket, I will need to get another fire cape very quickly. I'll do this at some point, I'm sure. All right, I decided to do 10 more hard clue scrolls to finish off the video, and I can 100% guarantee I'll be doing a lot more of these in the future videos, but uh, let's jump right into it. Start off with no uniques, and we have 37 hard clues completed. Ooh, Robin Hood hat. That is cool. Obviously, right now we have Mazori mask, so it's not very, uh, let's say, useful anymore. But that is a cool drop to get. And we still got eight more. Uh, let's take a look. We got Bandos, Plate Legs, a Rune Defender Ornament Kit. We got Rune Dehyde Chaps as well. Pretty nice. Are these super restores on the same drop chance as a third age? Don't tell me. I think that might be the same drop chance as third age. And this makes me a little bit upset. But anyways, we got seven more. Start off with no uniques. Moving on to a Bandos Coif and Narda teleport. This can actually be pretty useful, I think, for some situations. We'll take it. This might be it. This might actually be it. We got, ooh, Gothics, Gothics, Arma here. Let's take a look. I do believe I should have... Never mind, it's not it. Damn it. I need Gothics chaps. What about Arma? Ooh, okay, I'm missing Arma Coif, I think, because this one's Bandos. So close to finishing another task, but I'm just a little bit off it right now. Anyways, we got uh, five left. What do we got? Bandos, Dehyde Boots. More uniques there. Maybe I have Bandos completed now, who knows. Another Enchanted. Now we pull another Heraldic Shield with a Bandos Plate Skirt. And here we pull a Sara Page with another Gothic's Dehyde Boots and Gothic's Plate Body. This one is not the best. And the last chest of the video. Let's take a look. Ooh, Armadihide boots. Was that what we needed? I think not, but pretty fun. Like so many tasks and collection logs completed. I guess, let's take a look. Armadil, one, two, oh, wait, wait. We did it, I think. Let's see if this is a task. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, I'm missing the coif. Ah, it's a disaster. Close, <laughs> close, but not quite. Still, we are going to be doing a lot more clues in the future because I absolutely enjoy how fast, well, they're not that fast, but they are pretty fast to complete and you can stack them and I have a lot of them. So looking forward to it. First thing I want to do is actually open these hard clue scrolls. I've just been kind of passively doing them. So let's go ahead and see if we get something nice. Started off with an Armadil Coif and Bandos Chaps. If these are a unique, I might actually get a task out of this. And it looks to be the case. Let's take a look. I'm pretty sure this will complete my full armadillo set. Bang, just like that. Full. How is that 80 points? Okay, well, we got it, right? That's cool. But it's only 80 pointer. But that was basically what I wanted to get. So that's pretty good. I don't know if there is any other clues with that. But the next clue is going to be clue number 50. So there's the second Robin Hood hat with another Heraldic shield. Okay, yeah, we take those. There we go, we pulled a Rune shield, another Heraldic with Ancient Bracers, which I already have. And we got the Dual Sai as well, which I think I already have as well. Ooh. No. Arma Coif, Gothic's Body, both of those I already have. Armadil Plate Legs as well. And Rune Full Helm G is another collection log slot. We go next. I don't know if we got any call slugs here, but Arma page. Pages are very good. And we still have two more, so let's take a look. Another page. Is it unique? It is, in fact, unique. So let's just make sure we grab it. We bank it. And we see if we also completed the full book. So if you guys take a look, there's pages that we have. Let's see. One, two. It doesn't look like this completes anything for us. Uh, but I'm also going to need to think about my bank space because at the moment everything is completely full. So maybe I need to train construction and get my bank space up as well. Uh, but yeah, that's the start of today's episode. I think right now what I'm going to do is I am going to do some bandos. I'm looking for a bandos chest plate and bandos tassets so I can equip everything bandos has to drop and then i can turn my bandos plate body into a torva plate body which we got in one of the previous episodes so let's gear up and do a little bit of bandos ever since i last did bandos i should now be getting healed from my bolt specs as well which should help quite a bit because in the past that would not be possible 
My first goal is going to be to kill the boss 15 times without leaving. I think that's going to be a good way to start. And that is me killing the bandos whilst all his minions are dead. There we go. Oh, off a minion. What? Wait, 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 wait. I just got a bandos assets off a minion. Oh my, that has to be so rare, by the way. Even for League's drop rate, that has to be like insanely rare. In normal game, the drop chance for Bandos Tassets of a minion is 1 in 16,256. And honestly, I would not be surprised if the drop chance of minions aren't even increased in leagues. Maybe they are, but even then, what, 5 times increase? It's still like 1 in I don't know how many K. That is crazy. That is really lucky. Man, these kills with range are so chill. Like, it's, I don't need to do anything. And there is Org Killer. I believe this is going to be 20 kills or 15 kills in a row without leaving the instance. Again, I don't need any food. I don't need any prayer. This is... With my relics, I can AFK Bandos completely. I need nothing in my inventory. Nah. I got Bandos boots. Nah. I can sacrifice them though. I guess that's something. And I got 50 KC as well. Ah, oh, that's a first dupe. You're telling me I have two Bandos boots so far. Well, if we get more, yeah, we'll just sacrifice them for the Torvald or whatever. Nine. <laughs> dude, dude, not another Bandos boots, man. Oi, oi, oi. Honestly, though, that's two extra pairs of boots that I think I can just get rid of for... I don't really know how making Torva works. But I'm not gonna complain with bonus pieces, to be honest. So, you know what? Bandos boots, come in here. Let's keep on going, though. We're kill count 66. Not too bad. Oh my god, this is actually the best drop we could have gotten. Bandos Hill, that is basically the rarest drop from here. And we're still missing Bandos Chestplate, which is why I'm staying here for. But it always sucks going over the drop rate to try and hunt for the rarest item. For example, on Armadil, we have Arma, Mask, Body and Legs, but I'm missing the hilt. However, this is our third hilt. We have the Sara, we have the Ancient from the Nex. And now we have the Bandos as well, so Zami and Arma to go, but this is amazing. And we're just gonna go ahead and equip the Bandos Godsword, even though it's not points right now. After I equip all of my Godswords, it will be points. Hey, and that's 100kc, the sound is incredible because I'm landing all the bolt specs, but from here on out, I'm not really getting any points until I get a Bandos chestplate. Okay, well, now that we have General Grador KC over 102, I can always return back to it in the future, but what I do have at the moment is a Torva body in my bank, so there really is no reason to stay at Bandos aside from getting those few points, and I can just do that in the future. So if we were to take a look right now, I do have a lot of Bandos boots, so two of these can be sacrificed, and then I have the Tacets, and then I have the Torva body, so like strength-related things I'm sorted, all I need to do is undamage the Torva body. So how do we do that? We get our smithing up to 86 and we boost for it, or we get our smithing all the way to level 90. I guess that is now my next goal, so we can equip our very first Torva piece. Apparently I was wrong in my calculations and I still need to get the drop, but I'm just gonna train my smithing now, since I'm already here. Okay, let's see, hand it in. How much XP are we looking at? 216k. That's 84, let's do one more round. If you are wondering what I do for the Crucible, I grab 9 Adamant Bars, I grab 9 Mithril Plate Legs, and 1 Mithril Bar, and that should just about cover everything I need to put into this thing. So, this and that. Obviously, Mithril Plate Legs are buyable, so there we go, just like that. And this is now before rune. When I can do rune, I'll do 9 rune, and then everything else will be Adamant. Uh, that's, I think, the best way to go about it. 240,000 XP. We're now up to 85. One more round. Okay, let's see if this was all we needed. Let's hand it in. How much XP are we talking for rune bars? 330k. That is beautiful. We are now going to go and do some necks. However, if I go in the shop, I have 6,000 points. I've already bought Colossal Blade because I did this on a laptop on a sofa when I was chilling. But we're just gonna buy this Kovacs Grog, which boosts my smithing for four. And I'm just gonna buy two of these for now. And I'll probably worry about some smithing gear uh, the next time I come to this place. Not for now though. And this is gonna boost our smithing when we do finally get the Bandos piece that I can then salvage to make a Torva. I thought I could do it with the boots. I was wrong. But let's gear up for next.
One thing I always forget is to speak to Goman, uh, because we just completed another combat tier. So if I speak to him and I ask him about combat achievements, tell him that I've completed the tier and I should be getting a an XP lamp and a tier 3 Gomal hilt, which is perfect. I don't know how close I am to the next one. Seems like I'm pretty far away. But let's use this lamp and I think I'll put one more into farming. So let's take a look. There should be a lot of XP. 240,000. We're up to 68 farming. I'm really just trying to get to 75 because I will be getting magic trees through PvE and then I can just level it up to 99 through just magic trees and not need to worry about everything else that comes with farming. And then herbs. I'll be getting herbs through PvM as well most of the time. So it should be completely chill to finish 99 herb lore as well. So yeah, let's do some next now. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, since the last time we did Nex, they giga buffed the Soul Stealer, as in now every time I ruby spec, which is most of the kill, I should also be getting my prayer back and I should be getting my HP back. So this is what I want to test right now and we're gonna see how it goes and uh, let's hope for some good drops. This time it healed me a bit. It's not a lot, but it's a bit. Okay, first duo of the day, let's see if we can get lucky. Start off with supplies. All right, second KC of the day. Let's take a look. Oh, 50 nihil shards. That's amazing. Nice. That's huge drop for us. Yeah, it's actually quite noticeable when you hit uh, hundreds. Oh my god, how many was that in a row? But yeah, it heals you 10 prayer and 10 HP on a lot of the ruby bolt procs. Now you do take damage as well, so you don't really notice it on HP, but you do notice it on the prayer. Ooh, 339 dragon bolts with some rubies unfinished. This is literally a recipe for infinite rubies. That is perfect. The current Nihil shard situation is 171. So if I'm doing duos, I need two more drops. If I'm doing solos, I need one more drop of the Nihil shards. All right, here we go. Another KC. Another good drop this time around. Some fire runes and cannonballs, both pretty useless. And we get more blood runes, more rubies. One HP demon. There we go, big damage. That speeds up the ending by quite a lot. We get rubies. And coins. Yeah, it's so funny. We're resetting after every kill and he's like wishing I had bankers. Meanwhile, I could do like 50 kills in a row with my supplies, uh, which is kind of crazy. Yes! Zerite Vamps! Oh my god, that's huge! That is absolutely massive. Best in slot Vamp races right there for us. How many points is this? Only 80. That is ridiculously low amount of points, but I do not care. That is the second best drop we can get from here, aside from the Zerite crossbow. I'm so happy about this. Oh, that's awesome feeling, man. Grinding these duos for many, many hours every day, and we finally get something. Oh, that is bad. <laughs> that is the downside of intentionally dying. If I then make a mistake, then I really die. Well, shit. I got the web braces, though. Okay, let's see. How much is my reclaim cost? Wait, I lost all my items. Wait, what? I don't have a... Why is there no gravestone? Hello? Okay, so apparently when you die, you can claim it in this chest. I had like a mini panic attack. Unlock. Pay a hundred thousand. Okay. Okay, okay, I'm getting my items back. We're good. Bro, this death mechanic changes. I legit panicked, man. I don't know how they work anymore. But uh, yeah, maybe I'm not gonna intentionally be <laughs> dropping low HP when I don't even know how this shit works. Uh, but anyways, okay, we got our items back. We're chilling, I think. All right, now that we got the death out of the way, let's figure out the differences between my best in slot and what I've been using up until now. So I've been using these ancient braces, you know, 11 range strength, not the worst, little bit of defense, one prayer. And now the upgrade, 18 range strength, defense doesn't really matter. And then here we have plus range strength, I mean, 18 range and plus the range strength. So the difference is actually pretty massive. I'll be gladly using my Zarite Vampresses now. If you were wondering why I get all the MVPs, this, the amount of specs, that's your answer. Uh, but also like, I guess melee, just in general on Nex, basically never going to get an MVP. Uh, but there we go, another KC, no back to back. Let's keep it going. Uncut diamonds, good for crafting. And then a bunch of supplies. Okay, let's take a look. Maybe today's the lucky day. Ooh, we got Onyx Bolts. Pretty good drop. Okay, here we go. Here we go. What do we get? Nothing. All right. Good luck, good luck.
Ne, nein, what? No, the first dupe. Oh no. Well, we got another one. <laughs> well, at least they're like 150 mil. So I could put them in the storage, like in the death storage, and I can have permanent reclaims. So that's the silver lining on this. Damn, they are so expensive, by the way. Well, on the main game. Uh, but yeah, it's not all too bad that I got that item, but completely useless for us. Back to back situation. Let's take a look. Uh, not for me. We got rubies and we got wine of Zami. What do we got? Supplies. Nothing for me, nothing for him. Well, I'll take the uncut diamonds, I guess, for crafting XP. And we get rubies and some air rune. Death runes and prey potions. Rubies and fire rune for KC 114. Okay, still grinding next. We're trying to get an item for helicopter here and we get a key. <gasps> There it is. Let's go. We can go TOA right now. Let's go, dude. Huge. Okay, there we go. We had to go for a back-to-back, -back, and now we're going to do some TOA. Let's see. Back-to-back. -back. It's a good drop, but it's not what we need. Whew, nice. Another 500. I almost choked in the middle. We sprinted. Oh, yeah, there's a purple. Is it mine, though? How do you check if it's mine or not? I think it's not mine, it's his. Damn it. I have two purples in 10 raids, which is pretty unlucky. Oh, another Mazori body, man. Oof, that would have been sick. Uh, but yeah, let's see what we got. Torstals and diamonds and mahogany logs. We'll take it. Oh, please be purple. It is purple, is it mine? It is mine, he went there, okay. Please, 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 no ring. No Mazori mask. I want Mazori body. I want Mazori legs. Mm, not again, bro. This is disaster. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> this is really pain. If you guys remember the master step in my bank, I am going to complete it right now. So you're stanking a Jed hit. Ooh, big hit. And that is dead Jed. We got a speed task completed as well. For my second step, I need to do two quests, so I guess we need to quest. That is Throne of Miscellanea. And there we go, Royal Trouble completed, bunch of XP. But most importantly, we now did the step. Good morning, I finished my Master Clue Scroll. Let's go ahead and see if we get something good. What are the chances of that happening, actually? I got two Gloves of Darkness in the same roll, Torture Ornament Kit. Uh, but don't think I can use any of that, really. I'll take the 40 wines of Zami, though. That's pretty decent. Okay, so now since it is the morning, I will most likely... Oh, 10 Master Uniques as well. That's pretty decent. Uh, but yeah, I will most likely complete the quests for the Elite Clue that I want to do as well. So then I can just do any type of clues that I'm in the mood to do at the time. Okay, I think it is here that I need to go to finish this quest. Yeah, I just need to speak to Genie. Funnily enough, the quest I need to speak to Genie, and on my thingy I need to speak to Genie. So here's the elite casket, and now the quest <laughs> will also have me speak to this guy. And that's it, 8,000 prayer XP, well, a little bit more. Uh, some thieving, some magic, and we now can pray at the shrine as well. And we now have the elite casket as well. So I'm gonna go back to completing some elite clues. They take a little bit of time to do. And if I get stopped by a quest requirement again, I guess I'll do a few more quests. But let's uh, very quickly take a look at what is in this elite clue scroll. Oi, oi, oi. It's a bit of a disaster. Let's do a few more. I decided to do five more elite caskets. Let's take a look if we get something good. Starting off with a Bucket Helm, no uniques. Moving on to still no uniques. This is really unlucky. Moving on to another Bucket Helm and the Dragon Full Helm ornament kit, which we cannot use. So far, pretty disappointing opening, not gonna lie. Summer Pies. Can I use this at this point? Probably not. I think my agility is already too high. Again, loot is uh, atrociously bad. And last one, we get an Afro. We get at least a few uniques. Dragon legs or skirt ornament kit is maybe kind of cool. So I guess this one's not the worst. Whilst we're at it, let's go ahead and put the ornament kit onto the legs and wear them. It's actually pretty cool. Not a task though. Right now, I have a very clear idea of what I want to do. If you look at the top left corner of my bank, I have absolutely no free space. If you look at my construction level, it is very low. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to do a little bit of construction minigame. 
There are a lot of tasks when it comes to mahogany homes, so we will be doing probably quite a lot of these. It looks that I can't do expert just yet though. So let's do a couple of adept contracts first. Here is 70 construction, so now it should be even faster and obviously I'll use some of my money to make more mahogany planks. I don't really have a final level in mind at the moment. I'm just in the mood to train some construction and I've never really done this minigame in my life and it's honestly kinda chill. It's a fun way to train construction, especially with this plugin. I just uh, play a little bit of Tetris, click the green boxes and get decent XP. So it's definitely a bit of a refreshing way in comparison to just making mahogany tables over and over again for like five hours. I want to see the XP drop from this at the very end. It's 44k, that's pretty decent. Here's a task of completing the expert mahogany home tasks. And as you can see, if I teleport out, I can come right back here, grab a contract, take a tier 70 and just keep this going. I'm up to level 74 construction and we can now afford our very first reward from uh, the mahogany homes. Let's go ahead and buy the most expensive one, Amis Saw. So this should basically be an equipable saw and I can now bang this one. So our next reward is going to be obtaining a plank sack. I don't really know how this works, but there's 40 more points. For the first piece of carpenter outfit, let's go ahead and purchase the boots. And then it's 50 completed mahogany home contracts. I'm running a little bit low on the steel bars, but that's okay because I don't plan on going all the way to 99 now anyways. I do believe I can check my rewards. I'm gonna save a bit more and get the shirt first. My second reward is going to be the shirt, as I said before, that is two out of four completed. Three out of four, a carpenter's helmet, there we go. And just like that, I do believe we now have enough points to unlock the carpenter's trousers. So this was quite a process, but it was a very enjoyable process. As you can see, I completed 77 contracts and I went from level 70 something construction to basically 90. And there is the 200 points that I was going for. But you know what? I cannot leave it this close to a level. So let me go do one more contract very quickly. And there we go, just like that. This was a really enjoyable minigame. Again, I've never done this in my life, playing this game. And here we have 90 construction, full carpenter's outfit. We also have an army cell. We basically fully completed this minigame. However, I will be returning to it because there's more points. So I'm most likely gonna go past level 99 construction. Better get moving. I don't know what that means, but we beat a time of 35 minutes. That's probably it, right? Lots of supplies left, didn't use Ambrosia. Definitely improving. There's the purple. Is it mine? It is not mine. Let's see what does he get. Good luck, good luck, good luck. I'm gonna assume he needs shadow. He's a mage build. Oh, another Mazori body. I keep seeing Mazori bodies, but it's never mine, man. Nine dragon man helms, a bunch of rubies, a bunch of emeralds. At least that's coins. There we go. Back to back. Let's take a look. 14% unique. I don't know if that's good or not. I want to see purple. And it is purple and I want it to be mine and it is never mind. Ah, unlucky. Let's see what does he get. And he gets a fang. He probably has a bunch of these already. And we get an elite clue. And a lot of magic seeds. So this is why I want to go to 75 farming through lamps. Because when I get dropped like this, this is just free 99 farming just passively. So this is a really good drop actually, even though it's not a purple. Nice. Okay. Getting pretty good at this. Let's see if we get back to back to back. But let's hope I get some, like I would really like to see a purple in my name. I feel like uh, I'm a little bit unlucky when it comes to it. Is this one mine finally? It's open. I think this one's mine, right? There we go, it's open, so this one's mine. Please, Mazori top, Mazori bottom, no ring, no mask. Just no ring, no mask, and I'm happy. If I get another ring, we're going controversial. Please. No ring, no mask. I beg. Yes! That is huge! Mazori body, bro! That is massive! Yo! No way, bro! Ain't no way! There it is, Mazori body. Oh my god, we're looking good! I can go ahead and collapse my chest plate and make it into a fortified version as well. Oh man, that, that just motivates me to come back to TOA and do it a bit more, because this is amazing. So if we chisel down this armadillo chest plate right now, we get four armadillion plates, hammer this in the body. We are now a proud owner of fortified Mazori body as well. So we got the helm, we got the body, we're looking a bit like a demon, not gonna lie. Just one piece missing to ridiculously broken range setup. That is huge. No! Wait, does that count as me dying or not? 
No. <laughs> no, not like this, man. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, well, if there is a purple, is it mine? No, it's his. Alright, let's take a look. Good luck, man. Basically, purple every raid. But then the death is a bit annoying that I died in the end there. But let's see. Can he get it? Oh, the ring. Oi, oi, oi. <laughs> That's an oi, oi, oi moment right there. Alright, I'm pretty sure he has to go. Uh, we're gonna absolutely... Whoa! Whoa! I got a pit! What? Wait! What the fuck? I got a pit, bro! Two Mechans Guardian! What in the fuck? These are not boosted in leagues. Dude, he looks like an absolute demon. Look at him. Oh my... That is crazy. That is absolutely crazy, by the way. Look at him. He's beautiful. And we got a point as well. Oi, oi, oi. Okay, so it looks like there's like a bunch of different things you can do in order to get all the different metamorphoses for the pet. However, um, my buddy just went offline for a bit, so we're gonna do something else for the time being. But damn, that feels amazing. This is such a cool pet, I feel like. And uh, once we unlock the little crocodile metamorphosis, I'm gonna be a very happy player. No way, I just pulled the BCP. I'm done with Bandos in 104 KC. I got everything. I literally got everything and we can then turn this into a Torva as well. Man, today, this, sorry for all the sounds by the way, it's just Onyx Bolts going crazy, but today has been absolutely insane. Now if you're thinking why I'm having Tumekan's Guardian in the inventory, you literally can't use the Crystal of Memories if he is out, which is a bit of a shame. But anyways, full bandos guys, full bandos. Let's take a look. First of all, I'm gonna not make a mistake and make sure I equip full bandos. There we go, equipping full bandos. That's gonna be a 200 point task. Let me just grab a BGS as well, just in case uh, if that's also something I maybe need to do. No, it's looking fine. And now I can immediately go and sacrifice my BCP in order to make it into a Torva plate body. I'm gonna quickly take a look at how exactly to do that, but I think I'm gonna need my Grog and I'm gonna need my Bandos chest plate. So dude, today is going so well already. Melt down your Bandos chest plate into three Bandosian components. Yes. Okay, so we got 86 smithing. I can drink the grog, use the plate body onto the anvil, two Bandosian components, and this will make it. There it is, Torva plate body. First time ever in RuneScape, I'm equipping a Torva item. 200 pointer for that. Damn, what a beautiful piece, man. What a beautiful piece. And now my melee set's pretty decent, but I guess I would need to get an Infernal Cape next. But I guess before I do that, since I've already done so much PVM today, I think what I'll do is I'll do some Chill Slayer. Get this all the way up to 91, and then hope for some Cerberus tasks. Because if I do some Cerberus, I can get one of the few upgrades that are somewhat easy to get. I can get both Ranger Boot upgrade, or my Eternal Boots, or my Pegasian Boots. So all of them would be nice upgrades, so I guess that's what we're doing next. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying Leagues, you should probably subscribe. Okay, we decided to do a bit of Slayer. Here's King Kurask for nothing. Finally, a task that's actually decent, some basilisks. Uh, we still need to get a jaw, which is fairly rare, so let's see if we get lucky. All right, so here's the very first basilisk sentinel. Let's see if we get something good. And we get nothing. There's no way. We just pulled the basilisk jaw, which is basically the best drop you can get from here. And the only reason why we are here, we're just gonna attach this to the need is not helm. I don't know if this is better than Torva helm, probably not. Yeah, I think it's the very close second. I'll make this after the task. I mean, is there a reason for me to keep doing this task? I guess I can finish it off. It's not that many left. Olaf the Bard can help. He's likely to know a good story about basilisk jaws. All right, I guess let's do that. Hey, there we go. Should be that simple. Need is not face guard is now obtained on the account, that's a 200 point task. That is beautiful. My new task is to kill some fossil wyverns, but I don't have the shield protection that I need for this. So I don't know how hard or annoying this is gonna be. But I guess the good part about this is I do have the soul stealer relic, so even when I do get hit, I tend to out sustain it pretty much. Hey, there it is, 91 Slayer, meaning we can now do Cerberus. I'm still gonna finish this task, simply because I don't have that many points to work with. But after this, it's gonna be time to hunt for some boot upgrades. No way. 
I just got imbued heart. This is so huge, by the way. There it is, the imbued heart. Oh my goodness. And I also have Fremi unlocked. So this is basically, I can fully upgrade this or saturate it or whatever the word is. But that is insanely good. That is so solid. Just finishing up a task and we got another King Kurask. Let's see if we can get the, anything else. Nope. Ah, there it is. Leaf bladed battle axe. And this now completes Kurasks for us as well. I thought I would never get it, man. It seems uh, pretty rare. But we got it literally on the very last KC, which is absolutely phenomenal. We now have 720 points to find some hellhounds that we can kill. <laughs> Okay, so I got a task of Abyssal Demons, and I would actually do Abyssal Sire, but I want to get 99 Construction before I do Abyssal Sire. Uh, so just because of all of that, I'm gonna cancel it, even though it's a task I would like to do. Spiritual Creatures offer us nothing. Alright, I guess when a task like this comes around, Skeletal Wyverns, I almost have to do it. Because, uh, well, at some point we're gonna need to get a DFS, so I might as well do it whilst training Slayer. Okay, we got a Granite Lex, which I think is one of the uniques you need to get from here. Let's wear them. Yeah, that's an easy task. Nice. Well, I am completely out of points, so we have to do Hill Giants. All right. There is absolutely no way. I've been doing Ancient Wyverns without a shield because, well, I thought with my regions, there's just no way to get a shield. But watch this. Apparently, you can just buy the shield from the Slayer Master, so... I'm gonna take a look if that's true, and if it is, I'm just a silly goose, but I'm gonna be a very happy silly goose because I'll actually be able to do wyverns a lot better in comparison to how I'm doing them now, because right now it's pretty damn annoying. I feel so stupid. There it is, it's right there, man, in front of my eyes, elemental shield. Is there anything else? <laughs> is there anything else she sells? I think we're good. So if I now go back, this should be a much more chiller experience killing these guys. And that also means that when I do get the Visage drop finally, I will be able to automatically make it into an actual good shield. So I thought I was completely locked from this content, but uh, yeah, never mind. We're chilling. Wait, this thing has a superior version? What the hell? I did not know this thing exists. Uh, but yeah, I'm still unlucky with the Cerberus task, unfortunately. Um, so I'm just doing everything that kind of comes around. And I got a medium clue scroll from that. Interesting. And then I killed one more, and I got another superior cockatrice. Which, uh, basically back to back right there. Which also gives me a medium clue scroll. I'm at a point where I have skipped dust devils a few times, but I really shouldn't be. So, let's go ahead and do this task. This is superior dust devil, and I decided I will just do all the slayer with range, because my combat stats to 50 mil, I can just do them all through pest control. So I don't need to really juggle my ancient gear or anything like that, but we get a dragon dagger for this superior. Here's another superior. And we get some herbs. Another superior. Oh, there it is, Dust Battle Staff. That's a new one, and it's not a task. At least it's a cool item, though. Another superior. I guess I would want to get an Eternal Gem from this, right? Nothing this time around. It's not every day this happens. You're out of the Slayer task, but you get a superior, and uh, apparently we also got 35 million HP XP. Didn't know that one was coming. Let's see if I still get XP for this. Yeah, I still get Slayer XP for that, up to 93 Slayer as well. The loot, nothing special, but at least we have some points now, and hopefully we can finally get a Hellhound task. There it is, finally. This took me two full Slayer levels to get one task of Hellhounds. Let's go ahead and get some boot upgrades. Why the Serb dies so fast, by the way. This is gonna be awesome. Oh, I got an elite task for killing it before it even spawned the ghosts. Okay, so doing just three Cerberus kills, I've basically done all the combat achievements already. I just need 75 KC, 150 KC, and one very slow kill where I negate souls six or more times. So I guess I'm doing this one now. Okay, now I wait. Okay, that should be it. Yep, and now all I need to do is just kill, kill, kill. Oh my god, wait, 16 kills in and we get the best possible drop for us. How is that not even highlighted? This is bis for our account. Oh my god, we are literally missing Mazori bottom and we are completely bissed out. Oh yeah, and uh, Zerite, let's not talk about the next unlucky streak, but that's crazy. 
There it is, Bagasians. Nice, 200 points. Back to back. Back to back into Primordial. <laughs> Wait a second, it's so late by the way, I can't like speak loud. 17 kills in, we got pegs into Primordial. Back to back situation. Let's quickly make those as well. Dragon boots, let's first wear those just in case. Make this. I hope there's a task to equip all of them. But anyways, I want to complete this boss regardless. There is no way. 26 KC, we get a smoldering stone as well. So only eternal missing and we are done. And there's even a task with this one. Smoldering stone on the dragon axe. Oh, I need 85 fire making. Okay, I can't make this yet. Okay, there's 50 kill count. We keep on going. Ooh, first dupe is a smoldering stone. Ooh, that's 75 KC. We need 300 in total for all the tasks. All right, that was really fun. And uh, in return, we get 600 points, which is a lot of skips. So maybe we get the same task again. But even if we don't, right now, that's not even a priority because we got all the drops we wanted. I guess I would like Eternal Boots as well, but yeah. I'm gonna do either Abyssal Sire or more Hellhounds. That's Pyre Lord Superior. We really just need Eternal Gem at this point and we have just about everything. Nothing from this one though. Another Superior. It's actually hard to see the loot. I think I got nothing. Another Superior. Another Pyre Lord. Why was this one bigger than the other one? That was weird. That was like a different version of a Pyre Fiend. And this is perfect, 142 Abyssal Demons, meaning I will do Sire. However, I want to get 99 Construction first, because that's gonna help us out big time. Making planks has never been easier. Now just do this. And I'm gonna do about 1,500, I think. Maybe 2,000. 100 Mahogany Contracts completed, up to 92 Construction. And when I do 200 Contracts, that is the last point task, and we will definitely be 99 construction by then. I'm getting about 5 mil XP an hour, and I'm not doing this the fastest way possible either. Good morning. I did about 4 hours of, no, 2 hours of construction, something like that, 2 or 3, uh, and we're now 99 construction. We also have a lot of points, and we're also very close to completing 200... Um, home contracts so i might actually finish that whole thing up but yeah let me just quickly show so we have completed 187 contracts there is a task to complete 200 so i think i will stay however we have a lot of points like a lot of points and i'm definitely getting 50 million construction i could chuck all of these into supply crates or i could buy hasidia's blueprints which is literally just a skin for your home and then spend the rest of the supply crates since I've already unlocked everything else, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I mean, just getting supply crates would be great, but I feel like it's 2,000 points. It's a lot of points, but let's get it. Our home is gonna look beautiful, and it's a collection log pop-up, okay? It, it's not much, but at least it's a collection log pop-up, so I don't really know how this works. I guess I can just inspect it. Doesn't matter. Let me get to the house agent, which should be in this house, I think, and we're gonna get ourselves a cape real quick. So you may be wondering why I did this entire grind uh, right now. And the thing is, I need to be on Ancient Spellbook when I'm doing Sire to cast the Shadow Barrage spell. Same thing for Leviathan. So I just want to have a way to teleport to my house. And the way I will do that is by simply speaking to the estate agent, ask him for a skill cape of construction, and we will give him 100k. And now I have unlimited teleports to house basically for the whole duration of the leagues so that is really solid there we go now i can just left click it and it's gonna get me right into the house however i don't really know how the blueprints work and i also want to unlock that so let me figure that out real quick maybe redecorate hosidius house and just like that we now have a hosidius looking house so let's go ahead and see how this looks and it looks honestly quite beautiful, I'm not gonna lie. So one of my next projects is going to be to completely fill this house up with useful things now that we're level 99 construction and we can afford to build everything up. I decided to do a couple more contracts and that is 200 mahogany home contracts completed. From now on, all the construction training will be done in my house. So this was the last of mahogany homes I was going to do. And I've stacked up all of the rewards. We got almost 3,000 and I've unlocked full carpenter. I've unlocked the plank sack, Hosidia's blueprints and Amy's saw. So everything else will just go on the crates. All right, so we're going to be getting planks and all sorts of things. 
I guess there would be a nice way. I mean, I didn't have many mahogany planks left, so. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna spend all of these points on these. And this is gonna help us in construction training later on. I will definitely go for 50 million construction XP. Simply because, well, it makes sense. So we just buy all of these and use our banker's note. Wait, I don't even need to use our banker's note, but you get what I mean. We're getting some... Wait, we got quite a lot of steel bars. I was on zero steel bars, by the way. Okay, and there we go. All the points spent, 700 steel bars, a bunch of mahogany planks, a lot of oak planks, a couple of thick planks, and way too much soft clay. We will never use this much. Maybe we'll make some teleport tabs or something. Now we have zero rewards left and we have completely finished this minigame. <laughs> I did originally plan to make stuff in the house that will give me points, but most of the things are just straight up gold sinks. So once I have like 200 million willing to spend, I'm just gonna build everything in the house. For now, I'm just gonna get the important utilities. Apparently building an achievement gallery was actually a task, but that's the first thing I wanna do. I also wanted to check if there is a way for me to make this. I know I cannot make the dark altar. I think I could easily make lunar altar and... If I get a Pharaoh Scepter, I could make an Ancient Altar as well. The Ancient one would be the important one that I would like to have in my house. So maybe I'm going to do some thieving first and try to hunt for the Pharaoh Scepter. That is a basic jewelry box, one of the most important things I'd say. I wonder if this works. Yeah, I've just charged all of these. I can go home and I can keep upgrading. I'm trying to just get the most logical upgrades up because uh, it is quite expensive and I don't have that much money at the moment. All right, we need to spend quite a bit of money on these gold leaves here. We're just going to buy three of them for now. That is upgraded into a fancy jewelry box. I think I did all of that only to realize that I can't actually do the next step of it because I don't think I have a way to charge up these rings of wealth. That's a problem. I don't think I can charge them here. I think that I can only charge them in Wilderness. I need to get more on top of my Alg game, especially since I, as I said earlier, will need 200 million in total. But for now, let's just purchase eight of the marble blocks and we're gonna do it one at a time because otherwise they get expensive. So that's four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we're once again broke. Uh, but I can go to the house right now and build the next thing. Now, I'm very sad about the fact that I can't fully upgrade the jewelry box. I was looking forward to not needing an extra room just for the glory. Uh, but I guess there's nothing I can do about it. So one thing we can do, however, is we can build the marble portal nexus. Start off with this one and we can upgrade it and build it into a gilded portal nexus. Uh, so that's going to be 200 points, that's huge, but I can also build it into a crystalline portal nexus, but two magic stones, that's two million, and yeah, once I have two million coins, I can consider making the next one. If you don't know what this does, you can set a bunch of teleports into this thing. One of the next things that's going to be super beneficial for our account is to create a gilded altar. Now you may be wondering why that is the case. Our prayer is already 99, but I plan on getting to 50 prayer simply by burying bones. And the best method for that is just going to be to use this altar in my house with a banker's note. And I also need to build this space, uh, but I don't know which ones work. After doing a little bit of research, it doesn't matter whether you make an incense burner, mahogany burner or marble burner. So I guess we're just going to go with the mahogany burner instead. And then we have a fully fledged prayer method basically completed on our account. And this is going to be one of the last things I plan on building for now. Now, if I want to upgrade this, I need stamina potions. I don't have them yet. My chapel is fully completed. If I want to build the altar space, I'm going to need to train a little bit of thieving first. I have the best jewelry box possible and I will be slowly adding teleports to the portal nexus as I go along and I will also upgrade this to the crystalline nexus the next time I have 3 million to spend. So that's why I'm also alking my onyx bolts and that's basically what we're gonna do. I have the exact plan of what I'm gonna do next and it's going to consist of us doing a little bit of squirking. So, most people think you can only do squirking on a fully populated world, but one click squirk has actually been a thing in the game for as long as I can remember, really. However, now it's a lot easier because you have plugins that literally tell you exactly when to click. So if you see here on the bottom right, I have 25 seconds. When that thing goes to zero is when you need to click and you start right after entering the gate. So I think the plugin is called one click squirk and really look, eight, seven, six, five, four, as soon as that thing will hit zero, we click it. As long as all of these are in order, so all of these need to be on zero, 
you will just move your way through. I would recommend you to hop worlds and not do it whenever there's somebody else doing it. However, it seems like this guy is using the exactly same plugin. So we're just gonna run laps with this dude at the same time and hope he doesn't make a mistake. Because if he does make a mistake, then we need to like set them back up by failing a couple of times. Uh, but yeah, we can do this and we can alk and I need 100 of these for a lot of XP. A lot of picking up squirks later and we have ourselves 50 summer squirk juice. Now this should be a lot of experience in thieving and also an elite task. So we are starting on 74. I think I can just use this on him. 1.2 million thieving XP by the way and that was just half so we're up to 81. And when we cash in the next 25, this is going to be very good boost for our thieving XP. So that's going to be sorted. And I can then look to try and train thieving just through Pyramid Plunder most likely. I should realistically look into all the thieving tasks that I can do. But let's quickly finish this. 1.2 million again. We got up to 85 thieving and there is also a 200 pointer task. I'm going to see if there's any easy tasks I can do. If not, 91 thieving should be our next goal. But remember how I wanted to get the Pharaoh Scepter? Maybe I just go grind that out now. All right, and we are at the thieving grind. I do need to do 91 thieving so I can do the last room, but there is a quick little task completion. And whilst I'm here, I think I'll just do the entirety of the room seven, just so I get to 91 thieving faster. I think it's worth it. I mean, 10,000 XP. Obviously, I'm not a thiever relic, so this might take a little bit of time, but there's tasks with this, and I think it's worth my time. Hey, there it is, 91 thieving. Lots of skilling today, but this is gonna be helpful. I need to loot the grand chest on the final room 25 times. So I'm just gonna be speedrunning that for now. Still hoping for the scepter. And then after we get to that, I'll worry about uh, experience later on. And you know what, since I do need 99 thieving anyways, I will also be looting the entirety of the last room. It should be very good XP, 13.2k. So that's what we're gonna do. And then we need to do this 25 times. Oh my god, finally. Pharaoh Scepter, we got it. There is no way. We are almost 98 thieving. So this was quite a process, but we got it. Maybe it took a whole day, but we got it. Let's see if we can figure out the whole situation and to how to put this in the bank. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Hey, that's the 80 pointer right there. And I think I can now throw this into my house. I really went on a detour with this one, but I do believe I now have everything I want to create an ancient altar. And I do really hope that I can then also make a lunar altar on top of that. For that, I will need another magic stone, which is 1 million, which I don't have right now. But everything else should be somewhat easy to get. 10,000 astrals, maybe a little bit annoying to get. But let's see, ancient altar is now built. Can I venerate it? There we go. We're now on ancients. We're now on standard, it's that simple. This is gonna help us a lot with all sorts of different content, especially since we can enter our house immediately. Okay, there we go, the very first Sire KC. And we're gonna be doing exactly 300 of this. And I guess I'll also be getting some combat achievements in the process. So without maturing, should just happen naturally, 50 times easy. I'll need vengeance spell for one. And basically, not taking any damage. Okay, should be simple enough. Let's go. Perfect sire. I thought I took damage, but I guess I didn't. So that's that out of the way. And then we just need one kill where we're basically just really fast. I think that one will just naturally happen. Ooh, starting it off with an unsire. That's really good. So it is five times multiplied, five times the drop rate, but they still should be one in, what, one in 20? I think something like that. I would honestly be excited even about a jar. Even something as simple as a jar could be pretty decent uh, because we can put it in the house and it's points, I think. Uh, but I guess bludgeon pieces we're gonna be happy with. Abyssal dagger. I don't really know if there's any points with this. Ooh, started off with an abyssal dagger. All right. Is this a point? Hey, we'll take this. This is good. The fact that we get points for this is, uh, is pretty solid. I just wonder how many points it actually is. Let's take a look. Hey, I mean, 200 points. We absolutely take those. Nice. So I brought some chins for this skill. See if they will help. Probably not the best move, but it kind of worked, I think. That should have worked. Yeah, there we go. Nice. I was a bit rusty, but we got the grow up too fast. So no longer need any more chins. This is now sorted. I would need one kill with Venge, but I don't really have that option yet. 
I could do it though. I would just need 1 million coins. So I'm going to leave that one till like another time. And we're just going to go for the kill count tasks right now. Oh, second and sired. Let me just make sure these ones are popping nicely because uh, this is pretty exciting. So we're aiding KC in already with the second and sired. I wouldn't mind the bludgeon. I wouldn't mind the pet. I wouldn't mind the jar. I would not like the whip. I would not like the abyssal demon head. So let's take a look and see what we get. Ah, the worst. We got a whip. I already got like seven of those. That is abyssal adept completed. Oh, 95 Slayer of a respiratory system. All right, so I got myself on a vengeance and I didn't actually know this, but you can just hit Sire for 75 damage, put him to sleep. Wait, what the fuck am I doing? I don't really know. Okay, so he's sleeping now and now I can kill the respiratory systems. I want to see if he's then lower HP when he comes down as well, because this could legit be decent then. Okay, so now I need to get him down again because I can't damage this no longer. Yeah, no, he's always full HP, I see. Okay, so now he's sleeping. Okay, so it just makes the kill a little bit more annoying and a little bit more slow. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this combat achievement out of the way. Okay, so this is where I should complete the task. So I'll wait till I get teleported. So we'll hit him. We'll hit him again. We'll hit him again. And now here I'm going to avenge and just not move. There we go. And that's it. Do we get rewarded? We do not get rewarded, but this is basically completed now. I guess I go back to Ancients now, and I just do this normally from here on out. But that was pretty chill, that was nice. Ooh, content. We got another Insired, KC36. Let's take a look if we can uh, find the bludgeon piece from this. And we get another dagger. Oi, oi, oi. How much do these alk for? 69k. <laughs> oh, I guess it's just a trophy item at this point then. That's unlucky. Uh, I think I'll actually just stack a couple of unsireds. I don't think I'll open each one at a time. This run back is a little bit annoying. And there it is. So those are all combat achievements completed for the sire. And it's dropping quite a lot of alkables actually. I think I can make decent money from this boss. Uh, but there it is, 200 points for completing every possible achievement. And as I said earlier, we will be doing exactly 300 of this boss. Because that is all the points you can get from here. And in the process, obviously, we will be hoping to see a full bludgeon. And we already got the Abyssal Dagger. Everything else is pretty much completed. If we get a jar in the process as well, that would be great. If not, that's completely fine. There's another one. We got Unsired. Should I stack it a bit? Oh, I'm gonna stack until I have like one more, I guess. Okay, that's uh, number two. And uh, well, since I need to bank because my inventory is completely full, let's uh, open these two Unsireds and see if we pull some bludgeon pieces. Let's take a look. Unsired number, what is it? Five, four? I'm not sure. Ah, there it is, the bludgeon piece. Can we get one more? Oh, another dagger. Third dagger. Here's another unsired. I'm gonna try to get two more before we do the next opening. All right, here it is, the second unsired. Let's open them. Let's see what do we get. All right, let's hope for back-to-back -back bludgeon pieces. Oof, abyssal head. That's like the worst. Hey, at least we got a second bludgeon piece. Okay, just one more. Let's do it. I decided to quickly AFK myself 99 woodcutting. I don't know what else to do. I'm just trying to get to 153 kudos to complete some of the diaries. It is early in the morning and we got about 5 lamps. So let's go ahead and start using them. Firstly, I will be using someone farming. Okay, I'm gonna leave it like this. Simply because I have a bunch of magic trees. I need to be level 75 in order to plant those and they are gonna be my main source of XP. And outside of that, I think all I really wanna do is put everything in Herblor. I mean, mining should be pretty easy for me to train because of my double relic and everything else should be pretty chill. So it's either Herblor or Agility for me. And I think I'll just pick Herb for now. So that's 70 Herblor, that's pretty good. And that is now 71 Herb. I think I have a couple more fossils I can do. Okay, we got a few more lamps. All of it will go on Herb up to 72 and let's make it up to 73 and we also have all the kudos necessary in order for us to finish the diaries. This did not take too long at all, we can quickly combine everything together, I guess I need to not be in the fight so let me get out of here. Yeah, just still working on the Varrock hard diaries right now, it seems very easy to complete so I can combine this, combine that, combine this, invoke. There we go, that's the task. Okay, and with that we've now completed the hard Varrock diary as well. Let me see if I can complete the elite as well. This should be easy. 
summer pie i have the cooking level and i do not have the herb lore adjust yet so i'm not gonna worry about that at the moment we're just gonna move on to something else but first we're gonna claim this xp okay we're quickly speaking to toby he should give me an xp lamp and better varak armor which is pretty good and we're gonna put this again in herb lore and let's see how many levels we get 240,000 xp we're now level 75 that's pretty useful it is still very early in the day and I want to do a little bit of skilling. I'm gonna start on 64 mining and see how far we can go. I am aiming to reach at least level 72 right now. Here is a total level, 2100, that was 200 points. And I realized I don't really often show points in my videos. We're on 35k without really focusing on points at all. Today has been like the first day in a while where I've kind of been doing some point tasks. However, in the near future, I'll probably have an episode dedicated purely to grinding all of the points that I can because there's so many easy points that I could grind that I could get to dragon rank probably very, very quickly. However, for now, I got three more mining levels to go and then I do think I'll be awake enough to do some PVM. All right, so the reason I got 72 mining, we're now 73, was to get all of these resources what i didn't realize is how long this takes but i felt you know what i was already pretty committed so let's see if i can figure how this thing works so i believe there should be a waste teleport here ah there we go so now we have the waste teleport i can just drag it like this i can click i think save and close confirm it and i can now teleport to menu and teleport to waste and that's a task and it's only 80 points and it took very long time actually but we have it done i really should go into do some pvming right now but i don't know today has been just kind of a chill day for me i've just been i don't know man relaxing a little bit uh, but i'm gonna go finish my sire task see if we can get any more unsired Ooh, there we go we got another unsired I do have 27 left, so I think I'm just gonna commit to finishing the task and then we're gonna open whatever menu we have. Alright, the full task of Abyssal Sire completed. We ended up pulling 8 Iron Sires from 140 KC. I think with the rate of 1 in 20, we were just a little bit lucky. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and take a look if we can get another bludgeon piece from this Iron Sire, that, that would be huge. But regardless, we are gonna be coming back for 160 more kills in the future to get all of the points that the Sire it gives ah another dagger that's unlucky but at least we ended up getting mahogany seeds which is also tasks i will probably plant those as soon as my farming level is high enough uh, but for now i think it is fitting time to check what my next slayer task would be because uh, well we did get to 96 slayer in the process but i'm also kind of in the mood to do maybe some solo necks we'll give it a shot let's take a look what task we get first though now we did get a blue dragon task and I do have to kill a lot of Vorgath. If we were to take a look at the tasks, I will need to kill it 150, 300 times. So I'm definitely just going to do that at some point in the future. So I guess it is time to do a little bit of solo next and see if we can uh, perhaps get lucky. I still would love to get a Zarite crossbow. Okay, let's take a look. This took exactly 8 minutes to get this skill if I manage to finish it. Maybe it's more beneficial for me to do duos, but that was not hard at all. Didn't take too many supplies. And we get, look at these rewards, bro. 90 runite ore, 11,000 water rune. Dude, this is gonna be fun to see these loots, not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, I'll just do some solos right now, see how it goes. Maybe I'll turn the stream on. If we end up doing a lot of necks, I'll start doing predictions for, uh, yeah, if we get a drop or not. Because I'm pretty sure in solos, it's like 1 in 10, right? It might not be 1 in 10, it might be like rarer, but... Ah, here we go, here we go. Another solo next. Let's see if we get a little drop situation right now. Uh, oof. 99 rubies and 1100 water rune. Third solo of the day. I, I don't know how many solos I want to do today. Maybe like 10. 10 if one is like almost 10 minutes. Or maybe like 6. We do it for like an hour. We'll see. Okay, here we go, here we go. Another solo. What is this? It's horrible, man. I mean, we got supplies, but like we really don't need them. Why do I get a 1,600 cannonballs, man? Ooh, no, just a lot of supplies again. 120 KC already. So this is taking me seven minutes. This skill was quite fast, actually. Good luck me, another solo for some blood runes and water runes. Nextling, what? Dude, no, 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 no. Ain't no way, bro. Ain't no way I got the next pet as well. 
What in the fuck? Let me get out of here. What? That is so cool. There's no way. That's not boosted in leagues. That's my second pet of the leagues, bro. That is crazy. Dude, I got two mechans. I got necks. Oh, yeah. look, it's beautiful. Look at him. There's no way. Like, there is actually no way. I just pulled that. What is going on? What other pets would I even go for, man? We got Tubaker, we got Nex. Maybe we go farm some DKs as well. That's crazy, honestly. Like, I, I can't believe it. Ooh, no, just prayer potions, cannonballs, both useless drops. And we get more rubies, not ideal. Ooh, that's a good drop. It's not what we would want, but it's a good drop. 90 shards, because it's a solo. And I do think this now puts us over the line to what we actually need in order to make a Zarite crossbow once we get it as a drop. I'm gonna go to the bank and quickly check, I'm pretty sure 250 is what you need. So I guess it is okay time for us to take a little solo break here. It's a good drop, we end it on a good drop. We came here, we pulled the pet, we pulled the shards, which is perfect, honestly. Because I could even go back to duos right now and I don't need to rely on getting like two more drops of these. So let's see, we now have over 250, which I believe is everything you need for the crossbow so that's it all right so now that we got the shard drops we got the pet drop it is time for me to do a couple of clue scrolls and call it an episode in the meantime i also need to get 85 fire making for some easy points that we got from cerberus so i'm also going to be doing clue scrolls and lighting up my fire logs as i'm running around the game so let's complete a few and see if we can get uh, some good drops I'm just tanking up on the clue scrolls, being fire making the whole time, and I now have 85 fire making. Now, if you guys remember why that is important, it is because of this. If I quickly go to the bank, we can now make an infernal X, which I think should be a task. There we go, 200, we'll take it, and I will probably use this most of my time now. We did a couple of clue scrolls, let's take a look at what we will get. We got 10 hard caskets, and I honestly... Don't really know what I'm even going for, but anything unique we will be happy with. Anything non-unique we're gonna be happy with because we will just alk. Um, so there is Nunchaku, that's a new one. Still got nine more. There is a new Gothics page. This could actually complete the book. There's a pest control teleport, another unique. There is a thieving bag that's gonna be another unique there. Moving on to... Not again. Did I... That... I would have... Bro... That's the second noted potions I landed on, by the way. Second. So I could have had two third age pieces. Or at least, like... Uh, come on, man. I want something cool. Ah, uh, that's unlucky. Bandle shield there. Another ancient bracers. Another gothic page. Is that the one? Ah, oh, damn it. It's a dupe. Um, we got a new pirate's hat. That's pretty solid. Probably black dragon mask. Maybe another unique. Never mind. Oh, yeah. It was. Nice. Dragon boots ornament kit. That's kind of cool, but we have Pagasians, so we can't really use this. Ancient page 4. We got 1, we got 2, and it's a new one. That's pretty solid. Alright, anyways, we got 2 more hard clues. This imp is not making it. Alright, let's take a look. Arma, Dehyde Boots, another Thieving Sack, and the last one for... Okay. Oh wait, we got one more. We got a bonus. We'll, we'll do the bonus as well. There's the last one. We got an Arma, Dehyde Body. Uh, nothing too crazy, but at least I'm gonna be able to alk a lot of this stuff for more money. One of the first things I want to tackle today is killing Vorkath five times without taking any damage from special attacks and getting 10 KC without leaving the instance. I'm gonna worry about killing Vorkath with fists only when I have full Torva, and I'm gonna worry about killing it with full melee when I have full Torva as well. Everything else is just killing it a hundred times, so it should be simple enough. Five perfect kills, I'm gonna be alking in between, probably, and uh, yeah, let's get at it. I need to make 200 mil somehow, by the way. I did both of them at once. So one is 10 KC and one is five perfect ones in a row. And I think we've just done it both. So if I were to look at my collection log now and we go into Vorkath, I do believe there should be a kill count task left. One with melee, very easy. 100 kill count and then one with fist. For now, I can just focus on getting quick kills. And as you can see, lots of dragon bolts from this, lots of money from just alks. And grapes are gonna be useful as well, because I can make wines, and I think that's also a task which I just got that I didn't know I could do. So, some very easy tasks I can do in the future, but for now, just gonna focus on very fast kills. Dragon Spear, it's a pop-up, it's a unique, it's rare. I don't know if there's any tasks with it, but I guess we keep it. There is so much stuff on the floor, I need to kill 15 in a row. 
And apparently, me doing five perfect ones did not count towards the task, which is weird. I don't know why that is the case. But yeah, we need to do five perfect ones again, I think, to get points. Unless I'm completely trolling, which could also be the case, but I don't think I got points earlier for it. Defeating Vorketh 50 times as a task and 400 CAs a task. And I got a Vorketh veteran on top of that. And I got a Vorketh's head. Lots of things happening there. We're just still trying to get a 15 kill in a row right now. That's why my inventory is a complete mess. And there it is. Defeat Vorketh 15 times without leaving. Now, for the one that I wanted to do, which is five perfect ones in a row, it only counts right as you enter the instance. That's why it didn't count to me when I completed the achievement as well. So we're gonna be going out and in and getting five perfect kills in a row next. All right, and just like that, five Vorketh without leaving. Uh, so we finally complete it. Uh, you only do this one if you enter and never make a mistake. Trees are all grown. Now we just need to dig up some magic seeds, but there is 76 farming. There's check a ground magic seed. And now we need to spend about one hour chopping this down so I can loot the roots as well. There is 78 farming, just collecting all my magic trees. Here is 79 and that is level 80 farming. All right, well, if I get a lot of magic seeds, it should not be a problem to level this to 99, but who knows, we'll see. It is time for us to do a little bit of Leviathan right now. I'm in the mood, obviously we will be returning to next pretty soon because I still need a Zerite crossbow, but right now just Want to do a couple of kills, see how it feels. Maybe we get the new ring, which I don't really even know how to make, but we'll figure it out as we go. I mean, that's pretty chill, not gonna lie. See, Daryl. See, Daryl. Woo. Oh my god, I ate it. Fuck. Wait, I get range pots. That's huge for us. Wait, then I get supplies. Can I just stay here and it spawns or what? I just got a scarred tablet. I'm not sure what that is. I'm gonna assume this is to put on a ring so you can teleport here. So that's pretty decent. So what I'm doing right now is I'm just skipping all the mechanics and just DPSing and this is a really good drop, 150 Dragon Bolts. But I just sit in this corner because that's when it gets phased and I just pray flick basically throughout the whole kill most of the time and it, it's working pretty well. If I just sit here and I don't move and I don't do mechanics and I don't do the shadow or anything. So it goes like faster and faster and you're supposed to like barrage it but if I have the VPS it don't think I need to even worry about it. So here is where it should go full speed now. But if I just... Not yet. The next one will be full speed. So now it's full speed. Oh, I got hit by that, which is a bit annoying. Oh, it milled me. But yeah. I mean, it's pretty chill, I guess. 29 seconds. Okay. I felt faster, but... With my relics, that is actually really good. What is Eye of the Duke? I do not know what Eye of the Duke is. You might be able to combine it with something else. Does anybody know what this thing is? One out of four for X. Can you get all the X pieces from this boss? Yes? Oh shit. Nice. I did not know. Man, I like this boss, even though I missed just about everything there. This on the ring. Perfect. I can now teleport directly to the thingy. How do I charge this thing? Soul, death, blood law. All right, I'll worry about this. <laughs> Wait. Do I have it here? I might have it. Hold up. Let me figure it out. Boom, boom. Dude, I have too much stuff in my bank. Like, I can't even... Ah, this bank is driving me crazy, man. Can we have more space, please? I can't deposit anything anymore. Uh, anyways, yeah. can deposit half of the things. Charge. 100 teleports. Should never use this much. So I'm currently eating and we just finished 25 times last room in Pyramid Plunder for some points. I'm probably gonna do this all the way to 99 Thieving and I do want to get another Scepter. So we are leaving Thieving for another day and we are going to do some solo necks. Yet again, hoping for Torva Helmet, Torva Legs or Zarite Crossbow. That's what we need. Please game, be merciful. First solo of this video and we get... That's a good drop. That's a million just in rune ore. We'll take it. Fire runes and air orbs. Never lucky. But what are these drops, man? Get air orbs and uh, prayer potions. Nah, but you can't make this up. Oh, I got a Torva plate, buddy, but I already have it. Oh, how many solos was that in a row for this? Oh, this is a bit painful, not gonna lie. I got a thousand blood runes with it. There is the second Torva plate, buddy. 
Oh, man. I don't think I can do anything with this. It's just a trophy item at this point. Well, that is the daily next milking, I guess. We did not get a back-to-back. -back. Sadness. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. It is about time we finally build up the custom room in our house where we can start storing all of our clue outfits simply because I don't want to just drop all the clue items that we get but at the same time I have absolutely no space in my bank. Oak teak mahogany. All right, let's uh, let's do that real quick. I'm also going to move this thing into this corner so my house loads in faster. If you guys do not know the way the house works in this game is if it's a small square it loads in faster basically. I just need to rotate the door to like outside so I can run around and into the room. Not very efficient, but we should be fine. Let me just grab a bunch of other planks as well. All right. And just like that, we, I think, upgraded our stuff mostly. I should be able to throw quite a lot of things in here right now. I, it's not completely fully upgraded, but this should allow me to throw literally most of our things in. So we should be all right. I'm just going to alk and organize my bank because my bank is a complete mess. And hopefully then we have a little bit more storage to work with. It is time for me to finish some of the achievements that I could do. First one is to make a bunch of cosmics. I had to make a tiara first. Otherwise, you can't really do this, I think. Or I guess you could, uh, but I can't drop banker's note. So I would need to like destroy it, which... I don't know, it would be a bit annoying, but right now I am working on a Lumbridge and a Drainer. Easy, medium are already done. I'm trying to get hard and elite completed. That's an elite task and I have now completed all of the elite tasks in Lumbridge. However, I have not done all the hard ones yet. So let's figure out what I need to do for those. All right, then let's take a look if this works. I do one of those. I go here. I make one of those. I do this. I do this. Did it do it? I think I did it. And then lastly, I just need to make a Waka Canoe and we have completed all the diaries in Lumbridge and Draenor. Here we go, paddling away and we've also done the hard tasks in Lumbridge and I think I just go back, claim the rewards and figure out where I want to put them. Let's speak to Hades because they ain't us and uh, we get rewards for the hards and we get rewards for elites. So I've had enough of a think. Now, I do really want to put this into agility because my best agility training method is Rileka rooftops or agility arena tickets. Neither of those two are necessarily my favorite ways to train. But you know what? Let's just get Herbler for now. We're going to be doing more diaries in the future. So this should be a lot of XP. Starting at 75, we get 240k going all the way up to 77. And then if we use the big one as well for 800k, going all the way up to 81, we can now make brews and probably do some more tasks and stuff like that. So that's pretty decent. Every day I want to slowly be chipping down on this mining. I mean, I can get about 2 mil XP an hour, so it's still a 5 hour process to get to 99. Uh, the problem is this is super click intensive, right? So we're gonna just do maybe half an hour, maybe one hour at a time. And now it's level 74, chilling. Mining session over. We're now 85 mining, we can mine Urunite ore. And we're up to 3.2 million mining XP. Pretty solid. Little farm run of the day. Here's 81 farming. We can now make dragon fruit seeds. So that should be helpful throughout the days. But I'm starting to get a bit worried about farming. The best way for me to get these seeds is to do TOA and not get the purple, by the way. Uh, so yeah, we'll figure out what, what we do with all of these things. Uh, hopefully I can get some magic seeds, use seeds, whatever, as we do more bossing. There's 82. It is time for us to do a little bit more PVM. I'm gonna start off by doing Vorkath Alking, simply because, well, I'm alking all of my dupe clue scroll uniques. And as I said at some point in the last video, I need to make somewhere between 150 and 200 mil in just coins in order to afford all the viable tasks. So that's gonna be a lengthy process. And I do need to kill a lot of Vorkath anyways. It's my Slayer task. Let's go ahead and do it. Oh, and I've also made Onyx Dragon Bolt Ease from all my Onyx Bolt tips. These are going to be helpful for when I need to heal. And otherwise, I'm using rubies with diamond bolts. I have a lot of dragon bolts available simply because I've been doing Vorkath, Nex solos and all stuff like that. Kill count 74 and we got our third Vorkath head, I think. I need to probably bank here. I am fairly certain that my Onyx Dragon Bolts are bugged. They have not specced a single time in like 20 kills. 
So I don't know what's up with that. Maybe I'm missing something very obvious. Another Vorkath head on KC88. We're almost done with the task. Six left to go. Back to back Vorkath head. Okay, we pulled a little dagger of task. I'm not gonna do it right now. I will do it in the future, however. We're up to 97 Slayer. And I guess right now it is time for me to do a few solo next attempts, see if I can get any cool drops. It looks like I was wrong. Uh, the Onyx Bolts work on Nex, but they didn't work on Vorkav. Okay, good luck me. Back to Nex solos. Runor is pretty decent. Lots of money there. There we go. Another solo Nex. Let's take a look what do we get. And we get Ruby. All right. My next goal is to start working on the Fremenic Diaries. I have zero completed. I believe I can do all of them. Let's get it done. That is completing the easy Fremenic Diary. Just made a tiara. Nice. Let's go to mediums. The reason I'm doing Olaf's quest is so I could kill the Brine Red for the medium diary. Uh, however, we will need to do more of these in the future anyways. I will finish the quest. There's no reason not to. And there it is. Olaf's quest completed. A little bit of points. A little bit of XP. That is catching a saber tooth Kiat for 80 points. How is that 80 points? There is easy points again for equipping full Kiat gear. Nice. Who would have thought that doing diaries also making task completions, which is, uh, it's kind of funny actually. So many free tasks I didn't even know I could do. And that is all the medium tasks completed, I think. There it is. Perfect. Let's go on with hearts. See, like, this is what I'm saying. I'm just doing diaries, but I'm also getting task completed for unlock free use of the Blast Furnace. So, like, all of these points have just been slipping through my fingers because I haven't been focusing on it. Uh, but now I'm just getting all of them. Okay, that's hard diaries completed, mining some adamant ores, and what's down for the elites? Dragonstone amulet, easy. 56 astrals, easy. Let's get it fully finished. And just like that, 200 points, all of the diaries completed, but we still need to go and uh, claim the rewards. So I'm not actually sure where you claim them. I'm gonna assume it's Peer the Seer guy, but let's just take a look. South of Releka. Never mind. We go south of Releka. Oh, I can probably teleport with this, right? Perfect. And let's claim a lot of the rewards. And again, I'm in a dilemma. Do I put all the XP into the Herblor or do I put all of the XP into Agility? I really don't know. But regardless, here we are Thorodin. We get Sea Boots 1. Upgrade them to Sea Boots 2, upgrade them to Sea Boots 3, and upgrade them to Sea Boots 4. And I've decided I'm gonna put it into Herblor, uh, because in general it's gonna be harder for me to train. Agility, I can always run laps, even though XP per hour is not ideal. It's still better than needing to farm the herbs, than make the herbs, than train Herblor. So, I think Herb is legit the hardest thing for me to train. So because of that, let's see how much XP we get. Start off with 40k. Moving on to 120k, we're now 82 herb. We can now create super weapon poisons. Now tier 3, we get another level for that. We can now create magic mix. And we use the last one, this one's gonna be a lot of XP. 800k, we're now 85 herb lore, and we can now create Zamorak mixes and ancient brews. Perfect. Now, I do think I'll go do DKs. There's a couple of tasks I can still do, but I could also do the Falador and Desert Diaries. How about we go and we try to knock every diary that we can out of the way? I completed most of the Falador tasks that I could, but I'm locked behind not having a Willow Seed and not being able to get Willow Branches. So because of that, I do believe it is good time right now to go and do some DKs, finish off all sets of rings, and just continue towards the KC task, simply because we need to kill 300 in process anyways. We're starting it off with a Mud Battle Staff, and the best part is we should now be receiving Noted Bones already, I think. I mean, it doesn't really matter. But I guess I don't need to click it myself, so it is a start. Very next drop, we pull an archer's ring. Dude, we're getting we're getting drop after drop here. Nice start. Uh, and that is KC27. We're gonna get bonus points on KC50. KC, I think, 150 and 300 or something like that at least. Here's another Dragon X. I think that's number 5. We got another Dragon X. We pull another Circle, but I think I already have one. Yeah. So we already got one of those. What we are really here for is Dagonoth Rex. I need both Berserker Ring and Warrior's Ring to get like big tasks completed. I don't really care that this is a Slayer task. Sure, it's nice passive Slayer XP, but I'm not too worried about that. Just want to get the rings and then we're probably out of here. Another Dragon X. There it is. That's the first one. Warrior Ring and now only missing the Berserker Ring to have all the rings. We equip it. That's 80 pointer. And uh, yeah, let's hope for a B Ring next. Another Dragon X. I have a feeling we're gonna get a lot of this. This one's already the third one. 
another mud battle staff. Oh, here's another Sears ring. And uh, again, we only have, what, 89 left. And I'm really hoping I get a B ring in this session, but we'll see. And with this skill, we've now defeated all the Dagonovs 50 times each, which is perfect, but still no B ring. Dragon X. Mud battle staff. There is another mud battle staff. I also started fire making in between the kills. I don't know. Don't ask. That is a wrong ring from Rex. Another warrior ring. No berserker. Another warrior ring. I think that's number three. Another dragon axe. Another mud battle staff. Hey, we done. We got a B ring. And I think if I wear it, there it is. We got all the points. Beautiful. I don't know how many points this is, but that just means I can finish the task and we're chilling. So only thing I need from these bosses is just kill count from here on out. I got all the drops, so 200 points extra, up to 37, almost 38,000. This was exactly what I wanted. That's perfect. Well, we got 14 left. We pulled another archer's ring and another dragon eggs because why not? I thought I was done, but here's another Sears ring. Seven more kills to go. One kill to go, and we get a mud battle staff again. How much does this arc for? 10k! Oi, oi! Well, there it is. That was an eventful task. We'll we'll come back to this place in the future. I still need to get about a hundred... Wait, I need to get a lot of KC on all of this to get all the points. We're going to be starting today's episode on 37,760 points in a good old adamant tier. And we're going to see how many points we can go. I'm still going to PVM. We're still going to do interesting things. I'm just going to put a little bit extra emphasis on actually finishing some points. Starting today off with some Slayer. We are very close to 99 Slayer and I think this would be a very good first goal. My general rule of thumb is I'm going to be doing tasks that have superior versions. So for example, Kurasks, I'm gonna go ahead and do those. Here is the first superior of the episode and honestly, as funny as it sounds, my main reason why I like this place is the coconut drops. This protects my magic trees and I will need a lot of those for my farming XP. But anyways, 45k XP and we pull just a clue and some herbs. Another superior. I don't think there's necessarily anything we need from this aside from maybe eternal gem, but I don't know how useful that would be. We didn't get anything from this one. Looks like we are going to be going back to Sire and I am one bludgeon piece away from a lot of points. So let's see if we get lucky. Doing a quick farming run before we do Sire. Here's 83 and here is 84 farming. Opa, first skill back and we get an Sired. All right, if we get a bludgeon, we have a lot of points just waiting to be claimed. And we do get the last bludgeon piece. All right, so I will go and make a bludgeon right now, but we still need to kill 300 Abyssal Sire in total. So I will continue killing it, even though at the moment we got the dagger, we got the bludgeons. I don't think there's anything else we need from the Sire. We even got the Abyssal head. All right, so let's see how easy it is. You would have the faintest idea how to put this together maybe someone in the nexus could assist you all right that is not how we do it perhaps what we need to do is speak to the overseer if i remember correctly and can i maybe just use it on this guy ah there we go he yoinks my components and creates us the abyssal bludgeon thank you all right uh let's wear this how many points 200 points beautiful and we can now continue just killing sire there's nothing really else uh, that we need from drops. It is just, it's just raining on sires right now. I don't know what to say. Let's see what we get from this one. And we start on another bludgeon. We have just defeated 150 abyssal sire. And we also just got 98 slayer in the same kill. One more level to go. There it is, 154. And we got another sire. Let's take a look at what we get. I would still hope for a jar. I think getting a jar would be decent. Getting a pet would be great as well let's take a look another bludgeon piece we're gonna get two bludgeons the unfortunate thing about the bludgeon is it only alex for 156k so yeah not really excited about the dupe on that but it is what it is here we go we got another unsired milking it a little bit this time around but let's take a look and see what do we get from this one again pet is one in 25 after you get a unsired so extremely likely and the jar is 1 in 10, so both of those would be good for us, but we get the last bludgeon piece. So again, that's completing our second bludgeon. Uh, we are gonna go right back, and we still have a hundred of these to kill. Late night chilling, and I'm just going to spend all of my Soul Wars points on the Spoils of War. I don't need any combat XP, so we're gonna just be banking all of these, and hoping I get a Rune Essence, so I can finish 99 Rune Crafting. 
Nice, one rune essence there. We fast open these. Another essence, perfect. And no more essence. Did I get the pet? I did not get the pet. Since it is currently extremely late, I decided to do some Alk Herbivore. What I need to do is get a Torstall from here, but also I need to stack up on just 100 more grimy weed in order to finish another task. So we'll do Herbivore for a bit, not too long, but this will be useful. Thought this would never happen, but here is a Torstall from Herbie. I'm gonna do 50 right now, and then we're gonna be able to do what I actually wanted to do. Alright, a bunch of Herbivore fire making later, and here is 50. I believe I should have 1000 grimy herbs in the bank right now, so I could do the next task. We went from 80 to 86 Hunter, basically 87, I'm two Herbivores away from 87, and from 90 to 92 fire making, so pretty decent session. Uh, let's see if we have enough herbs. Here is 85 farming. I accidentally burnt all my magic logs and now I need to chop some more so I can do my birdhouse runs. Simply because that's one of the only ways for me to get a Kalkwad seed or killing giant mole. So I'm gonna stay on top of the birdhouses and then we do the other tasks. Apparently dismantling 20 birdhouses is also a task, I didn't even know. Did we get lucky today? Did I get the seed that we need? No, three apple seeds, not what we wanted. This is the task. We need 1000 unidentified herbs and we need to speak to Zahur and ask him to make unfinished potions. Oh, I need to do diaries first. Oh man, okay, let's go and do desert diaries. Easy desert diaries completed. That is hard diaries completed, now just mediums to go. And just like that, easy, medium and hard completed. Let's claim the rewards identify the herbs and then move on. All right, we got some lamps. Let's put it onto Herblar. That's gonna be 86. More onto Herblar. That's gonna be still 86. And more onto Herblar. And that's now gonna be 87. I'm trying to get this to 90 uh, because then we can do the Varrock Elites as well. But that's pretty helpful. Let's go identify our herbs finally. I don't know if I want him to clean my herbs or if I do it manually. I think I'll do it manually for more XP. Hey, there it is, making 1000 unfinished potions and we can now actually train a bit of Herblor. I'm trying to get to 90 or 91, let's see if we have some sort of resources for that. Doing the Elite Diary in Falador but also making a brew, a little bit of points. It is pretty late into the game but I can finally start making ranging potions and uh, from today onward I will have a lot. I don't know what it is but I'm super lazy when it comes to training Herblor on all of my accounts but now that I have everything I should be able to just run around, make potions, hopefully get decent level and then maybe the future lamps I can actually throw on agility and not feel too bad about it. Apparently making 20 ranging potions was also a task. That is making a compost potion. And funnily enough, I didn't actually know what these are supposed to do. But if you use this on a regular compost, you create a super compost. And then obviously if you use volcanic ash on super compost, you create ultra compost. So these are actually going to be useful for us. Whilst I'm making my potions, I'll be doing herbivore. And at the same time, also obviously training herblur. That's 88. We can now make manafite remedies. I do believe this is something I can do as well because I did get the lily drop. So we'll look into that after I'm done with my ranging potions. Well, that's pretty unlucky. I need to make 50 of these, 50 of the Manafite Remedies, and I can only make 33. I'll just make this 33 before I forget, and then I'll use the rest on the ranging pots. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. And there it is. Finally 90 Herblur, meaning we can now create super combat potions, unconveniently already located in the bank here. So I think I need one attack potion. Maybe I need a tier 4, one defense, uh, one strength. And one Torstall, I believe. I only have one because I accidentally made 14 of these ones. Uh, but let me just do this. And add one of these to this. And that worked. Perfect. And 200 points on top of that. Put this on pie dish. Okay, we have pie dish. Now I need maybe strawberry. Part summer pie. Okay. Then maybe watermelon. And then maybe cooking apple. And then I cook it. Hey, there it is. Nice. And there we go. That does it. Elite Varok Diaries are also completed. We're gonna go claim the rewards. And then I think it is time to finally do some PvE for today. Doing all these diaries and tasks brought us almost up to 40,000 points, which is sick. But let's go ahead and speak to Toby. And again, the dilemma. Do I use it on Herb? Do I use it on Agility? I do believe I will use all the lamps from now on on Agility. Ah, dude, it's hard, man. It's hard to decide. There is a task for me to create forgotten brews. Okay, how about we do it this way? We use one more lamp on Herblor and then no more lamps on Herblor. 
So all the future lamps will be going on to agility. There it is, perfect. I tried finishing my Slayer task and finishing some Sire, but every single room is full, so I decided to visit my enemy. If you guys do not know, this is how my next log looks like at the moment. 5 out of 8, 131 next kills. Most of these are duos and solos. So I have 2 Torva bodies, 2 Zerite Vampresses, enough Nihil shards, I even have a pet and an Ancient Hilt. No horn though to show for it, and uh, this place burns you out. One kill takes about... I don't know, 8 minutes if you're soloing, something like that. I'm at the point where I'm pretty burnt from this place. I just want to get the Nihil Horn and get out of here. Uh, but yeah, let's see if we maybe get lucky in today's attempt. This kill, let's see what do we get. And we get some rubies and soul runes. Okay, another solo next, please. We get diamonds and we get air runes. 134 KC already. I think I'll be going to do some TOA right now, so let's gear up for that. I still need Mazori legs, and a lot of other things would be decent. Apparently I just completed perfect Krondis, that's interesting. We're doing trios right now, which is like not efficient at all. But uh, listen, we're having fun, it's fine, and we need some white uh, lights anyways. Hey, what the fuck, this is hard. Hey, yo. The fuck am I... What the fuck is this? <laughs> fuck. Okay, well that was that was uh, unnecessarily hard. Let's put it that way. I took way too many switches by inventory. Let's not talk about it. But we did it. Let's see who gets the purple. Somebody. I don't know if it's me. Uh, could it be me? I don't think it is me, is it? It's helicopter. Let's take a look what he gets. Another one of those. He has like a million of those. We need white lilies. I, that's not the best. I really need lilies, basically, but yeah. Oh, uh, let's see. There's a purple. I hope it's mine. Let's take a look. Is it mine? It might be mine. I think it is mine. Okay, 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 okay. What do we want? We want Mazori chaps. I want Fang as well. Let's take a look. Oh, man. I really want Mazori legs. Like, that's what I really, really want. And no ring. Ah, always the ring. I can out these, I guess. Here we go, here we go. Back to back situation. We are now... Uh, <laughs> okay, buddy. We are now doing some duos. Uh, there's another purple. Is it back to back in my name? It is. Oh my god, come on. No ring, bro. Come on, Mazori legs. Fang is good. Shield is good. Staff is good. Just no dupes, please. Please. <gasps> no! No! No, I'm so seen idiot. Oi, oi, oi. Oi, oi, oi. Too much in shadow. There is no way, by the way. <laughs> there is absolutely no way. I am, uh, I am sorry. There is no way. And the jewel of the sun. I don't really know what this does. But Tumak and Shadow, I've never even used this weapon. I know for a fact it's better than my master one, though. Holy, that's also a lot of points. There's no way I pulled it. So apparently I need Chaos runes and I need Soul runes and that's it. Uh, let's just... 1,500. We will be using this thing all the time if we wear it. Oh, it's beautiful. 400 points for this. And we are now officially over 40,000 points, which is very nice. Oh man, this looks sick. Yo, there's 50 million hit points XP. I did not know this one was coming up. And we're almost at another next solo. The reason why I came back here is... Well, I just had a little TOA break and uh, now I'm alone. So I'm gonna see if I get uh, lucky on the... Solo drop here as well. And we get more uh, rubies and some death runes. Kill count 135. I didn't realize, but all of these rubies and all of these diamonds are all coming from solo next. That's a lot of crafting XP here. Probably enough to finish 99. Or at least get very close. I could also just go and do more herbie and kind of chill a bit. But let's do at least one more kill. Death runes and supplies. I don't know why, but I'm really not feeling next right now. However, here's the palm tree that finally grew. And this is one of the Karanja tasks and one of the otherwise tasks as well. Decent XP also. But the best part is I also pulled a Kalkwad seed from my bird's nest. So that means I can actually finish my Karamja Elite Diaries, which is pretty hard to do. So I'm very happy to have that almost done. Uh, and I'm just going to plant another tree here, but I kind of forgot everything. So I'll be back. 
Here's 86 farming, just preparing the poison ivy berries, which I'll use to protect my Kalquat seed. So everything's coming together now. Here is 90 hunter, and I've also been doing a bit of crafting. I'm down to rubies right now, and crafting is almost 95 as well. So this is basically my go-to activity at the moment. I don't know why, but it's super chill. I just wanted to do it. I got up to 91 Herbler, 96 crafting, and now I'm back to finish my Slayer journey. I'm 250k away. It should be an easy process. Here's a superior. I could do Sire, but I need one more task of Abyssal Demons anyways to finish it. Right now my Sire KC is 242, so the next time I get an Abyssal Demon task, I will do 60 more. However, from this superior, we got just about nothing. Hey, there it is. The big level 99th Slayer. Damn, I was starting to think these don't exist anymore. I am probably at this point, almost like, a, I don't know, 100 kills without an Unsired, which is like really crazy. I'm only gonna do 16 more kills of Sire, but let's go ahead and see if we can maybe pull a jar or a pet. If you don't know, I already have two fully completed bludgeons and a bunch of whips and daggers. So let's see what we got from this one, starting on the third bludgeon. There we go, Abyssal Sire, fully completed. If we quickly take a look into the combat tasks, everything is green here. If we quickly take a look into the collection log, this is how my collection log looks like. Four daggers, I think I got one whip, one head, and then two fully completed bludgeons. We ended up pulling 13 unsires in total. It is one in 20, so you should expect five per hundred. So I am two unsires short, but I'm pretty happy with everything. Let's move on to something else. There we go, doing some late night questing. And there is quite a lot of points logged behind Death to the Dorgashon. So let's go ahead and complete the few. There is pickpocket a bullseye lantern, and there is stealing a diamond in Dorgish Khan. Hey, and there's a 99 thieving as well. Good morning. Now that the skilling is done and the thieving is completed, at least I think the thieving is the last thing I did. I am over here at the Leviathan. Uh, I'm going to try to get the ring, maybe some Verdus pieces. I mean, Verdus pieces are quite rare, but... And we're gonna just be killing some Leviathan. I do need to get a ton of KC here. It would be an ideal uh, world to get really lucky and get all the drops by 300 KC. Uh, but most likely that's not gonna happen and I will need to kill, I don't know, like 900 or something. Speaking and doing the boss, not the easiest job in the world, but should be fine. Alright, anyways, I'm gonna focus on the boss, I'm gonna get a bunch of kill count down, and I'm starting at KC26. This is an absolutely amazing drop, 225 unfinished bolts from Leviathan, that's crazy good. I believe this is the second drop for the axe, we now have Siren Staff and the Eye of the Duke. How about we quickly go and bang because my inventory is full of loot. Wait, that's actually low-key amazing, I think. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever use the axe, but I mean right now my best weapon is Whip with the Defender. So maybe axe with full Torva could actually be decent in TOA. Again, I don't know, I haven't tested it, I don't know how good it is. But uh, yeah, that's pretty good, that's pretty good, pretty exciting. So yeah, there is Eye of the Duke, and there is Siren Staff. Here is defeating 50 Leviathan for some easy points. I was wondering when these would start dropping, so I'm gonna need three of these in order to make the Biss Ring for me. So that's one under three completed, nice. That is exactly what we needed. Second Chromium ingot on the account. Beautiful. 61 KC. It's going very smoothly. And here is the number three. We got all the Chromium ingots we could ever ask for. Now we need to actually drop the ring or some Virtus pieces. Okay, I just pulled smoke quartz and I'm not exactly sure what this is used for. I will need to do a little bit of research on that, but that's KC 69. Every dude. Every time I get to KC69 on the boss on leagues, I'm getting a drop. Like, I don't know, it's... It, there's something about the number, man. Okay, so it looks like the smoke quartz is actually made... Well, you make a smoke ancient scepter with it. Uh, what is smoke ancient scepter, you may be wondering? I've got no clue. But apparently I need to do some Maspa in order to do it, so... We'll figure that out when we get there. I haven't really been thinking about Maspa too much just yet. But the fact is, I do have the heart. And I should make the saturated heart, so I should be doing Maspa pretty soon. But I want to get the ring first. I want to get the ring, maybe some Verdus pieces. So I'm staying here for now. I think that's it. I think that's it. I believe we did it. 78 kill count Venator Vestige. How do I make this thing? I think this is it, by the way. I think I need this. 
archering, three chromatic things, and we've done it. There's no way. I was ready to do like 300, 500 kills for this thing. Wait a second. So I need to do research as to how to make this. But I already did research before I started. And I'm pretty sure this is what I need. Let me just figure out how to cook this thing together. I do believe I have everything I need in order to make it in my inventory. I'll have to chisel the archer ring, bring the thingy to the thingy. Uh, but let's speak to the peer this year. Combine it with something else. Okay, let me just try. If I chisel this, we now have an, the icon. And then I have the ring mold. I have this. Can I just come here and smelt it? I don't think this is working for me right now. Okay, let me see if I can use this on this guy. Oh, there we go. Peer the Seer shows you how to combine ring icons with ancient vestiges. All right, shout out to Peer the Seer, the homie right there. Let's take a look if we can do it now. Okay, apparently I need 500 blood runes. Wait, ah, I have it there. Hold up. L let's try it again. There it is, Venator icon. Can I craft it now? Craft a Venator ring. Yes. Oh, there it is. It's beautiful. If you guys do not know, this is going to make us even stronger. This is... Plus two range over the imbued archer ring and you also get a range strength on top of that. So that's gonna be a pointer 200 and we now have an even better ring. So how could we improve our range gear further? Mazori chaps and obviously I need a, a, a like a horn drop from Nex still. But we're gonna now top off this PVM adventures with a little bit of skilling I think. I want to see if I can complete some more elite diaries. I do believe my trees should be fully grown right now. Let's take a look. We are back to some of the rune crafting training with a lot of rune essence, all coming from, or mostly coming from the soul wars. The plan is simple right now. I need 91 rune crafting to finish my Karamja diaries. It would be only fitting to miss 91 rune crafting, but now I'm making double the nature runes, which is super useful. And I just need to do the full inventory in one go, so let's do that first. And my Kalquat is 7 out of 9 grown, so I can't fully finish the Elite Diaries, but I can always return to that in the future. I just want to quickly make one full inventory. So that should do it. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Now, do I want to train more rune crafting right now? I have a lot of essence. I might as well get like a level or two more. Just kidding, I decided to train some fletching instead, there's 87, I'm trying to get to 95, it might be quite a bit of a process, I'll probably just do herbivore or something at the same time. There's a 92 hunter, here is 150 herbivores caught, in the process this got me from 80 hunter all the way to 93. I also ended up getting an entire fletching level from it as well, just doing new logs at the same time. There is no more points coming from Herbivore, but I do believe this is a pretty chill and relaxing way for me to get 99 Hunter. Uh, but since I am literally one catch away from level 94, I'm gonna catch one more right now. But then we are gonna move on to something else. And here's level 94 Hunter. I'll probably just do like one level at a time whenever I feel like it. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. I've really been enjoying multi-skilling lately. So here's 96 crafting whilst I was doing herbivore however right now looking at my stats my agility seems a bit sus let's go ahead and fix it at least a few levels so what I'm trying to do right now it's a little bit all over the place but I'm trying to have my farming be the lowest level so I can do tiers of gothics so I can get a bunch of XP in it or should I do that for agility why am I overcomplicating this I'll just do it for agility right now all right 111 tiers let's take a look at how much XP we can get 117,000. Yeah, I'd say that was worth it. Since I'm in the skilling mood, I need to do 250 agility laps anyways. I'm doing it whilst I'm crafting. I'm trying to get to 99 crafting. I'm doing green dehyde bodies for some reason right now. I have a bunch of uncuts that I'll do after. And honestly, whenever you're in the mood to do a little bit of agility, it is probably worth it. This shit is slow as fuck, let me tell you. But yeah, I need to do 250 laps and then after that I'll see what my best way to train agility is. Or maybe I put some XP lamps on it or whatever, but 
looking at these stats, I don't think I'm that far away from being maxed. Like, I'm gonna be straight up honest. It's doable. It's gonna be a little bit longer with my relics. I didn't really take the best relics to max efficiently, uh, but it can be done for sure. So 87 agility. It's in my style to miss it. I'm gonna move on to something else. And uh, every day, I guess I'll do a little bit agility. Try to get this thing up, man. I do not like it whatsoever. This Releka course is not doing it for me. Well, thanks to Banker's Relic, I'm actually preparing a lot of future tasks. There is some tasks I completely missed, and one is to craft 1000 Mithril darts, one is to craft 1000 Adamant darts, and one is to craft 1000 Rune darts. And I can train agility whilst getting all the bars that I need, and then once all the bars are ready, I can then go ahead and uh, smith them all for points. So that's gonna be my plan, and then after that, that's also gonna be fletching XP that we need, so we're kinda doing everything at once here. Maybe agility is not gonna be that hard to train after all. Okay, I'm going up to rune bars right now. There's a simple task of making one of those on the actual furnace, but the way I do it is I do agility and I do it all passively, basically. So back to running laps and after I have a hundred runite bars, I can do a big combo of a bunch of tasks. I made all the bars I needed for all the tasks whilst doing agility. Now it's just time to turn them into mithril dart tips. And here is 87 smithing. I was also thinking of using all my runite ores that I got from Nex in Blast Furnace to get a bunch of runite bars, turn them into dart tips, fledge them into fletching XP. Dude, I'm cooking right now. I'm in a skilling mood. Let's get a bunch of high levels. That is smithing 1000 mithril dart tips completed. And there it is, 1000 adamant dart tips. Let's go up to rune. There's 89 fletching. We need to get 95 so I can complete the next points, I guess. Here is making a rune item for 80 points and I need 89 smithing in order to make darts. So I think I'm gonna attempt blast furnace and see how it feels. Wait, I'm thinking about it and this might be insane with the banker's note. Wait, this might be stupid. Okay, so let's say this is now done. Wait a second. Bars. Okay, I'll just do one so I don't like... Oh, this is gonna be crazy good. What? Look at this. Oh, man. The best part about these, I got a lot of these ores from doing next, right? And this is like a lot of money. I can turn all of these into plate bodies. I can turn all of these even into something as simple as dart tips for fletching, right? Like this is... I can really decide what I want to do with this. Like right now, I don't know what's the best way, but if the money is something I'm going for, I mean, this is this is how we do it. There's 88 smithing as well. This is so chill. And there we go. That is all the rune bars done. And I'm actually seriously considering doing all my adamant as well very quickly because I can turn adamant ones into plate bodies for a lot of money as well. I've done all my adamant bars and this is also going to be useful when I'm doing more of the... Is it called Giant's Foundry? I don't know, the, the smithing minigame. Uh, but I guess since we're already here, let's do mithril bars until I'm 89 smithing because that's when I can start making my runite darts. And there it is, 89 smithing. And you know what? This is actually really enjoyable, so I think I'm gonna do it all the way. And that is what, about a thousand? Yeah, over 1000 mithril bars done as well. Let me withdraw my coins and let me go make some rune dart tips now. That came out pretty perfectly. That's a thousand dart tips and 90 smithing in the exact same bars. Hey, there's 90 fletching. I made about 2000 darts. We'll see where this gets us to. Obviously not 99, but at least I have something to do whilst doing other things. I was wondering when this tree is gonna be grown. Let's quickly check it. And there it is, a level 87. Check a grown Kalkwat tree task. But also, we've now completed another set of Elite Diaries. So, Karamja Elite Diary is completed. That's another 200 pointer. Going all the way up to 42,000 right now. Which is basically Rune Tier. So, we're now one step away from Dragon Tier. Obviously, it's gonna take quite a while to get 14,000 more points. We're gonna go grab our XP lamp and I've decided I'm putting everything into Herblor. Without the farmer's relic, it's just gonna be hard to train this skill. I can do 1 mil agility XP an hour doing Releka. Sure, is it gonna take me like many hours? Yes, like 8 hours to 99, but I can multi-skill whilst doing it, so it shouldn't be too bad. Alright, there we go. We now have tier 4 Karamja gloves, so if we wanna take the agility route of doing it in here, that will help, but let's take all of this XP, 
put it into Herbler. Let's not overthink it. There is 92 herb completed. We can now make super anti-fire potions and we're very close to 93. Perfect. This is one of the tasks that I wanted to do probably day one or two of leagues, which is cutting Sulius cap or something like that. However, it was bugged. Uh, but as you can see right now, we're getting mushrooms. We should be able to get a cap, but we should also get Mortmire Fungus, I believe, which is the only way for me to get it, which is used to make energy potions, which is used to make stamina potions, which is basically what we need. And there it is, this little text, Mortmire Fungus, you would have gained total of two. That is what we're here for. It is actually really impressive how many fossils you get from just chopping here. It's like a lot. Well, well, that's that's awkward. So look how far up in the chat I'm scrolling. Yeah, chop a Sulius of cap. I got it. And then I notice, and I've been chopping, and I've been chopping, and a little bit more chopping, and uh, well, at least we got it. So in the process, we also got what 50 Mortmire fungus. It's actually pretty decent. Let's see if I can make some stamina potions. Ah, there it is. Okay, we're good, we're good. 40 points for making 20 staminas. The best part about this is I can now make a revitalization pool in my house and I can then make this and then I don't really need to go further. But just the prayer potion would actually be quite useful. So let me go ahead and grab that. But first, I'm probably going to change my layout a little bit of my house. So I'm going to move my chapel away right now. And I can now finally move my garden back here because I'll be able to replenish my prayer by just drinking from the pool, which is going to be a little bit better than what we were doing beforehand. <laughs> All right, it's only like 650k. We'll do this as well and we'll upgrade our pool as far as we can. I mean, it's just going to be convenient. It's literally right here. So start off with prayer pots and move on to restores. I don't think I can get anti-venom, but yeah, it's gonna be super convenient. I have spent most of today just doing point tasks and whatnot, aside from Leviathan early on, but right now what I wanna do is I wanna do some Calfight. Calfight Queen has a pretty decent drop chance for me. I can train a little bit of fletching in the process, and in the long run, I can get a KQ head, which would in turn also complete my desert diaries. If we quickly take a look, Getting 95 fletching is something I'm actively working on, casting an ice barrage is really easy, and then restoring 85 player I can already do, and speak to the KQ head in your POH, we need to get a KQ head drop. Not gonna lie, when I see how majors do this, it seems quite nice, but I just use onyx bolts to heal me through the damage that I take, it's usually pretty okay. We're starting on KC number 4, let's see if we get lucky. Also, drops like these, very good. Oh, and one thing I forgot to mention, Dragon Pickaxe is something I would absolutely like on this account because I'm gonna need to do quite a lot of mother load mining and since you can't really tick manipulate mother load mining, Dragon Pickaxe is gonna be useful, so it's one of the things I wanna get. And this is exactly why we're here for two magic seeds, that's like 500k farming XP, and I absolutely forgot about the dragon chain body. It should also be a pointer. Thank you very much. That's 200. Bunch of magic logs as well. Yeah, lots of good drops here. Nice. So one of the combat achievements is to get a kill on a call fight with vengeance. So I guess that's what I'm trying to do right now. We'll see how hard this will be to accomplish. That's how easy it was first attempt and we got it. Perfect. More magic seeds. We're getting lucky on those. We are winning. We are absolutely winning. There is the KQ head, meaning we got technically everything we wanted from here. I would really like a dragon pickaxe, not gonna lie. Oh, it just auto-completes it. When you get as a drop, you don't even need to like build it up or anything. It just finishes the thingy. So right now, I really just need to work on 95 fletching, and this is basically already completed. I will do a couple of kills more. I wanna see if I can land a dragon pickaxe. There is a Calfight Queen Adept completed for killing it 25 times. Here's a dupe Dragon Chain Body. Slightly unfortunate, but we'll take it. Never gonna say no to more Magic Seeds, that's solid. 40kc already. Uh, there's another one, we just pulled the Dragon Two-Hander. Not what I'm here for. Is it a task? It is a task. You know what? I'll take it. We are up to 42.6 now, so that's pretty good. Well, there's another Dragon Two-Hander. Not what we need, unfortunately. That is 50. 
Calfight Queens defeated, pretty solid. And there's also some combat achievements. Nice. That's my third cake you had, by the way. Still trying to get a pickaxe, but we do need to kill 150 Calfight anyways, so might as well stay here. Another cake you had. I think it's like number four or five or something like that. Ah, uh, it's milking it. It is milking it. 69 KC. Now we get a dragon to hand there. There's something about the 69, man. It keeps coming up. I don't know what it is. Yes, sir. That's 40 points. Nice. I just want a dragon pickaxe, but here's the third dragon chain body. That is chain body number four. And there's a dragon to hander. Fourth one. Chain body number five. Here's 93 fletching. I'm trying to get to 95 to finish Desert Diaries. And in the process, I'm also finishing or checking on my miscellanea. Simply because I am trying to get a willow seed. So I can also do Falador Diaries. During the short Caliphate Queen break, I'll be thieving this Tazar in order to get a diamond. It is a 200 point task that is just existing, so I wanna claim it. Super late night skilling, I got myself Prospector Helmet, legs and boots and I'm really close to finishing the body. I'm obviously grinding up for those Falador Diaries at the moment. I think I can sort it out very quickly. There it is, this one took three mining levels to complete. There we go, nice and easy. That is Falador Easy Diaries, done. Here it is, Green Tails completed. This one gives a ton of XP, especially Agility and Herblor is something that's pretty good. And Farming, do we get any levels? That's 88 Farming, 93 Herblor, 89 Agility. But most importantly, this is needed for my diary. And there it is, Hard Falador Diary, not so hard at all. Here is 89 Farming. Okay, Elite Diaries completed. And now all I need is for my willow tree to grow so I can make a fruit basket. That's that's all I'm missing, a fruit basket, man. Just one more fletching level to go, but I think I'll go to sleep pretty soon, so maybe I'll see you in the morning. So I should have been sleeping right now, yeah? But I had to get this. I had to get the 95 fletching first. We can now make dragon darts. There we go. If I didn't finish this, it would be bothering me and I wouldn't be able to sleep. But there is 200 points. There is Desert Diaries fully completed. We're gonna go grab XP. But most importantly, 43.6k points. Sick. There is another 200 pointer. Super easy. And clicking Herb Lord here is 94 Herb as well. Plus, this amulet is insanely useful. I can just use it, immediately click on the Eledini statue, get full stats back and go back in action. But seriously, I'm gonna go to sleep now, I'll catch you in the morning. Good morning everybody, as you can see my diaries are looking pretty good. As you can see we click Falador, we scroll, we scroll, we scroll, oh! I need to create a fruit basket, great! I planted this before going to sleep and my willow is dead. So I need to get another willow seed, plant another willow seed, just in order to complete these damn diaries, man. This is just not nice. I guess I go back to doing birdhouses, maybe some mole. I don't know, I need to get another willow seed. I'm forced to start doing birdhouses again, but here's a mahogany tree that's fully grown. That is 90 and we get 80 points of bonus. Not too bad. Well, I might have gotten scammed by the Willow Seed, but there is another 99 on the account. We got 99 crafting, very useful one for the teleports. These are the skills right now. It's pretty obvious that I am going to be pushing for max somewhat soon, but I think I'll end this episode trying to plant the goddamn Willow Seed. I don't really know, but I might legit go kill some giant mole. Or actually, I do think I have only like 12 Calphites left to kill. Uh, in order to reach my 150 milestone, so I think I'll go do that first. Quick farming run before we return to PvE. Here is level 91 farming. I can now plant two spirit trees, which is huge because it's one of the tasks, but I need to get the seeds first. So this is now my favorite part. Now that we finally have desert completed, I can come here, kill Calphite Queen, get a drop, perfect. And now the best part, teleport to Narda. Dude, I forgot the teleport back. 
All right, let's imagine I had to teleport back. Play at the statue and then teleport back. God, how am I so lost today, man? Okay, we'll try to demonstrate this again, yeah? We kill the boss, we wait for the loot. The loot is great. Beam, boom, bam, teleport here. Don't even need to click my prayer. I go there, boom, now I'm back in business. And I'm already here, and we continue. And we, I keep alking, I keep killing the boss, and we're hoping for a dragon pickaxe. But if not, it's not like it's a task, by the way. I don't fully need it. So I'm doing this, 17 more kills. Getting all my points and then getting out of here and making money in the process. So it's actually pretty decent, not gonna lie. Looks like we pull another KQ head, KC134. This usually feels so wrong to me because I'm such a hoarder, but here is me alking all of my dragon chains and all of my dragon swords. I really don't need them, I just need money. But for some reason, I really like to have like duplicate drops just sitting in my bank. Even though their alks are worth like 150 to 200k. I just do not like to alg these items away. But I do need to start stacking up on the money. So all these rare items are going to the bin. There it is. 80 pointer, by the way. Takes very long time to finish this one. Uh, what am I dropping for that? I'm taking this gold ore. There we go. 44,180 points. Comfortably relaxing in the rune tier. But the goal is obviously to push for that dragon tier. And in the last episode, we worked on a lot of stats. We are currently 2,217 total. And the plan is to get as close to max level as possible. At this point, I don't know if I will reach it. I don't know if I won't. So that being said, let's just jump right into it. I will start off today by doing a little bit of smithing. There's still a bunch of tasks that I need to do in this area. And we're starting on 91. Yeah, let's take a look how much XP do we get for basically mainly rune stuff. 339,000. That is ridiculously good. I want to see if I do only rune bars, if it's any better. Also, I already have a colossal blade, but there is a task for me to have the smiths set on me as well. So I guess we might as well start buying this. So let's go ahead and start with a body then. Oh, it's a collection log pop-up as well. Nice. Okay, so let's see. I, I know this is... Probably not efficient, right? But I just want to see if there's a difference in XP. So we're going to throw all of them. Usually I put 9 rune bars and the rest adamant. Yeah, only 178k because the sword was like half of the quality. So definitely I'm just going to be using 9 rune bars and the rest adamant bars for sure. So it is time for us to buy the second pair of the smith's outfit. Let's get the gloves. Oh wait, this could be bad. Why the gloves? I need ice gloves. Hold up, apparently you can use this on this. Ah, there we go. Okay, good, good, good. Smith gloves imbued. Yeah, 303k for this one. And I need to start doing birdhouse runs in between these. 333k, that should be another level. There's level 93 smithing. We can now go shop. We have the gloves, we have the body. Never mind, I need to do one more. Another 330k. And this is handing in 25 completed swords. I do believe there's another task for 50. And there's another task for 100. So I do believe this might be basically what we do till 50 mil smithing. But if I quickly jump into the shop right now, again, we have the body, we have the gloves, we have the points. Let's get the trousers next. I look kind of sick, actually. Look at us. We look like a demon. All right, I'm gonna try to get the last slot, which is boots, and then we maybe change activity for a bit. And there's another 300k XP. If I step away, that should now be 94 smithing. 312k. Hand it in, 330k. Click shop. We have enough reputation. Let's go ahead and we got body, legs, gloves. Let's get boots. I hope this is a task. It definitely is a task. How many points are we talking? That is a 80 pointer. We're up to 44,300 points. I might as well do one more so we round it up to 95 for now. There it is. Enough smithing for now. That's the biggest XP drop. 364,000. There's level 95. We can now make rune battle axes. But really, we're gonna move on to something else. I'm still gonna commit to skilling. How about we get base 90s? And I finish this 280k agility XP. Base level 90 is completed, 90 agility also completed, and I can't really do art decors unfortunately, but I'm gonna do a few more laps right now, wait for my bird nests to grow, do a little bit of fire making at the same time, and uh, yeah, just keep skilling for the start of today. Here is 92 rune crafting, a little bit of rune crafting while I'm waiting for bird houses to grow. I was unlucky on a willow seed yet again. Here is 93 rune crafting. 
I don't know if I can get one more. Maybe I can get one more, maybe two more, we'll see. And there is 95 rune crafting. perfect. I'm almost out of rune essence. I could be doing Guardian of the Rift till 99, there's a bunch of points associated with that as well. But I'm probably gonna skill hop, do something else, maybe aim for base 95s. I mean, agility would be a little bit annoying to get, herb I can get easily by just getting a willow seed. Hunter should be very simple and uh, mining should be pretty simple. Farming would be a little bit annoying though. I guess that willow seed is not gonna show up by itself. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna do mole fire making. I need to get five fire making levels and there's a lot of running around, but once I do run into the mole, I can just fight it. And then when I need to chase the mole around, I just light logs and it should be easy enough. Apparently that's a task as well. Now the problem here is I literally am missing one task and all of these would be auto noted, but I guess I just have to note these myself. It shouldn't be that bad. It's just gonna be a little bit annoying. I'm just gonna do like 10 kills, then cash it in, hope for willow seed. 10 kills, cash it in, hope for willow seed and just keep doing that. Well, I got another willow seed. Let's hope this one doesn't die. I can't protect it, by the way, because I can't make a basket of apples. And I have two willow seeds, that's even better. There we go, just like that, I have completed the entirety of museum. And look at these lamps. I actually didn't realize how many you get. I don't know what to do with the excess fossils, but I'm very certain I've completed everything there is. And I have a ton extra, which I don't know why I cleaned all of those, but that is completely fine. Herbler, yeah, Herbler is the pick of our choice where we'll be putting all of these lamps. So start off with 56k, 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 56k. Oh, it's beautiful. 80k for that one. Another 80k. Another 80k. That's a level up. We're now 95 herb. Also, as soon as my willow is grown, we're gonna get even more lambs that we can put on herblor. So I don't think it's gonna be a problem getting to 99, I'm gonna be honest. But there it is, almost 96. What do I do next? I think I'm gonna do some hunter. I'm very close to 95. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Nice and easy, 95 Hunter. I'm trying to fire make whilst training this and it's honestly pretty decent, so I'm gonna stay here a little bit longer. Here's 95 fire making as well. There is 96 Hunter. I might push all the way to 99 right now, to be honest. Up to 97 Hunter, 96 fire making, and I'm getting about 2 million Hunter and 1.5 million fire making XP, just running around the island, doing herbivore and lighting my logs. If I got to 98, I might as well finish it up and get 99 as well. All this skilling, and I finally have a cat. I can now speak to my cat, and that's a task. For 10 points, by the way. I did not, I did not know that was 10 points. I thought it would be a little bit more. It takes like three hours to grow this thing. Anyways, Getting very close to the 99 Hunter, let's finish it off. Here it is, another 99 on the account. We now have 99 Hunter as well. There are some tasks about it, like catching a lucky impling, dragon impling, stuff like that that I haven't done. But if you were wondering how many herbivore you're supposed to catch from level 80 to 99, it's exactly 270. I did all of it through Herbie, simply because, well, Herbie is going to be hard for us to train. We ended up getting a nice amount of supplies, so I guess we could do something a little bit more active right now, even though I've been really into skilling lately. I have done way too much skilling lately, so I came back to Nex, maybe we get lucky. I'm going to do maybe a kill, two, three, we'll see, and then we'll continue trying to max. All right, little solo Nex, let's take a look what do we get. Some death runes. Okay, another solo next. We're gonna tactically die here. And we get some soul rune and uncut diamond. I will be returning to skilling. I think I'll do either agility or mining. I'll figure it out. And finally, after many failed attempts, here's a little basket. And that completes all of my diaries. So we've completed literally everything there is to do. Desert fully done. Falador fully done. Fremeni completed. Karamja done. Lumbridge and Draenor completed and Varrock completed every single diary is done. I'm gonna go ahead and claim all of the rewards, put them into Herblor and AFK mining for the rest of the night. The best part about getting all these diaries done is I can now kill like 300 mole and all stuff like that and it's actually gonna be fairly efficient. So, but first let's uh, use it on Herblor, 40,000, another one on Herblor, 120,000, this one should give us a level. There is level 96 herb, beautiful, and one more for 800,000. We're almost 97 herbler, which is really, really good. Here is 92 farming. 
Good morning! The push for max is very much real and after this 99 I will actually do a little bit of PvE and it's gonna be a PvE with skilling involved so it's gonna be interesting but there it is 99 mining also out of the way one of the most annoying ones I'd say and right now my goal is to kill mole obviously now we have elite Falador diary so it's gonna be easier and do fire making at the same time and after that I'll do mole and do fletching at the same time and that's gonna give us seeds to then do farming. So I'm really in the maxing mood at the moment. And I'm gonna keep going, we're not too far off. I really do hope this will work. There is a combat achievement on Giant Mall to kill it in 4 instances of damage. I am really hoping that my Undying Retribution works. There we go. Does it work? Ah, beautiful. Okay, so completing Giant Mall achievements will be easy. And there it is, that is 25 moles completed in a row. Right now I'm gonna push all the way to 100. There is a task to cash in 100 mole claws, uh, but also combat achievements, bosses and mole. This is now fully completed, beautiful. I mean, these tasks are very easy. The only hard one is to kill it in four instances of damage, which we easily cheesed. There is 98 fire making. I do need to kill 48 more moles. I'm hoping that's gonna be enough to finish all the way to 99. Uh, the best part about this place is I'm getting constant resupply of U logs, so I can actually just burn those down right now. And with this small kill, we should now have 100 mole claws. We can now cash this in and hopefully get some good seeds so we can train our farming. The relic regret of the farming relic, man, it's so hard to train these skills without the farming relic, I swear, but we're not that far off. So let's see how many seeds we get. Okay, that worked. That's 40 points for cashing in 100, and we'll go to the bank and open these, and please, I need spirit seeds, I need magic seeds. Wait, mole might be OP, by the way. Like, what is this, 250 seeds? How many did we get in total? 256 bird's nests. I think that is a lot, not gonna lie. Okay, I can't note this, so we're just gonna grab 10, open 10, see the kind of seeds we get, and move on. Mahogany, amazing. Yeah, this is gonna take me a bit of time. I'm not gonna show everything, but I'll keep all the good seeds, I'll put them here, and in the end, we'll see how many good ones we got. Obtain a magic seed from a bird's nest is also a task. So, so far, we are actually getting very decent seeds. Nine mahoganies, two use, four teaks, two maples, calquats, two of those, one spirit and one magic. I'm really hoping to get one more spirit seed. That's a task that I would love to complete, but those are very rare. Alongside magic seeds, those are like really hard to get, but uh, all of that is actually very decent XP. We will make sure to put all of this into saplings and start planting them immediately after we open all of this. That was very much worth it. Three spirit seeds, one magic seeds, three calquats, a couple of maples, six ticks, 11 mahoganics, and two yews. Don't know if that's gonna be enough for 99, but it's gonna help help us on the way tremendously. This is one of the things I wanted to do on the account for a while. Here's Spirit Tree and Fairy Ring. It's also gonna be a point task, 200 for that. We're now on 45,000 without really focusing on points today at all, which is really good. And now I also have two Spirit Seeds that I can plant and I basically hope that one of them does not die. So one of them is gonna go in Bremhaven and one of them is gonna go on Ecteria and we just hope one of them survives basically. How nice would it be to have a farmer's relic right about now, but there's 94 farming and I'm literally doing farm runs every chance I get. I'm currently in the process of using all of my ingredients that I can to see how close to 99 herb I can actually get. And here is 97, two more levels to go. 98 was very doable with the supplies we had. Maybe I can push all the way to 99. We had to drop all the way down to Guam's, but there it is. Arguably the hardest 99 with my relics, but I used all of the lamps from all of the diaries on this skill. And I'm happy I did because I do not have enough supplies to finish it otherwise. So there's 99 herb and looking at the stats, man, the maxing seems really doable. Fire making super close, fletching super close, smithing, I'm th I think I'm gonna leave runecrafting agility till the very end. Let's get a few more 99s. There is 98 fletching, one more level to go, and fire making is almost done, we are getting there. And there is 99 fire making as well, next one on the list will be fletching. And just like that, 99 fletching, I had to dig into some of my logs in order to finish this one off. And all of a sudden, if you take a look into our stats, we are not that far away from being maxed. I mean, runecrafting is gonna be a bit annoying because I'm out of essence, so I might need to do it the slow way. Agility is literally just clicking agility for a while. 
and farming is a bit frustrating. However, smithing I see here on the list and I think this is going to be the next one I'll be working towards and at the same time I'll be doing farming whenever possible. <laughs> I believe this is going to be my method to finish my smithing since I have no other ore anymore. So I'm just making steel bars and uh, I'll do this all the way. Uh, it's still decent XP, like 3 mil an hour is uh, not too bad at all. Here is 98 smithing. I'm making all of the bars into plate bodies, which I will later on alk for, well, money. And uh, yeah, one more level to go. And just like that, almost if I calculated it, well, I didn't. Uh, there is 99 smithing as well. We are very close to max really uh, but i do believe now it is time for me to park myself on top of the agility rooftops and uh, hate my life for a few hours and uh, just knock this agility out i genuinely think i'm just gonna go watch tv and do this on a laptop but before i go i might do a quick farm run as well there is 95 farming and I'm planting absolutely everything possible for my regions because this is gonna be a little bit annoying to get to 99. Here is 96 farming and I also started to do regular farm runs every single hour so I think I'll be able to get to 99. I didn't realize how big of a point task this is but there's 95 agility and that's a big one. We got 400 points for this. That's huge. I am slow at these levels are far between each other man. My, my relic choices right now. The little trickster seems very tempting. The farming relic seems, oof, all so great right now. Pushing through it, I'll get maxed, but god damn it's bit slow, man. There is 96. Three more levels to go, slowly losing my sanity. It is a brand new day, and every single hour for the last too many hours, I've been coming here to this Falador patch, planting water balance and picking them up and we're now on 98 farming 98 agility literally doing the final push and uh, we're almost done i can see the finish line it's doable it's definitely doable and these watermelons man they're slept they're slept on how good they are i'm getting 1k xp per watermelon we're slowly making our way to 99 791 laps later dude there it is man this one was Yo, I spent the whole of yesterday what it feels like running these damn laps, but there is 99 agility and obviously we have two skills left. Farming is passive, nothing I can do about it. I do my little herb patches every hour and that's all we can do. But room crafting, we can do a little bit of cooking. So I could do the mini game or I could do soul wars and hope I get essence. I don't know which way I'd go, but dude, I'm just happy to have agility out of the way. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, so what I'm gonna do right now, let's just say I've been working on a certain something here on the Mika V3, but I can do Soul Wars just 1v1ing myself basically, and we'll open five at a time, hope I get essence, and hopefully this doesn't take too long. Come on game, give me essence. Oh, ten <gasps> another pet, there's no way. Third pet this league, by the way. Little creator, that's crazy, and 10,000 essence on top of that. Now that's crazy by the way, that's crazy. We got Nex, we got the TOA pet, and now we got the little creator on top of that. That's crazy. Wait, I'm gonna chuck him in the house. There is absolutely no way that just happened. Okay, we open this as well to see if we get more essence. We don't, but that is so crazy. We actually got a pet, man. He is so cool. I think it's one of the coolest pets. It's not that hard to get, but it looks so sick. Here we go, we let him roam for a few months right here with his other pets. There's the creator, there's Nextling, and there's the TOA pad. Oh, they look so sick. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna use this essence right now, see how much we get. I really should make this into a tiara as well. So I know for a fact I don't have enough essence right now, but this is going to be my best method. In order for me to reach 99, I get most XP making Lorunes, I think. Once you have the essence, and if you don't want your fingers to fall off, the XP per hour is actually kind of crazy. I'm uh, averaging 22 mil an hour, so yeah, if I have enough essence, 99 rune crafting is very easy. I got up to pretty much 97 rune crafting with the last essence batch. Yes, 11,000 more. Let's go do some more. Here is 97, two more levels to go. I'm seeing the light, I'm seeing the finish line, it's so close. There is 98 and uh, I don't have enough essence, but I'm nearly there. We now have 
everything but rune crafting completed and i didn't do more soul wars i just went and mined 5000 i just afk i'm gonna be honest so we got the essence let's finish off the last 99 and then claim the best cape in the game and there it is 99 rune crafting max total 400 points for that one we're up to 47,000. And there is a uh, reaching level a 99 rune crafting for bonus points as well. This is sick. I'm so excited. And the best part about this, the fact that we are maxed is also the fact that we have Asgarnia. So we have everything we need in order to get a max cape. So let's go ahead and uh, let, 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 let's do a little max cape situation real quick. Here we go. Two full days of skilling and focusing on finishing all these 99s with arguably not ideal relics. We are now finally here in front of Mr. Mac and I'm gonna buy two Max capes one is for the flex one is for the utility so if I ask him what he has in the sack we should be able to buy the cape for a pretty expensive price of 2,277,000 gold and we'll buy it twice so we're gonna be pretty broke but I do believe this moment on any of the accounts and I have maxed every single league that I've played so far this, I feel like, is the coolest moment. When you have the max cape, you finished all the skills, and now all we can focus on is points. And not gonna lie, my points are pretty decent. I mean, we are at the point where we are almost in dragon tier, and I haven't really been straight up focusing points at all. So maybe in the next following episodes, I might try to really grind out points and go maybe for some leaderboard positions. We'll see. But before we do that, let's buy one more cape. Actually, before I do that, let's just see if the game allows me to use my Mazori Assembler on the Max Cape. This is the first time, by the way, I have ever had a Mazori Assembler Max Cape. I don't even have this on my main account. This is sick, but man, these Arma Chain Skirts are ruining it for me. So I guess the next goal on the account, we need to get Mazori Chaps. Now that we're maxed, I really have no excuse not to grind out the next. So let's go ahead and uh, hopefully pull a horn. But honestly, I'd be okay with Torva pieces as well. All right, here we go. A little solo next situation. Can we get lucky? Not on the first kill. We are 139 and for the last like 50 kills in a row, I've probably done all of them solo. Even more, I'd say. But I'm motivated now. I'm motivated. I'm maxed. Got nothing else to do. I think we're gonna get it. Here we go. Not there solo next come on i need an item like it's time man it's really time i get something bro ay 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 eight minute kills right now not the fastest but we keep it coming kc number three of the day let's take a look Ooh, 93 nihil shards that's actually really good i do have enough for the horn already but i need to make some potions out of some of these so i do think this is going to be the right amount right now I'm currently in the mood to grind out some point task and I'm starting with beginner clue scrolls. It's a bit random, but I need three uniques. So we open, if it's not uniques, we move on. And we just hope to see a pop-up. And this is nice because we're also getting uh, easy caskets out of this. And I think I'm gonna do like 10 to 15 at a time is what I'm thinking right now. That's beautiful. I think I'm missing two now, shoulder part out obtained. Very good. And another shoulder padded there, and another shoulder padded there, alright. Lots on the floor. I know for a fact I'm missing a lot of points when it comes to easy clue scrolls. So there is 40 points for free. Okay, nothing too crazy from that. I didn't think this would happen, but with that easy clue scroll, I actually complete my first page. Looking at this, I have a full Sara page basically ready to be completed. I just need to figure out how to do this thing, but that is really decent, by the way. Okay, we got the Sara page. We chuck all of our pages in this. And just like that, Godbook for 200 points. We're now up to 47, almost 48,000 points. Sick. We got a few more. Let's uh, see how it goes. Probably just, oh, aha, 35 unique items. Okay, so this one's now over and all we need is now two completely brand new uniques and I'm missing two different uh, feet, basically. The demon feet and the frog feet. Oh, and now we are only missing demon feet, which is actually really good. Uh, but missing one item can be sketchy, not gonna lie. I've been thinking, yeah. Since I have like 1,800 beginner clues in my bank, could I just do this? 
check if it's the right one and just keep dropping them. I wonder how many. I I'm okay wasting a few of these. Or I might take the Varok one. Like somewhere, like maybe I just do all the Varok steps because Varok center, right? If I just analyze it. We got Apothecary, we got this shop, this shop and the guy down here. So maybe if I just do only Varok steps, only these four steps, that could be a really fast and like super fast way to get these beginners done. That's what I'm thinking right now. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm doing beginners. So this one I wouldn't do because it's a run, right? So this one I would definitely do. So that that's the idea I have. Everything is a one stepper, right? So Gertrude... She's pretty close, but like, you know, we can milk it a bit. Grand exchange, you know what I mean? I don't know if this is worth it though, I'm gonna be honest. Okay, this one is literally right here. Okay, I need to figure out which ones would be worth doing, but this could actually be generally a useful uh, way to get these clues done. Okay, let's take a look if we get lucky on this one. So we're just looking for that pop-up. I don't know if I can get easy caskets. Uh, I don't want to like clog the inventory where I cannot roll an easy clue, if that makes sense. Shoulder parrot, nope, nope. Oh my god, we're done. We're literally done. I do believe this should be all the points, right? Fill every beginner clue collection slot. So all of these here for the boys. There, completely useless, didn't get a single casket, I don't think so. I do believe you need to have space in your inventory to get upgraded clue scrolls. Regardless, we've completed beginners, and how many do I have left over? Just a measly 1.2k. Alright, well, let's move on to something else, I guess. Today, I learned that you can store multiple. I thought the one was the limit, I could store unlimited stuff in here? What? Dude, I did not know, I dropped all of them, but it would be kinda cool to throw them all in the bank next time. Damn, I had no idea. I ended up spending a lot of time organizing my bank because I didn't know I can just do this. Like, this is, this saves me so much space, by the way. Like, this is, this is solid. Uh, so now, it's gonna be just a dance between clue scrolls, necks, and TOA. Uh, because, well, those are my top priorities at the moment. But I think it's kind of late. I'm kind of vibing. I think I'll do a few more clue scrolls. Okay, this would for sure work. I need to steal pickaxe from these two clues. That is not it. That is not it, but I'm getting a lot of pop-ups probably. And that is not it either. However, I have completed 350 collection log slots for 200 points. And this is where all these easy clues come in really handy because I get collection log slot pop-ups all the time because I've basically done almost no easy clue scrolls. I noticed I had seven giant keys and on this account I never even killed Obor. So I'm gonna do all the combat achievements very quickly and see how many of them I can do at once. And then we open the clue scrolls and then I'm actually gonna do something more interesting. Most likely back to next because I really wanna get a crossbow. Uh, but we'll Oh my god, I kill it so fast. I need to entangle it first. Alright, well, this is gonna be quick. Okay, and just, just like that, we've actually done everything already. All I need is 5kc. Let's go out and in, out and in, and maybe I can land on a hill giants club, which is also a pointer. That is all the Obor tasks completed. Now we just need the hill giant club from here, which is, I think, a little bit rare. Quickly opening these easy caskets. Two uniques. Probably one unique. One unique, two uniques actually. And as you guys noticed earlier, I am always trying to have inventory space to make sure I guarantee a chance of getting, well, more loot. Which makes this a little bit annoying, not gonna lie, but still got two more. One, two, three, four uniques. This is phenomenal. And we also filled 20 easy clue collection log slots. One is to fill 50, which gives 200 points. This one is an 80 pointer, which seems extremely easy to get. And again, one, two, three uniques in that one. And again, one, two. Dude, easies seem to be the way to go uh, for all of these collection log slots. Very solid, honestly, not gonna lie. So we're gonna throw all of these into our bank. Oh, and I have one more. Let's try another one. Flare trousers and black skirt tee. So that took no time at all. I gained 35 unique items as well. And my points almost skyrocketed to 48.6. That is really decent. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Good morning. We got ourselves 10 elite caskets right now. There's quite a lot of tasks by filling up the elite collection log slots as well. And then after this, I do believe it is enough of clue scrolls in order for us to do a little bit more next, most likely. But let's begin. 
start off with the light infinity color kit and there it is this is the one i was talking about i didn't know i was this close 25 elite uh, unique items and that was 200 points for free we got a master clue in that one i'll try to complete that two uniques here which is pretty solid another musketeer head that's pretty good as well so again for these ones i need to be careful to have inventory space because if i have the inventory space then i can actually pull master caskets so we're gonna throw all of the uniques in this right here and we still have seven more so let's take a look any uniques here maybe arma page never mind you see this field 10 elite clue collection log slots also an 80 pointer no uniques here though elites are so bad even in leagues deer stalker is another unique one we'll take it and uh, sara page 3 i don't think is unique adaman dragon mask that's new i mean anything that's new will take of course but like these loots are so bad by the way from elites what i'm really hoping for is the elite to upgrade into a master but it's not really happening uh this one is just straight up nothing magic seed i guess but we're already 99 farming pendos page is not new unfortunately a uh, dragon full helm ornament kit apparently already had that that's crazy by the way okay we got two more let's see if we get something musketeer pants we'll take it palm tree seed not too bad and last one we take another dragon square shield ornament kit we did pull quite a lot of new items though so it wasn't the worst the loot was really bad it always is i might uh, try and see if i can complete this master and if i can i'll do it and if i can't i will figure it out and here we go we finished the master casket which was very easy actually let's take a look what we get i see a lot of things Samurai, Boots of Darkness, Bullwig, I guess three uniques. I mean, we'll take it. Some collection log slots pop up. No points necessarily, but that's all right. I think I'm in the mood for a couple of next skills, maybe like three solos, something like that. There we go, back on solo next. This place burns me out quite quickly, so uh, we get some potions, some rubies. Let's do a few more kills. <laughs> 609 Dragon Bolts. Alright, that's a good drop. That's a good drop. I guess I can do one more. If you guys do not know, by the way, I have 143 KC. Most of these are solos. Solos usually take 7-8 minutes. So, you don't get many of these an hour. And this place has been burning me down completely. Because I'm really here after one item. I just want Nihil Horn. And going this many hours without anything can be... Let's just call it uh, slightly demotivating, right? Slightly demotivating, but uh, let's do a few more kills and then move on to something else. A lot of runite ores, which is actually not bad if I want to go for some more giants foundry and more smithing XP. Air orbs, and we're on 145kc already. Some air orbs, prayer potions. We got a fire rune. We got some rubies. More diamonds, some restores, some brews. Ladies, gentlemen, it's pretty late, so I have to keep it low. But we have 10 more elite caskets. So lots of good stuff could happen from this. Honorable blessing. One more elite. Okay, I need to be careful because, again, I need to not exceed my inventory limit here. Okay, master scroll book. And that is it. 25 elite clue scrolls. Wait, no, that's 80. I need 25 unique rewards i think okay we still have six more light tuxedo shoes and fury ornament kit hold up that is sick that's not a unique master casket okay i missed master clue scroll i mean uh dragon cane another unique not bad and we still have two more nothing in this one and lava dragon mask another unique okay how many clue scroll uniques do i even have 21 okay so we are trying to get this up to 25 then we get a bunch of points I quickly finish this master. Let's see. A bit disappointed, but we'll take it. I was gonna stack up some medium clues, but I got invited to TOA, and I cannot pass on the TOA fun, so let's take a look. Get a couple of uniques from the first medium, and... Ooh, Climbing Boots G on the second medium with red headband. Not too bad. We'll take the collection lock slots. Let's get up for TOA and hopefully get some Mazori chaps. Uh, apparently, in that, I also completed the fill 40 medium clue collection log slots. And that gave me 200 points, meaning we are now super close to 50,000 points. Can I hit, please? Holy fuck. <laughs> All right, let's see who gets a purple, man. That was that was crazy. There is a purple. I hope it's mine. I really hope it's not mine, is it? Yeah, I don't think it's mine. <laughs> it's not mine. Oh. I do get. The oh, it's huge. I got lilies. Honestly, I don't mind it. 
Three magic seeds, lilies, and dark tips. That's like perfect. He got a fang. I need a fang, but I'm not gonna complain with that. That's decent for me. <laughs> I've been doing just about anything in order to procrastinate the next and TOA grind, but here's six elite caskets, and also I've done the whole day of fishing. Uh, but let's take a look, let's see what do we get. We start off with mostly harmless teleports, alright, nothing too crazy. Moving on to a master clue that's huge, light infinity color kit, it's not a unique. I'm really hoping to get like three more uniques, that will give me 200 points. Uh, but so far, we got the wrong pool there. This is something I'm gonna be interesting into completing though, uh, but let's see. Another master, but nothing there. Ah, there we go, that's pretty good. Black Dehyde Chaps Golden. That uh, should be very close to some points. And Yuri's hat was also unique, that's really solid. We got three more. Start off with, okay, we're getting masters like crazy. It's pretty good. And Ancient Pages are unique as well. And we got Ranger Ties also. That will definitely be a unique, and that's actually a kind of cool item. Oh, and we did it. Uh, just wait for the pop-up, but it uh, looks like we filled 25 Elite Clue Scrolls, so I really don't have a reason to do more at the moment. I'll definitely do more in the future, but these tend to be quite bad. But there it is, that's the 200 points that I was going for, and that basically brings us super close to 50,000 points. Uh, but we open the last one, we get just about nothing. I might go ahead and complete these Master Clue Scrolls if I can. Wait a second, never mind, I used my bandos plate body and made torva and i don't have a cloak but do i just drop it or wait i maybe have cloak in my house hold up we, i need to figure out if i can do this i think godsword i can i do have a bandos godsword though but i don't do i go <laughs> do i go back to bandos surely not right there we go i'm back on the next grind let's take a look and uh, see if we can get maybe lucky today I'm probably only gonna do like 3 or 4 kills at a time. Start off with 90 Nihil Shards again. Pretty huge. We are on 148kc. Not bad at all. Oh my god, back to back Nihil Shards. I'm getting so many of these now. Little bit of uh, late night AFK going on right now. And give it one more. And there it is, the big 50 million. We only get 200 points. I really feel like there should be a milestone for at least like 100 and 200 mil. But anyways, almost 50k points. We take that. Now my next AFK method might actually be AFK mining rune essence. I don't ever need to move. It's completely AFK or stars. We'll see. But uh, I got some options. Or woodcutting. Maybe I'll do some woodcutting right now. I can't really do next right now. So I'm just AFKing. All right, it is morning. Let's take a look if we get something. More air orbs. We killed next 150 times. And yeah, not too much to show for it. I mean, we got Van Braces and we got a Torva body and we got the Ancient God Sword so far. And most of these have been solos. I am a little bit disappointed over my next luck, not gonna lie. But uh, I'm gonna do maybe a kill or two more and then I'm gonna go and do some simple tasks that I've been neglecting. And we get uh, Restores and Brews, not the best. Okay, here we go, another Nex. Come on, please. I am so depressed. No way I got the third Torva Plate Body. 152, easily 100 plus solos, and I get three Torva Bodies. Like, I, this is all I have to show for it. I guess Zarite Vambris, and I mean, Ancient Hilt is good. This is the rarest drop you can get. Okay, let's see if we can get back to back. Please, game, like, come on. No, we don't. All right. Am I tilted? Yes. Can I do one more? Sure, fuck it. Let's do one more. Coal and cannonballs. Some death runes, some prayer potions. All right, that's enough of next. For now, I'm gonna go do some simple tasks that are very mind-numbing, simply because, well, I don't want to actively play at the moment. So let's get some of those done. I believe this is all I needed from the regular Daganovs. I'm just gonna do these simple tasks right now because I am kind of in the mood. Okay, so I think if I equip this, this and that, that's equipping full spin the armor set. I, I hope I can throw this in the house. I don't want to alk it. I don't know if it's used for any clue scrolls or anything like that. So just want to throw it somewhere and move on to the skeletal, for example. It appears you can throw it in the house in the armor case. I don't know what it is, but hey, there it is. Spin the armor goes nicely in here. I believe with this cool piece, we have everything we need to create the second set. Shout out to Wallasaskis over here. But after this, it's only one left. For the skeletal set, you are supposed to talk to Pierre Desir, 
We want a helmet. I think I need this as well. We want some legs and let's equip everything. And that's another 80. Looking at my points, we're over 50,000 right now. This looks really good. We need 56k for dragon rank and I still didn't do the inferno and I still didn't do the challenges, which are all very easy points, which we will do at some point when I feel like I need an inferno cape. So far, I haven't really needed it. We're going to throw all of this into our house and work on the last set. Yo, Loki on the down low. I hate to be that guy, but I'm 250 kills of these goddamn rock crabs. The drop rate is 1 in 60. Can I just get my gloves and dip or what? Like, that's basically all I need. It's the last drop. I'm not leaving this place till I get the gloves. But like, this is literally the worst place. You can't even AFK it because these dumbass crabs just started running away. It's so annoying, but anyways, I'm gonna stay here, get those gloves, even though I'm like seven times the drop rate right now to get them. And I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do next. We'll figure it out, I guess. Oh, finally, there we go. 322 kill count was needed to obtain the gloves. Let's make it into an armor. All right, and for this one, I believe I need to speak to Mr. School Grimman over here to talk about the rock crab armor. Uh, let's take a look. We need a helmet. Yeah, that's a helmet and we also need to speak to him about a body I guess and just like that we have now equipped every single set of armor that was what 240 points in total We're up to 50 point. I mean 50,150 points pretty solid uh, I'll put this in the house and I don't think I'll need Dagonoth hide anymore, but that's pretty nice uh, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do next ever since I finished my 99 farming grind I actually forgot completely about farming, but here's my spirit tree that is now fully grown for 308,000 XP and if we travel with this to the house, I do certainly hope that that's a task that will work Maybe I need to go from this one this one to here Yeah, just like that 200 extra points on top of that beautiful this is us defeating a rune animated whatever this is for 40. I'm just in the mood to complete some simple tasks that I've been like not doing basically. Here is a task that slipped through my fingers. Yeah, I believe if I take all of these out and I wear it, there we go. That's just 80 points that I just, let's just say I forgot about it, yeah? That is us making 20 red berry pies for some easy points and I need to make 100 pies in total so might as well do that. The only problem about this task is I need to do everything manually and it's a bit annoying, not gonna lie. I have to use like pot of flour or buckets of water, make these, then I need to pick up wheat, make it into pot of flour. It's a bit annoying but it's, it's some simple tasks that uh, I might as well finish. And that is cooking 100 pies for 80 points as well and that's making pineapple pizza for 40. So I believe if I just wait a little bit for my vines to ferment, I should be getting a bit of an XP drop, but also, wow, that's 350,000. That is actually a lot. But most importantly, we get this task done to ferment 100 vines. And if this was that much XP, that was super fast. That's crazy. All right. I mean, I also have a lot of Karam ones if I really wanted to go for 50 mil cooking, which I guess I will at some point. And that's using something exotic on a dog. Thank you. 80 points. I don't think I need this anymore. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna attempt to see if I can do further challenges. Obviously, I've never done this past uh, three. I think I've done four, but I've never done... Yeah, I haven't done five, I haven't done six. And obviously, I haven't done the hard challenge. So, I'll attempt it. I don't know if I'm good enough to do it. I don't know if my relics are very good. I mean, I have sustain and the uh, revive one. But uh, let, let's see if I can pull this off. Seems doable, because I don't need to actually kill the healers in order to kill them. So when I just uh, DPS and it works, then it's no problem. I mean, that was five. If I can do five, I think I can do six. The most important thing, I don't actually need to hit the healers. It takes a little bit longer. Like right here, obviously, it's one jet, right? I could just hit the healers. But I want to see how consistently I can just pump damage through and not need to worry about healers. And it seems that it's doable. But like right now, for example, it's much worse than it was before. And there we go. So I did five jets. I'm going to attempt six jets as well. But I need to AFK right now for a little bit. But I'll be back at this place. I didn't expect that I can do five in just one attempt. And obviously that is 200 points for free. Nice. And I'm now up to 25 million woodcutting XP. I think I'm gonna go and try to do the six jets now. Oh, shit. Okay, well, another life. 
I died with two left because I'm playing on 400 ping and I can't fuck. I'm so. It's so easy, by the way. I can do this, no problem. But like, I'm on world 400, which is the most laggy world I could ever be on. I forgot to swap. I made it all the way till the end and then I fucked up. ICBA. Yeah, I don't know. Fuck me. Okay. <laughs> uh, right. Shit, it's not going very well. Bro, I did better on ping than I'm doing off ping. What's going on? But what? But is it just me or do they use it at the same time? What? I'm so confused. Jesus Christ. So I'm gonna try doing it once on a regular spellbook because I take less damage if I miss uh, on this spellbook is what I'm thinking. So we're just gonna try, see if it's any better. Jesus, I'm so shit. Okay, this will be harder than I thought. Sadness. All right, that was uh, enough of that. I will return to this place, but right now I'm too tilted, I think, because I don't know. I know I can do it, but I'm not doing it. We'll come back to this place. Let's do a little bit of next. I think what I want to do for this video, despite the tilt that I'm currently experiencing, is get one more drop from next. Whatever it is, I just want to get one more drop, and then I think it's about time we pause the video, but hopefully... It's gonna be a unique from Nex. All right, there we go. We are back on Nex. Oh, wait. Okay, oh my God. <laughs> okay, okay, never, I'm trolling. Uh, 69 wines of Zami and some prayer pots. All right, not the best. You know what? I'm at the point where I don't even mind doing Nex anymore. It's just kind of, I'm pretty burned. Like, I'm not gonna lie, 157 KC, but, but we'll keep going. We'll keep going. At some point, it's gonna drop. Might be the end of the leagues, but well, hey, at some point we'll get something, right? I'm sure. I absolutely hate this game, bro. Three Zarad Vembraces and three Torva Bodies is what we have to show for in these leagues in 158 KC, mostly solos. A little bit of cooking later, and we're now on 35 million. That's 200 extra points. That means we are on 513 K points at the moment, we're about 5k away from the dragon tier. I think it would be achievable in this episode if I just get my ass into the inferno and quickly do it. I don't know why I've been procrastinating doing the inferno. I feel like I just don't need the cave, therefore I don't want to go inside, but uh, I feel like I need to do it in this episode. I might go all the way to 50 right now. I'm kind of in the mood to just do a bit of clicking. I'm going to do a little bit of pest control skilling, meaning I'm going to try and get my attack to 50 mil, strength to 50 mil, defense to 50 mil, range to never mind, prayer to 50 mil maybe magic to 50 mil as well obviously not gonna do all of it in one go but i'm gonna get through all my gems then i'm gonna go get through all my fletching and just afk and do it all inside pest control that's basically the idea we'll see how long i do it for all right so i did about half an hour of pest control over here and what i wonder is if this is better than soul war so i got about 1200 points i had 200 already there and i want to see how much we get so we start on 13.2 million i'll just write it down before i forget i'm just gonna put everything in attack i want to get 50 million in all of these skills so this is gonna be one mil that is 15 mil. I'm trying to do calculations in my mind as to how much... Wait, if I get about a million and I had 14... Will I just get 14 mil XP for half an hour? So is this place like 28 mil XP an hour? I think that might be the case, you know? So let's go... Let's put it all the way up to 25 mil right now. Okay, I mean, I think I'll do this all the way to max stats. The best part about this in comparison to Soul Wars is the fact that I can multi-skill at the same time. Here's 200 extra points. I'll do this a little bit longer. I think I'll do it for like about an hour more. Get this up to at least 30, 35 mil. And as I said, I can make gems throughout the whole part and multi-skill. I can do fletching, I can do crafting, I can do so many things. So this is definitely gonna be my go-to to get a bunch of free points, to get a bunch of 50 mils in combat. This place is great. We got a thousand more points. Let's quickly use them all on the attack. 
trying to get up to 35 million and one more should do it there it is 35 million 200 extra points and i think i will push it all the way to 50 million right now i ended up crafting all of my gems we're up to 14.6 million crafting xp and right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna grab all of my magic logs which i have zero of all of my new logs which i don't have that much of and i'm gonna start training fletching whilst also getting these points so let's keep this going a little bit more pest controlling later. We got a lot of points right now, 2.5k. Let's take a look where this gets us. And there it is, big 50 million attack. We never need to touch attack again in these leagues. But I still have a bunch of points. I guess the next one, probably just gonna go defense and see how far we can go in that. And there we go, one more in defense and that is 25 million defense XP as well. Up to 52,000 points, almost at the dragon tier. I think I'm gonna stay here for a bit longer. It's pretty late at night right now. I'm just kind of vibing, getting my fletching going. It's a pretty chill place. All right, so super late night gaming. I thought I could stack more points, but 4,000 is the actual limit. So because of the limit, let's go ahead and use it all on the defense right now. And that is 50 million defense XP as well. Uh, I guess we just move on to strength next and that is 25 million strength XP. So if we look into this quickly, attack fully completed, defense fully completed, I'm gonna go ahead and finish strength, I'm gonna go ahead and finish magic, but I will leave prayer because I have a bunch of bones that I'm gonna get throughout just playing this league. I just farmed 3500 points more, up to 15 million fletching XP and let's go ahead and completely finish our strength training as well. That should be 35 million for 200 points. And we should easily reach 50 million as well. Okay, and we're just gonna do a couple of tens to finish it off. There we go. So that's gonna be 50 mil attack, strength, defense, HP, ranged. All of that is now achieved. And since I went a little bit extra, uh, let's put everything else that we have over here on the magic. And maybe I get up to 25 mil here as well. I think I should be able to. Okay, this one should do it right here. And that is 25 million magic XP as well. If I get 2,500 more points, I can finish 50 mil magic as well. And we're up to 53,400 points. Since I have a lot of fletching to still do, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get 2,500 more points. And then all of our combat skills are gonna be completely finished for this league. All right, and I farmed myself 2,500 more points. It is time to chuck everything into magic. We're on 25 mil right now. I think I can get it all the way to 50. That's gonna be 35 million, that's 200 points. And I'll be a little bit short. There we go, but I do think this will just naturally come as we are doing like PVM with Shadow, whatever it is, maybe some Alks here and there. And I think getting this 2 million XP should be no problem whatsoever. Alright, I am back at solo next, still hunting for my Nihil Horn and Torva pieces and first drop is Uncut the Diamonds, uh, some Death Runes and Coal, KC160. And we get a bunch of Onyx Bolts, which is actually not too bad, it's either a mill or I can use it to sustain, so that's fine. And I get 111k, I didn't even know you can get coins from here. And we get Rubies and Water Runes. Okay, here's another next and I think this is gonna be the last one for a little bit. Wait, this is it! This is it! I got it! I actually got it! No way! No way, no way, no way, no way, no way! On the last kill I get it. I actually just got it. This is it! This is the item we've been hunting for! This is what's been stopping me from doing everything that I wanted to do in this league. This is insane! I am so happy! It took us 163 kills, mainly solos. Every solo takes about 8 minutes. If you guys are good at calculations, you can calculate how long it took us to get this drop. Oh my goodness. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. I have no clue how this works, but I have an ACB, I have the Nihil Horn, and I definitely have enough shards. How do I make this thing? Wait, first let's just check the stats. Yeah, I'm not gonna remember this, but this is the stats before. Create a Zarite crossbow. Oh, it's beautiful. This is absolutely gorgeous, look at it. Anyways, these are the stats after, I don't know how big of an increase it is, but I know it's a massive increase in strength, and this is perfect. We are literally missing 
one item from full beast that is Mazori chaps it's not that important of an item so I can go ahead and do most of the PVM stuff that I wanted to do that I've been procrastinating on and then I worry about Mazori chaps whenever I can do some duos the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 300 Leviathan. If we quickly take a look, there's tasks for defeating Leviathan 150 times, 300 times, but also Awakened Leviathan. And what he drops is also Verdus pieces, which are best in slot mage pieces for me, for my regions. So this boss is good to farm. Let's see if we can get lucky. Oh, and we already have the ring, so Virtus and Axe pieces is all we are looking for. So this is the biggest increase. You see how my specs now deal 110 damage instead of 100? That is a massive difference. And this should be super relaxing, super easy. And the first drop is already very good. 225 Dragon Bolts is one of the best drops you can get here. So this is gonna be fun. We're starting on KC 79. But let's push this KC up to 300 or as close to it as possible. Here's 100 KC, and I actually know what I want to do right now. I want to go attempt 6 Jad challenge now that I have the better weapon, and I want to see how it goes. Maybe I can do it, maybe I'm not as burnt, and then I can always come back here. I think I'll do it in successions of like 50 kills, then do something else, then do 50 kills, and so on. Come on, two Jads left. Okay, one Jad left. No way I'm actually doing this. Oh my god, there we go. There's no way. I just came back, few failed attempts. Maybe the Zerite crossbow was the difference. And there it is, the 6th Jad challenge is actually done. I genuinely never thought I'd be able to do this, I'm gonna be honest. But I did it, and I don't even think I died. Oh no, I think I used my Relic of Death once. But still, we cheesed it a little bit, but we had it done, and that's 200 points I thought I would never get. We are almost at 54,000, meaning we are so close to Dragon Rank, and I think as soon as I come back from the store, I'm sending it in Inferno, and that should be a ton more points as well. But in the meantime, I'm gonna grab out the ice gloves and do a little bit of thieving because I'm still missing a diamond from Tazar. That is huge, that's really nice and I do believe there's also more tasks. So if I were to look into challenges, uh, yeah, Tazar challenges, I will slowly look into completing those as well. So one is uh, five and six without failing. That one I think I can do if I like really focus. Oh, different attack style for each Jad. And you have like a lot of different options, but uh, I think most of these I can probably do. Uh, but that is going to be for a later date. I'm pretty excited, man. Today is a good day. Zarat crossbow into six Jads, and now we keep it going. <laughs> Didn't catch it, but there's a pickpocket, a diamond from Tazar that gave us 200 more points, and we are now on 54.1. I guess it is time to go into the Inferno. It's been a minute, but with our relics, I think we should be fine. Okay, we made it through the waves, pretty much no problems. Let's see how fast we can do this. It took me 40 minutes to go through the waves. It's crazy when you do 6 jets how easy the normal jets are then. Like, it's so insane. It's like it's in a slow motion. Okay, let's go straight into Zuck. No pre-planning. I don't really know uh, what to pre-plan for. All right, and there we go. Easiest Zuck of my life. Just like that. We probably get a bunch of tasks here uh, from 54,000 points to... I don't know. There's going to be like a lot of Grandmasters and stuff. I guess it's to equip one. That's going to probably be a point as well. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Infernal Cape. Uh, legit with my relics completely easy i don't know like i got a bunch of stuff obviously i will do 5kc in the future uh so we see how it goes but uh, yeah happy to have this done as well i for some reason always hate inferno i know i can do it i've done it so many times like even in the main game but still there is a part of me that really hates this place because when i was going for my very first infernal cape i needed so long and i completely burned from the game but anyways we got it it's simple we got 400 points for it we're up to 54,000. 590 so close to the dragon tier let's start pushing for it well now that this has been a very pvm heavy day it is time to go on and start pushing for some points i already gained like thousand regs in this episode alone but i want to get dragon tier of course and i want to go further beyond the dragon tier so let's go ahead and get a rogues outfit first that didn't take too long we got the mask top 
trousers, boots, gloves, bam, that should be an 80 pointer. There it is. And we are now up to 54,670 points. That is portion of interest completed. A little bit of slayer XP, few points, not bad. Decided to sell some of my death runes. I honestly don't even know how I have this many. This should be 80 pointer. Completing easy tasks for a lot of points right now. And that is us finishing a lap as a penguin. Nice. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Killing eight penguins in five seconds. Dude, I've been clicking this chest for 450 attempts for a one in 200 item that happens to just not exist just so I can get 40 points. Uh, afterwards so we need a key basically and uh, let me just tell you we are not currently getting a key complain and you shall receive all right let's figure out what i can do with this thing with this key you can enter this little how should we call it little tower here on this little uh, island north of the isle of soul you can go down the ladder and apparently it is right in here so it has some decent chances but most importantly we get these 40 points I don't really know what loot I got from it, but we'll take it and we'll dip and we'll be happy with the 40 points we got for that. Since I'm so close to Dragon Tier, I wanted to finish off the 50 million magic as well. And I do believe I have enough points. It's just gonna take me a bit of 10x. All right, I'll do some like alking whilst doing other things then. I'm literally like few alks away. This task slipped through the fingers, but here is us making a magic shield. That is apparently an 80 point task. That's crazy. And here is us creating 50 Manafite Remedies for 80 points. And this is going to be us finally finishing the 50 million magic XP for 200 points. Getting extremely close. Less than 800 points away from Dragon Tier right now. Which was original goal for the series. But now that I see how many things I can still do for a lot of easy points. I'm kind of starting to get motivated to maybe start pushing for some of the ranks. Because at the moment of recording this I'm like rank I don't know let's say 800 or so. But I think I could enhance it by quite a lot. So we'll see what I end up doing. Uh, for now, I might go and do a little bit of Maspa. I made some Sapphire Dragon Bolts, and there's quite a lot of tasks regarding Maspa. So let's uh, let's give it a little bit of a shot, see how it feels. <laughs> Apparently, I just did a couple of tasks, and I got this Ancient Icon, which I believe I can complete another task with this. If I add this on my Ancient Scepter, and I believe that is a task pointer there. So that is a pretty good drop to get. I don't like this boss at all. But there's 500 combat achievements. What did I just do? I just did something. Thank you for the ancient essence. I get sp speedrunner. I guess I did it even faster. One minute and four. Uh, yeah, not bad. I mean, I'll take it. And we get a bunch of this ancient essence as well. Which we will need, I think, to saturate our heart. I believe that's what this is used for. Oh, and this boss also drops unfinished dragon bolts. So that is even more... Oh, and this I can turn into 55 brews. For some XP there as well. Uh, that's pretty good. I'm going to take a look at what other tasks are there for Maspa. Maybe I can complete all of the combat achievements with this boss. Okay, so this is the one where I do not uh, run. And I also got a frozen cache, which... What is this used for? Spirit Seed? There we go. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to try to also do 10 kills in one trip right now for another combat achievement. I believe that is us uh, walk straight, pray through another combat achievement. I believe this one is the one where I don't do any mistakes, but you know, I might be wrong. Uh, there's another frozen cache and there is even more dragon bolts unfinished, which is amazing actually. I did not know this boss drops so much stuff. I feel like that should be the combat achievement completed. There's usually spikes everywhere. All right, there we go. Essence farmer. I now understand what this ancient icon does. If I speak to Iblis, I found this weird icon and I'm pretty sure he will now go ahead and combine this into an ancient scepter. That should be a task. I think it's an 80 pointer. There we go. And this pretty much can auto cast uh, barrage spells and stuff like that. So, and I think it deals obviously a bit more damage than the other scepter that we just had. It's going to go in the bank, never to be used again, but we are going to be happy with the 80 points. Oh, so satisfying. 55550 five, 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 total points right now. We're less than 500 away from being a dragon tier. That's pretty cool. Okay, so this is where in the last kill I did not do it right. So we're gonna do it again now. That seems about right. Beautiful. Space is tight is now also completed. That was nice and easy. And from here on, I think I'll just go for Casey tasks because I don't... Oh, Ancient Brew. I don't even know what that is. 
uh, because from here on I genuinely don't know if I can kill it by smiting it with three different things. I mean I have smite, I have sapphire bolts, but I don't have an oh, maybe ancient mace is what I need. I think I can actually get that. I'll worry about that in the future though. Alright, and that is a phantom Maspa veteran. I think this is a nice place for us to stop Maspa for now. And as it is getting fairly late, I'm gonna do a little bit of room crafting minigame. There is a lot of points logged behind that. Or some clue scrolls, wait. I think I might actually do some clue scrolls. This one is very tempting. Fill 50 easy clue collection log slots. Here is lucky 13 easy caskets. I just need to get a bunch of unique and these vestment stuff can be extra points that we don't have as well. So starting off pretty nice. That is pretty decent. That's 25 easy clue scrolls completed as well. We're going for 50 uniques, I believe. Uh, but as you can see, we're getting a lot of rolls right now, which is really good. Uh, but we keep it going. Uh, that's Wheezy G. I believe if I equip full G um, of the this thingy, it's also a task. So that's pretty solid. Ham joint. That's pretty cool. Uh, Team Cape I. I do believe this is... Okay, it's not a task, but that is a pretty cool looking cape. Okay, more, uh, dude, you're getting so many uniques of this. Armadillo robe legs, that can be useful as well. Very solid, actually. This is what maybe I've been missing out not doing elites earlier. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of points here that I can get almost for free. We got three more. Let's see if we get a bit luckier. Couple more uniques there. Black cane, that's probably new as well. Iron plate skirt G. And we got the last one for some more stuff. Let's take a look. So I didn't quite get it, but I probably got fairly close. So I now have 46 out of 50 uniques that I need. So we're gonna do a little bit more clue scrolls. We got eight more. It is pretty late night. So we keep it a little bit on the low. We are trying to get to 50 uniques. This is one more, I'd say. Nothing in this one. Maybe one more there. Not sure. Hopefully this is new. And yeah, there it is. Fill 50 easy clue collection log slots. That will be a 200 pointer, I think. There it is. Perfect. We are now 240 points away from the dragon rank. But of course, we have five more. I don't know if this is what I was missing. That's pretty good though. That's usually the same thing. Oh, I think I'm missing Zami Miter, which I think you can only get from medium clues. Nothing there. And a couple more uniques there. Not too bad at all. And here is five more mediums because this will complete 25 mediums in a row. And we are hoping for pages and we're hoping for miters. That's an armadillo. I don't know if that's the one I need. That I don't think is unique. Maybe. Hopefully. We'll see. Nothing special in this one. Yeah, none of the pages were unique. And we have the last one. And that is not a unique, but we've now completed 25 clues, 40 points, 55.800. I'm gonna go grind something chill right now over the night, and we got another casket. Let's see what do we get. There we go. Alright, ladies, gentlemen, with this Karambo one right here, we have gone and done it. Exactly 56,000 points, meaning we are now a dragon rank, the highest rank you can achieve in League. We took our time with it, obviously with the next grind and everything, but eventually that was our goal, pretty easily achieved, and obviously right now we are very early in December. So here I have two thoughts really. Thought number one is I make another character and I grind another character up to dragon rank because I think it is super doable and I would take completely different relics, completely different areas to make it nice and interesting. Uh, but what I'm more leaning towards firstly is actually fully bissing out of the account. That is finishing on the Mazori chaps, finishing all the bosses, finishing Leviathan, finishing Duke, finishing Maspa. Uh, everything there is to finish really, maybe all the god swords from the um, god wars and stuff like that and then transition onto the new account. My new account is honestly looking very good already, that's why I'm very tempted to start recording some of the progress on that as well. But for now, I think we're sticking to the main, we're finishing up more tasks and uh, I just wanna let everybody know that there is an option where I make some more content on another account. But uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting, not gonna lie. But for now though, I do believe it is time to go and do more bossing. 
But I guess before I go ahead and do more bossing, it's probably pretty fitting to check for the trophies right here. Oh wait, I do remember this. So the reason I can't claim this, I've been dragon rank every leak but this one on this account because I remember this was my secondary account and I did dragon rank on my Iron Man account basically. Which is a bit of a shame because I can't claim this. But we can go ahead and claim the dragon trailblazer 4 rank and uh, see how it looks. I mean, it's literally the same, but I think it is better. Not gonna lie. I'll be wrapping this for sure. Looks good. And obviously you can claim all the other trophies as well. Might as well display them. Showcase it to you guys how they look. This is gonna be the dragon one. This is gonna be the rune one. Looks scuffed as, I don't know. Adamant one looks worse. Mithril one looks like a disaster. Steel one, oi oi oi. What is this, iron? And bronze. Yeah, we're gonna be wrapping the dragon one. Okay, I'm in the mood to do a little bit of Maspa. 26 KC at the start. We get a little cash. We get more essence. Not bad. I'm alking all of my battle staffs. I'm getting some seeds. Not the worst. Ancient icon, another one. We already have this, so this I'm gonna assume is now completely useless. It does alk for 60k though. It says high alk 60k. You cannot use alchemy on that item. So it's just a treasure item then for the bank. Sometimes this problem happens where I kill it too fast and there is no spikes that I can hide behind. Which is kind of funny but kind of weird at the same time. Anyways, I also need to start being more selective of what loot I'm actually picking up because will I actually plant all of these seeds? I'm not sure. Oh, two dragon. Oh, three dragon stuff. Nice, easy money. And there... Wait, what? What did I just do? Oh, 50 KC. All right, so that is going to be 80 points, a little bit extra. I think now it is time to move on to something else. I'll do these bosses in like smaller increments. Uh, but very good money from here. Like I think I made like 5 mil super quickly. Obviously alking my battle staffs and then getting like all the dragon and rune drops as well. Uh, I, what I do want to do is I want to get my construction to 50 million. Because if I do that then all the logs I can then focus on just burning or turning into fletching supplies. Because I do want to get most of the skills to 50 million throughout the course of this league. So I think that's going to be my next goal whilst I have the money. So you guys know how easy it is to make these planks. I just do this, boom, 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 spacebar, boom, 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 spacebar. And just keep repeating that basically. Alright, so I was supposed to train construction, but I ended up AFKing woodcutting all the way to 35 mil. And in the process got over 3000 mahogany logs and over 3000 teaks. I really need to turn these into planks and train some construction, uh, so I guess... That's what I'll do next, unless I end up AFKing here for many more hours. I made about 5,000 planks. I'll see how much XP this gets me. I want to maintain about a million though. Don't want to go into completely zero coins. It looks like I will be averaging about 17 million XP an hour. I don't know how much XP I'll get from these 5,000 planks though. Maybe this one does it. There it is, 25 million construction XP. We're now up to 56,480 points. Am I in the mood to do some PvE? Probably. Let's go ahead and do some more Leviathan maybe? Mm, actually, wait, wait, wait. There is a forgotten brew task. Let me get another point task very quickly if I can. Alright, so unless I did something wrong, I should be able to make... Okay, this is a bit annoying. I need 50 of those. Wait, let me just try to do one before I mess something up. Hey, there it is. This is what we got to do. We got to make 50 of those and then we even have tasks further. So uh, yeah, everything seems to be working. Let's uh, make sure we crash all of these nihil horns. Shards, I mean. And that should be us making 50 ancient brews for 40. And I do believe if I now take the essence out, I can get a 200 pointer out of this. Let's just see how this works. Is it like this? Yep, there we go. All I need to do is make 50 Forgotten Brews for extra points. And unless something bugged out, that is us making 50 Forgotten Brews as well for extra free 200 points. Not bad. No way, no way, no way. Lucky Impling. I need it, I need it, I need it, I need it, I need it. Stop, 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 stop. Yes. Dude. Oh my god, I just randomly stumbled across this. This guy was fucking sprinting. Oh man, I only needed this for points. 
I just wanted to kill Whisperer. Up until this point, I didn't even know I can kill Whisperer on this account. For some reason, he just slipped through everything. Uh, but yeah, that was the freest 200 points ever. I just ran into a lucky impling on my way. I still need to catch Dragon Impling as well. There's so many points I haven't gotten that I could easily get. It will just naturally happen. Uh, but yeah, almost 57,000 points. Let's see if we can do Whisperer with only range. It has plus 300 range defense, but who knows, maybe we can do it. Yeah, this boss is a bit annoying with range, because it has like so much defense. But I mean, I'll take 80 points for free, but I don't think I'll kill it too much more at the moment. Let's test Duke with range, but both of these kills are very lengthy. So I think I'll go back to Leviathan and just be there for majority of the kills. Ah, fuck that, the guy is so annoying. I'm just gonna die here. Wait, is this even... Okay, it is a south tile, so this should kill him, right? Okay, at least this kills him. Right, uh, yeah, this guy is... I mean, I, I, I literally watched a guide on how to kill him, I'm not even gonna lie. Uh, we'll be back later, for now. Like, I'm gonna take the 80 points and dip. This is, this is not it. Why was there, was there a pop-up? I don't know, I got 80 points, I think. Uh, the solution for this problem is we're gonna go do Leviathan until I'm bored. <laughs> what was that? I feel like I specced every hit. 30 sec... Wait, it's not even my best. <laughs> Wait a second, hold up. I thought this was a sick kill. It wasn't even my fastest. We got some smoke quartz. Still don't know what this is used for, not gonna lie. Our very first Awakener orb on 109kc. I've never done any Awakened uh, bosses, but once I am ready, I have that option. Okay, and right after that we get some Onyx bolt tips, which is uh, honestly really decent. 1.1 million worth there. The reason why I like Onyx bolts is it's one of my extra sustains when I put them on my Dragon Bolts. And it's just in general super useful in combination with my Soul Stealer Relic. It actually goes kind of hard because I can basically heal to full HP in almost no time when I use Onyx bolts on top of that. Oh my god, in a back-to-back -back Onyx bolt situation, we have enough Onyx bolt tips for... The whole league at this point, I think. Hey yo, new personal best, 026, we take those. Another Onyx Bolt tips, we are now up to 300, this is perfect. There it is, 150 Leviathan completed. I do believe I want to do a little bit of Chill Slayer right now. There is a lot of tasks regarding of just getting superiors. There's one for Eternal Gem. There's just like a bunch of tasks. And uh, also there's some Cerberus tasks I haven't done. Basically, lots of reasons to do some Chill Slayer. So that is what I'm going to do right now. Firstly though, I would like you to see how many Dragon Bolts we actually have available on the account and uh, I should really be fletching this whilst slaying. The plan for Slayer is simple, if it has a Slayer monster, we do it, if it's Cerberus, we do it, if it's Greater Demons, we probably go back to God Wars. So Jellies, I believe have superior version, they drop clue scrolls, let's go ahead and do those as well. First superior of the, well, this grind, let's call it. I know I've killed 41 superiors so far. This is the 42nd for nothing. That's completely fine. Um, I want to get to 50. 50 superiors is 200 points. That would be very easy, 200 points to get. For the first time, I'm actually going to do a little bit of a checkup on the high scores. At the moment, right now, as I'm recording this, I'm doing a little refresh, log out into a refresh combo. I'm actually rank 400. Which I think is a very high rank considering I have not been going for points whatsoever. I mean, it's been just passively getting to me as I've been hunting the beast piece. But I feel like 400 rank is honestly decent. Like, it's not bad. And if I really push for it, if let's say I get all the god swords, I get the full Torva, maybe I go back to TOA, I get full Mazori. All of those tasks are so simple. I could easily start honestly considering pushing for some higher page spots, so to say. But for now, we're just gonna focus on simple things, take it one step at a time, and uh, we'll kind of keep track on how the league points are looking like. But at the moment, rank 405. Superior spawn at the end of the task. You love to see it. Let's see if we get something from this one. Uh, nothing from this one. Lovely, this is exactly what I wanted. 65 Hellhounds. I don't know why only 65. Uh, but let's go ahead and do Cerberus. I only have 97 KC at Cerb. Let's take a look at how many I'm supposed to kill. There's one for 150 Cerb and one for 300 Cerb. So we're only gonna get to 150 in this task. If you need a little reminder as to what we still need from Cerberus, 
Here is the current collection log. We got the Pegasian Crystal, Primordial Crystal and Smoldering Stone. I would love to get the Jar and I would love to get the Eternal Crystal. Both of those would be points, I believe. I already have the boots where I could attach Eternal Crystal to. So let's go ahead and farm a bit of Surf. Wait, well, this is perfect. We just got an Eternal Crystal as well. Which is the last crystal we needed. That's crazy. I will still go ahead and uh, do up to 300 uh, Cerberus, of course. If I grab my Infinity Boots, I'm first gonna wear them just in case. Use the crystal on the boots and wear those as well. That's not points. I guess that's not points. But anyways, we have all the drops from Serb, which is huge. Uh, so from now on, it's just getting 300 KC. Continuing where we left off, we are gonna be doing some Cerberus. I obtained every single drop from this boss aside from Pet and the Jar. Jar would be huge, easy 200 points straight away, but obviously quite hard to get. And the reason I'm still killing the boss is simply because I need to get 300 kill count, because that is going to be extra points for our account. The boss is very simple to kill, only takes about a minute or so, and I don't use any supplies doing it, so this should be an absolute breeze. I have 44 left on the task, let's see if we get any more drops. My first crystal dupe is a primordial crystal, 28 million, we don't really have a use for it, but we'll take it, 147kc. And there it is, 150 Cerberus defeated for a nice 80 points, obviously gonna finish the task here, only have 12 left. And it also completes all the Cerberus achievement diaries, uh, combat diaries, whatever they're called. And I got a smoldering stone, nice, thank you, right, uh, this is probably the best dupe I can get, because I can use that on my axe to make sure I start uh, burning my logs, or I guess I could use it on a pickaxe as well. Just to put everybody up to speed, what we're doing right now is we're hunting superiors as well. So 150 Abbey Demons is gonna be a bit of a lengthy one. Here we have a Greater Abyssal Demon. We're hoping for Eternal Crystal. That's 200 points we still don't have, but this one drops us nothing. Another superior. Okay, nothing from that. We're getting pretty close to 50 superiors here. A little whip. All right, here's another superior and we don't get it. Another whip. Yoink. All right, back to Cerberus. Let's see if we... Well, I don't need anything, so just a kill count task. Here's the third Prim Crystal. Last kill of the trip. There's 250 Cerberus defeated. We just need 50 more, so the next task we're gonna be fully done with this boss. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and send some TOA runs with a very old friend of mine. We're probably only gonna do 300s. Uh, just some chill gaming. And uh, we see if we get lucky. Obviously, we need Mazori Chaps. That would be 400 points. We need Osmo Ten Fan. That would be 600 points for an Osmot and Fang actually because I also have the kit and if I get the shield That's also points. So I have a lot of points in TOA Obviously if we are doing 300s, it's gonna be I think half the chance to see a purple, but let's just send it Let's see how it goes. How many total points you have? I have 22k 14 okay, this is mine Bro, it's white dude. Why are we doing 300s man? This is bullshit. Oh, I see VA, bro. I see VA. I don't know if we can even get it with the dying. It is purple. Who gets it? It's yours, you scammer. The fuck? You're gonna get a fang as well because I need it. It's usually 600 points for free. Hey, congrats on the ring, buddy. <laughs> okay. Coconut milk. Huge. Back to Abyssal Demons for a bit. Let's see if we get more superiors. Little whip. Here's another superior, hoping for eternal gem. That would be the easiest 200 points we would ever see. But instead we get a whip and a dust battle stuff. I do believe I already have two of those. Another whip. I think it's like number 12 or so. It is always so hard to distinguish between greater superior demons and just regular demons. This one almost killed me, but let's see what he drops. Just a rune chain body, nothing too fancy. But this is one of those where I didn't even know this was a task. We just completed 50 slayer tasks. Beautiful. We just got 77 hellhounds and you know what that means? It is time to completely finish Cerberus. So if we quickly take a look, we have 250. We just need to kill 50 and then we are fully completed with the boss. Bada beam, bada boom, 10 kills to go, and we get another primordial crystal. I, honestly, if I was a main account, I'd be a happy boy right now. All of my crystals are primordial crystals, and those are the biggest money. Unfortunately, it's leaks and it's completely useless. And there it is, 300 Cerberus completed, that's 200 points, and that is this boss completely done.
Now, this is an interesting task, Greater Demons. There is a task I want to go for, which is equip every God Sword. And I'm lucky to have the next God Sword, Sara God Sword, and Bandos God Sword already obtained. I'm missing Arma, I'm missing Zami, but I'm also missing Staff of the Dead. So let's go ahead and use this opportunity to train Slayer and also do Zami at the same time. We're going to be starting on 101 KC, and let's see how long it takes to get Staff of the Dead, or... God Sword uh, Hilt, or both actually. Here's the first Steam Battle Staff. We are 24 kills in, first drop. I'm chomping on my food right now. Here's a Zami Spear, unfortunately we already have it. 133 KC, we keep it going, the kills are very quick. KC 141, we got another Zami Spear. Let me try not to die here real quick. I think I might die. Whoa. We good? A few kills later, we got another Zami Spear. Come on now, give me something else, I don't need Spears. Here's another Steam Battle Staff. Getting a lot of the drops, but all of them are unfortunately wrong. Here's another Steam Battle Staff. Uh, getting a lot of these. We are 151kc. Task is almost done, but I'm gonna keep going even after task. I do believe with everything I plan on doing this league, it shouldn't be a problem to do 50 million Slayer XP. So, I don't really benefit from being on the task, aside from actually gaining the XP. So, let's just stay here until, hopefully, we see, like, a good drop. Yes, there it is. Staff of the Dead is one of the first things we uh, wanted from here. That's gonna be very easy points right here. Let me quickly click this so I don't die. We click it. It's 200, I think. That's a big one. A very rare drop, by the way. We're up to 57,720 right now. But now the unfortunate reality is I need to stay here for a very long time to find a Zami Blade or Zami Godsword thingy. Uh, that's like the rarest drop, so I guess we can be here for a very long time. Very next skill, I believe. We got another Zami Spear. Ah, that's another Zami Spear on KC171. Hey, there is a Steam Battle Staff on KC192. Hey, we got another Spear here on 206. A little Steam Battle Staff. We have a little battle between Zami Spear and Steam Battle Staffs at the moment. Currently, Zami Spear is leading 7 to 6. Back even. 7 Zami Spears, 7 Steam Battle Staffs. Ooh, that's the same drop rate chance. We got another Staff of the Dead, number 2. This is uh, the drop chance that shares it with our Zami Hilt, which is what we need. So, let's just go right back, I guess. Nah, you're trolling. 3 Staff of the Deads. Oi, oi, oi. Alright, well, we're 230 deep. Might as well keep going, right? Another Steam Battle Staff. I actually did like an hour or two of AFK before coming back. We're up to 37 million wood cutting XP. But now we're back and hopefully we can get the hilt. Oh, that's another Steam Battle Staff, KC251. Ooh, oh, well, a little death, no problem. Uh, God Search R2, that's rarer than the hilt, uh, by about 200 KC, so a bit unlucky there, but we'll take it. I Zami Spear in the very next kill. Wait, that was the fastest kill I've ever done, I think. What was that? Six seconds. Six second kill. Yo, give me a replay on that. Uh, for a Zabby spear as well, we would get an item out of it. Dude, I'm pulling so many spears. Can I just get the hilt and get out of your 270kc right now? Still going strong. Kills are fast. <laughs> Another Zabby spear, man, please. 282kc. Another steam battle staff. We're done. We are done. I got the Zamorak hilt. Let's go. Nice. 305kc. Beautiful. We have now obtained every single drop from Zami. So now we have Zami fully completed, Bandos fully completed, Ziliana fully completed. We're only missing an AGS from Kriara and I'm in the mood. I'm gonna go back right now. I mean, I have the Arma chain skirts on me, so I'll literally just go straight to Arma and hopefully land on an AGS. But before we do that, let's grab our uh, BGS for now. Use the hilt on the blade and wield it. I will have to wield all of the god swords, so I'm just making this so I don't forget. And put this back on my hilt of bandos. Beautiful, this is so good. I was uh, starting to wonder with a triple staff of the dead drop there. Uh, but yeah, now I'm really excited to completely finish this. Back at Kriara, let's take a look at how long this takes. We're starting on 189 KC. Kill count 194 and here it starts. First Armadil chain skirt. All right, well, let's see how many of those we'll get. Ooh, that's rarer than what we're going after. That's a Godsword Shard 3. We'll take it. <laughs> Very next kill, Godsword Shard 2. This is some crazy luck, actually. 
All right, I was wondering when this was going to happen. So if I view my forest ticket, I now have 10,000 anima infused bark, which uh, if you're wondering how long this takes, let's just say it takes long. All right, I'm currently on almost 40 million wood cutting XP. Uh, so I guess if you don't have the harvester, you need about 20 mil XP. Most of it was done in a forestry world. But if we go to Draenor right now, I should be able to... I mean, I don't really know even how it works, I'm gonna be honest. I wanna see if I can make an Infernal Axe. So if I grab my Infernal Axe here, and I'm just gonna bang this one, not to make the wrong one. I wonder if I can make Infernal to Handed Axe, if that makes sense. So if I go into the shop, there's like a bunch of things. There's another thing we could get afterwards. But this right here, Feline X, I also need 500 oak logs noted, which I did not know. So let's get 500 oak logs real quick. 10,000 anima, I do believe I have 500 oak logs. I want to do it to my infernal legs, but I'm going to assume you can't. That would be like ideal. Yeah, it doesn't let it happen. So, oh wait, I probably need like a hammer as well. And I think I need to go to an anvil. Let me just attempt this to this. Okay, let's go to an anvil. All right, let's try it one more time. First, I tried Infernal X. Doesn't work. Then I tried Dragon X. And we are now converting it into a two-handed X, basically. Okay, if I wield this... This was the longest 80 point task I ever had to do. Now, if you do not know what this does, it basically increases my XP an hour and sometimes it can consume a log. Now, I don't really care about that because all my logs go directly to the bank. So maybe it's not even the best thing that I'm using it. But I mean, it was a pointer task after all. Now, I also need to make rations for this thing to work. And the way I make rations is if I go into my forestry kit, I believe I have all these leaves. I can grab out the leaves. So let's say, I don't know, I grab 50 leaves out and I just need to add fish to this. And that's basically what happens. So let's say I'm just going to add one Karamb one to test it out. And it makes 24 rations. So I think I'll do this for a bit. Oh my god, we're done. We got an armadillo hilt. There is absolutely no way. 208kc on arma, about two times over the drop rate. And we basically finished God Wars. So I think I can obviously equip all of them. But then I can just return to Zami and finish 500kc. Because I think that's a task as well. Okay, let's see if this will work. If I dismantle this, put this on that, wield it. That is 400. That's a huge task. That's gonna put us to 58,200 points. And I do believe I'm just gonna return to Zami. The kills were extremely fast there. And we're gonna finish 500 KC. And we're basically completely finished with all of the God Wars after that. There is a 400 pointer though for doing all the combat achievements, but I don't know if I'm good enough to do this right now. Ah, uh, this seem a bit annoying, especially like this. Kill the General Grader in privately rented instance without taking any damage from the boss or bodyguards and do that twice. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna maybe think about doing that later. With us equipping that uh, Godsword earlier, we are now ranked 367 on the leaderboards. And after I finish 500 of this KC, we'll keep taking a look at the leaderboard and see if we can keep climbing the league ranks. I wonder how many of these we'll see throughout the 500 KC. But there is another Zemi Spear on KC 317. Another one on KC 323. Here's another Zemi Spear, KC 329. And here is Staff of the Dead number 4. Damn it. I mean, I don't really care about drops, but 332 KC. That is pretty rare. Never realized how many drops you actually get from Zemi on leagues. Here's 334, another Zemi Spear. Spear, another Staff. 352, another Spear. Spear on 367. Well, we just pulled a Zamorak Hilt dupe. Pretty cool. We are 390 KC, 110 to go. A little Staff. Staff on 404. Spear, 75 kills to go. Another staff, less than 70 to go. Another staff, another spear, another spear. I have never seen this many items drop back to back. Like, I don't know, I think I have like almost 20 spears at this point. Anyways, 40 left to go. We got another staff of the dead. By the way, the good part about staff of the dead is I can actually alg them for 600k. When it comes to staffs, they're basically useless. They alg for what, 10k, and Spears Hulk for 60k, so Stuff of the Deads are probably the best dupe we can get. Another Spear, 30 to go. 
Here's another Staff of the Dead. I actually have a lot of these, so lots of money to be had. If we get 25 mil, we get a bunch of points from construction. If we get 200 mil, we get a bunch of points from construction. Or is it 100 mil for the gold sink? Either way, I need to make a lot of money, so all of these drops are actually adding up. KC481. We ended up pulling another Zemi Spear. We got a God Sword Shard 2 on the very next skill. Pretty rare there as well. We get a little God Sword Shard 3 and we are 6 kills away. I can see the end of the tunnel. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Okay, and here we go. That should be KC500. We pulled a lot of drops. I did all of that for 200 points. Was it worth it? Eh, I'm not sure, but uh, we'll take it. And we are now fully completed with God Wars. Obviously not with next yet, but God Wars is fully done. Now, I do want to check how many drops we actually have. So let's take a look. Alright, so first of all, I managed to complete only two full God Swords. Outside of that, I got uh, three God Sword Shard 3s and seven God Sword Shard 2s. We're missing a lot of God Sword Shard 1s. Obviously, we have um, all the hills still available. Looking at Commander Ziliana, we needed 302 kills to finish Zili. This was the most unlucky one because we got ACB on the very end. We needed only 104 kills to finish General Grador. Got all the drops. Very lucky there. I needed 208 kills to finish Kriara, not too bad at all. About double the drop rate for an Armadil Hilt, but still very lucky. And then obviously we pushed Krill Tsutsara all the way to 500 because he is the fastest boss to kill. And as you can see, he dropped us 6 Staff of the Deads, which is basically 3.6 million there. 24 Zamorak Spears, 15 Steam Battle Staffs, 2 Zamorak Hilts. Whenever in doubt, we can always return back to regular Slayer. I'm hunting superior creatures, I'm hunting Slayer task completions, and there's extra points to get all the way to 50 million Slayer XP. So let's start off with Jellies. Okay, I should be pretty close to a 50 superior task. I guess not quite yet, but there's a first superior Jelly for nothing. I still need Eternal Gem as well. There's a lot of points. I still got logged behind Slayer. Back to back superior situation. Let's see what do we get. There it is, that's the big 50 superior slayers for 200 points. There is more for, I think, 100 superiors, but it's a much less points for that one. And we would now be above 300 in rank if we were to refresh, which is actually pretty surprising. I didn't think 58,600 is like that high of points, if that makes sense. But I do believe most people, after they reach Dragon Tier, they probably quit. That's why we jumped so many, like, leaderboard ranks. I'll take it. I'm gonna keep slaying for now. I do wanna get 25 mil. I wanna do uh, get Eternal Gem and stuff like that. Blue Dragons is a bit of a short task, but a perfect task regardless. I'm just gonna go back to Vorkaf, farm it. We need both of the Visages. Dragonfire Ward would be best in slot probably for me. So let's see if we can get like It's only 53, but I mean, before I'm 50 million Slayer, I might as well do these tasks as I get them. But whilst we're at it, and whilst we want to do some Vorkath, I might as well finish all of my Combat Achievement Diaries. In 6 kills, I'm gonna finish 100 KC, which is gonna be the task. I need to do a melee kill, and I need to do a fist-only kill. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem too much with my Banker's Note, so let's go ahead and green log the Vorkath Combat Achievements. Wait. That was probably smart, even though I did it unintentionally. I, if that ruins the kill, that would be rough. But if I can just die every three minutes, this might actually be something that speeds up this by a lot. Okay, so I'm pretty sure it's back. If this doesn't work, I'm wasting so much of my time. Okay, just tank it like a man. Okay, one more. Okay, we try it. If this doesn't work, this task would literally take me half an hour to complete. I guess I just... Either I don't have good enough gear or I'm doing something wrong. Let's see. Please tell me this will work. If this doesn't work, I'm sad. I think I did it. Yep, it worked. Oh man, shout out to my Undying Relic. I died four times. And it basically worked. Now all I need is 100 KC, and I even got the melee one as well, by the way. Stick him with a pointy end and the Fremenic way. So if we quickly take a look at my combat tasks right now. Beautiful. Vorkath is going to be green logged in 5 kills. Nice. That's amazing. 
And there it is, 200 points for just completing Vorkat combat achievements and that's 100 kill count as well. Very good, I am trying to figure out what I even want to pick up from this, but maybe I want to give prayer a bit of a shot because if I don't need to pick up all of these dragon bones, it would be, I feel like a lot easier to like manage everything, if that makes sense. So I'm going to see how much experience I have banked in prayer. I could always just do pest control as well. That's also amazing prayer method, uh, but I just want to see how much XP per hour can I get from superior bones that I already have and all the dragon of bones that I have in my bank as well. Oh yeah, the XP here is gonna be decent, fellas. And I have a lot of bones, so let's see if I can get maybe to 25 mil mark, something like that before I continue. Oof, dude, am I really gonna... I wanna see how high this goes. 25 million an hour. 42 million an hour. Wait, we can get to 45, surely. Okay, looks like we stabilized at about 42 mil... 43, hold up, we're going up. Yeah, superior bones are crazy for prayer XP, not even gonna lie. Looks like 45 miller is doable if you have uh, hands. We'll try all the different bones, but uh, looking at these XP drops, it seems like Dragon Bones Plus is all gonna be worth uh, using myself manually. Okay, let's take a look. Dragon Bones are half of the XP, but that should still be, what, 23 mil an hour? Yeah, looks like Dragon Bones average on like 22 mil an hour. And Dagenav Bones, obviously, right in the middle, 30-something mil an hour, probably 35, I misclick a lot. So yeah, I think with all the DKs, with all the blue dregs, I'll probably be picking up all the bones, because, uh, yeah, it's just a fast way to get to 50 mil XP, I guess. My next AFK activity, when I'm not woodcutting, is now mining, and it's mainly stars at the moment. I am trying to get everything I need from stars. I think one is to have this celestial uh, ring. And then I think this is for the gear afterwards, right? Fragments of a long dead star, you can use it to recall a prospector. So I'm going to be needing four of those, I believe, and then one of these. Let's just start off by using this and wearing it. Uh, purchase a celestial ring that's apparently just already straight up a task. And uh, yeah, now I just need, I think, 12,000 stardust in order to finish a full golden prospector. So that's going to be the next AFK goal to look towards. Ladies, gentlemen, a lot of mining later, we're up to 19.7 million mining XP, and I think I've done stars since 99 mining, but I do believe I now have enough stardust in order to complete all of these that I wanted to do. So we buy one of those, and let me just see how this works. So this is a collection log pop-up, and I can use this on this. Combining a star fragment with a piece of prospector equipment will recover that piece gold. If the star fragment will be destroyed, the process will be irreversible. Let's go ahead and do that. So that's now a golden prospector helmet. That's 80 points. And how about we go ahead and we buy one, two, and three. And we now go ahead and use one on the body. Wear it. One on the boots. Wear it. And one on the legs. Wear it. And that's going to be 200 points. On top of that, we now have full golden prospector. I think for the rest of my mining XP, it's just going to be full on AFKing essence mine. It's like 300k an hour and I never need to move. I never need to touch anything. We've fully completed stars. With all of that out of the way, we're now up to rank 355. I mean, this in general is pretty slow points. It takes a lot of time to do, so I could do some faster tasks right now. <laughs> I'm back in the Giants Foundry, but not to actually play the game properly, but I saw Ditter's video, I saw Solo Missions video, I'm just gonna make 100 shit swords in order to get 160 points for free basically. So we're just gonna grab commissions, I already have all of the rewards from here, we're just gonna still grab the best stuff, all the best stuff, set the mold, and now instead of actually using the good quality bars, we're just gonna grab all of our iron ore, which I have infinite amount of, and we're just gonna throw all of this basically away. Now, I could also be buying like bronze bars, bronze plate bodies, you name it, what? Oh, do they need to be bars? Oh shit, <laughs> wait, wait. Um, okay, I have some bronze bars, we're fine. I'm gonna go buy some uh, bronze plate bodies probably. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering, you just grab a sword and then you just intentionally mess it up. So you see my quality is going to zero and then you hand it in and it counts. This is us handing in 50 swords, halfway there, let's do 50 more. 
All right, nice little relaxing, less than an hour, and this should be 80 points. Very cool. Uh, never need to do Giant's Foundry ever again. And uh, I will be finishing 50 mil smithing from Blast Furnace, which is a million times faster. And then I'll be turning the bars that I make from Blast Furnace into darts. And then I'll be training my fletching up to 50 million that way. That's what I'm thinking, at least at the moment. All right, here we go. We got a little per do we? Do okay, it is purple. Is it mine? It is mine. Okay, okay, okay. I want a fang. Fang is 600 points for me right now. Mazori chaps are, I think, 400 points, and the shield is like 200 points. So, as long as it's unique, it's point central right now. Let's take a look. <gasps> That's huge. That's the best item we could get. Massive improvement from the whip. Oh, that is huge for us. First, we wield the Osmothan's fang. That's gonna be points, and then we put a kit on it and wield it again for even more points. That's literally the best thing we could have gotten. That is amazing. Alright, so here we go. We now have a cursed phalanx, and if I attach this to Osmotan's fang, and we wield this thing, that is now on top of the 200 points, an extra 400 points, putting us basically at 60,000 points. And I'm gonna do a strategic logout login right now, because if I were to take a quick look at the high scores, right now I think we'd be pretty decent. So let me take a look, a little refresh. We are currently rank 306. So with that task, I pretty much jumped, what, like 60 ranks or so? That is huge. Goodbye, whip. Welcome, Osmotan's fan. <laughs> My very next goal is going to be to get exactly 25 million coins because with that I can build a demonic throne and the process of getting that is going to be simply alking all of my stuff of undeads, all of my light bearers, zami rings, uh, bludgeon pieces, stuff like that. Just going to alk basically majority of my bank and see how far I am to having 25 mil. Uh, that's going to be a 400 point task and I uh, this is one of the last things I think I want to achieve in this episode because that's also going to increase our rank by a lot. So Staff of the Dead's gone. I don't know if I have enough, I'm going to be honest. I'm also uh, alking all my dupe uniques. I'm leaving one of everything in my house uh, but alking absolutely everything else. I'm trying to find alternate ways to make money and I have about 50,000 karamb ones that I've just AFK fished and I think I can sell this. I don't know if it's smart that I'm selling 50 at a time, but I have so many that, yeah, this is going to be quite a lot of clicking. The shop buys it for 90, so 10 would be 900. Yeah, we're going to make okay money with this and I can always go and AFK more karamb ones. I still haven't received any skilling pets. That's also 200 points, but I already have... 50 million cooking XP, so there really is no reason for me to hold on to this. And yeah, this shop buys this for the most price. I don't know if I'll be able to get 25 million with what I have, not gonna lie. I'm gonna attempt it though. I have just finished alking all or most of my alkables and we're left with 14.9 mil. So basically 15 mil. I'm nowhere close to 25 million goal I had in mind. However, I will be doing a lot of work at... We left off the last episode with about 14 million, basically 15 million in cash. One of my first goals was to get to 25 million so I could go ahead and make a demonic throne in my house for points. That is still my goal, and the way I'm gonna achieve that is by doing a little bit of Warcath and just in general Slayer. So, my Slayer is only 18.5 mil, we need to get superiors, we need to get 25, 32, and then 50 million Slayer XP, all for amazing points. So, I guess the plan right now is simple, do Warcath for as long as I have the Blue Dragon task, and then keep doing Slayer or keep doing Warcath, depending what I'll be in the mood for. There is 150 Vorkav defeated, 80 points, at 300 we get another 80, but I'm probably gonna end up doing a lot more uh, Vorkav just in general because of the bones, because of the money, and because of the visage. I do need to get the visage drop in order to equip, well, all three visages basically. It's gonna be quite a process to get there, but for now, a little bit more Slayer, maybe a little bit more AFK. Let's uh, see if we get uh, any good tasks. So if you guys do not know, what we are going for are mainly superior tasks. So anything that drops superiors is basically what we are after. We got a task of Dagonoff Kings and I need to kill 300 of each Dagonoff. So we're going to be here for a bit. Let's see if we get any drops. I mean, I have everything from this place already. So everything is going to be a dupe, uh, but let's see how long it takes. Here's the first axe. Archer's Ring. I'm not sure when it happened, but the total points being at exactly 60,000. 
looks so damn good, not gonna lie. Uh, I've also started to fire make while I do these bosses. I don't have many logs though, so maybe I'll do some giant mall or something like that. But usually, whenever I need to wait for stuff, I just do uh, some form of skilling. Whether it's fletching, whether it's fire making, something that I can do on the side. But battle staff? I think I'll just start alking these, I don't really need them. Warrior ring? And I started doing both caves, so I do the slayer cave, I loot my bones, and then I leave, and then I do standard cave. It makes things a little bit faster. We got another archer's ring, couple more dragon axes as well. Another archer, we got 70 to go. Here's another B ring as well, I think it's time for me to hit the bank real quick, I got too much stuff in my inventory. Another zerk ring. Another Zerk Ring, we got 24 to go, and yeah, I'll only do this on task, because this is much faster, I can go up, kill one, go down, kill the other, it's good. Little Warrior Ring, and we are just about done, let me pick up this, I'm also gonna arg this, don't need it, pick up that, three more, and we're done. Here's Little Choke Devil, I should really be doing this with chins, but uh, yeah, I'm just tagging all of them and then AFKing, basically. We are still hoping for an Eternal Gem because, well, we need it, and we get nothing from this one. Superior number three of the task, and I'm gonna be doing regular Slayer all the way until I eventually kill 100 superiors. I do believe that's the last thing I need to do. No eternal gem from this one. Another Choke Devil. Maybe this one drops it. It did not drop it. And the last one at the very end of the task. Let's see if this one has something. And again, nothing. I'm gonna be doing some necks, but I'll just do it in a mass world, I think, because I don't need to do solos anymore. I would do it with, like, trios, I feel like. Okay, so I just went to a next world, got a little, uh, how should we call it, a little trio here, and uh, let's see if trios are much chiller than solos. They should be. I don't need a specific item. Yeah, they should be pretty relaxing, I think. Obviously, if you guys are unfamiliar, uh, we are looking at Torva Helm and Torva Legs, and then I green log this boss. I have the pet, I have the crossbow, I got the Torva body so far. Okay, first next back, doing some trios, start off with cannonballs and super restores. Oh, and he got Torva plate body. Well, I'm happy I didn't get that. <laughs> I have like three of those. Okay, let's see. Can we get a back to back with a trio? Nope. Oh my, he, three kills and he got the Torva body and the Ancient Hilt. Oh, he's getting lucky. Okay, next skill, we get uh, just supplies. Uh, we get some soul runes and coins in the next skill. 168 kill count. No, we get some soul runes and air runes. Nothing in this one again. And in this one we get, again, nothing, unfortunately. Let's take a look. Is this the one? It is in fact not the one. My last skill for now, I'm probably gonna go ahead and AFK maybe woodcutting to 50 mil next, uh, but let's see if we get something on the very last skill. Oh, he died. Oh, and I get Zarite Vampresses, but that's my fourth one. No. No, another pair of Zarite Vamps. Damn it, that could have been it, man. That could have been it. All right, well. We will take it, and we will go ahead and do a little bit of vlogging right now. It's something about this last kill of the day, man. I always get something, uh, but it's never the right thing. But that's okay, we'll take it. You know, it's a nice addition to the bank. So, 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 hold on a second, yeah? I was just gonna go back to next, and then I noticed I have a pet. And then I click this, and I noticed I have 200 more points. So at some point, while I was AFKing woodcutting, I actually got my first skilling pet. Don't know when it happened, but we got it. It's right here. Another pet on the leagues, which is really sick. And I'm up to 44.3 million woodcutting XP. So only gonna do this for six more mil XP. This is a quick reminder to let you know that if you are enjoying leagues, you should probably subscribe. Let's see, let's see. Coins and cannonballs. Another kill. And we get uh, blood runes. Okay, let's see what we get from this. I like the kills when they're this fast, to be honest. Nothing. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. And we get the blood runes and water runes. Diamonds and air orbs. We get some ruby diamonds and... Wait, we get some rubies and some diamonds, I guess. Let's see what we get from this. Oh, we got some nihil shards, 40 of them. Another kill. And back-to-back -back nihil shards, 37 this time around. We get some dragon bolts. 
Dragon Bolts are always amazing. And I think all of my Onyx Bolt tips that I have, I'm gonna attach onto my Dragon Bolts and then I will be turning those into money, basically, by alking them. We get some Blood Runes and Rubies. Diamonds restores Bruce. I'm taking a quick break, making all of our Bolts. So I have something to alk to keep working towards our 125 million cash stack. It feels so weird alking Onyx, Dragon Bolt, Enchanted, but I have so many runes, I got so many Dragon Bolts, really. And uh, I think I'll alk until I get to around 200, and then I won't alk anymore. But I'm getting very close to 25 mil cash stack, so that's the first milestone. Some solo runes and coins. Okay, a little duo for some uh, rubies and water rune. Some rubies and prayer potions. KC 188 one already, and I will be trying to go all the way to 300 KC. Because that's the last point task and then obviously if we don't get lucky i do want to finish full torva because that's 400 points right there okay this one is it i feel it i am feeling it right here it is not it we'll take it though we keep going oh some nihil shards on kc 190 this one is really nothing ecumenical keys and prayer potions wait maybe i could make all of these ecumenical keys and then just all all of them i didn't think about that but that would probably be a decent way to make some money Okay, let's see, how does this even work? Can I just keep combining them? And then I alk them? Since when can you not alk ecumenical keys? Dude, I swear that used to be a thing. I'm trolling. Uh, Dragon Bolts, nice, and Blood Rune. Wait, 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 I didn't see it. Uh, Magister got a Torva plate body. He said, ah, oh, fuck, so I think this is something he already has. No back-to-back -back situation. We get some Rune Ore, though, which is not too bad. KC195, we got some Rubies and some Zamorak. And we get some uh, rubies, so nothing too crazy there. And last kill of the day, will it be again the something? It's usually something always on the last kill, but this time we do not get anything. I'm gonna go prepare the AFK right now and I'm gonna chill for the night. However, Runor is not the worst drop. Okay, some early morning duonex. Let's see if we get something. Start off with death runes and coins. We get some Dragon Bolts, and we are now over 200 KC, so 99 to go for points. Some Blood Runes, Restores and Brews, Soul Runes and Ecu Key Shards, some Diamonds, the very next KC. No, no, I'm MVP and he got the Torva Full Helm. No, I'm gonna say grats, but I'm tilted as fuck. <laughs> I need this. Okay, we're back in business. Some Uncuts, some Prayer Potions. Some uncut diamonds, some coal in the next one. Since it is quite late, I'm gonna go ahead and do my Slayer task of Dagonoffs. I'm still gonna work towards 300 KC on all the bosses. Here's a little B ring, and we're getting very close to 150 KC. Little Sears. There we go, an 80 pointer for 150 kills of each. Halfway there. All right, and with this kill, this should be the full task completed. We actually got. Uh, Decent amount of drops that I didn't record because I was playing on a laptop, but we got up to basically 21 million Slayer XP and our kill count is in the 200s right now. So basically two more Dagonov tasks and we are fully completed with these bosses. Uh, that's pretty good. I'm probably going to do a little bit more chill Slayer, push up to 25 million Slayer XP. All right, so what I'm doing right now is a Jad task, but... I am not praying and I'm trying not to lose a single prayer point. I don't know how much these guys will hit me. It might hurt for all I know, but my solution to this problem is by just simply never praying. Just getting hit by every spell and just never turning the prayer on. And we'll see if that's a good strategy. But I also need to not get hit by these Tuzkich guys. That's basically the whole idea. These guys, bad. If they hit me, the run is ruined. Okay, so I guess the wave that's coming right now will be the hardest because there's two majors. And I really should be flicking, but like, I don't wanna, <laughs> I don't wanna mess it up, let's put it that way. Let's see, as long as I can isolate one, it should be fine. Okay, I see it's gonna spawn up there, so that's pretty decent. Okay, we kill this one first. I'm not gonna do anything fancy. Here I would like to intentionally die. But I didn't, I'll have to do it again, where the healers don't uh, heal him. But I'll worry about this next time. So I've done the 
yeah, you didn't say anything about a bat, so I didn't get hit by a bat a single time. Then I also should have done no time for a drink, so this is the one where I haven't used a single prayer potion, and we have another cape. So if I look at the combat tasks, we've done the two annoying ones, I'd say. So if we look at the Jad, I'll obviously be killing Jad more. I'm gonna be doing uh, this five times, and then I'll do the full melee one, probably once I have the full Torva. And killing it without the healers touching it should honestly be quite easy. All I need to do is be low HP before the Jad, get one hit, die. Basically, I kill it with my retribution. Oh, this is the melees. Okay, so this is the melees can't heal. And this is the Jad uh, can't get healed. All right, so all of these seem very doable. So we'll work towards completing those in the future. If I want to get to 50 mil farming, I really should be starting to, let's just say, do this more often. But uh, it is what it is. Nice little 750k XP there. Little superior uh, jelly over here. Let's take a look if uh, we can finally land on an eternal gem. We've done almost 75 superiors, which is also a point task. And then we need another point task for 100 superiors. Do we get eternal? We do not. Now let's take a look. Another superior. And no eternal gem. Another one. Third time's the charm. Come on, little eternal gem situation. Ah, we got another dust battle step. I think that's number three or maybe four. I got 100 blue dragons, meaning that is 100 Vorkath. However, I don't feel like doing Vorkath at the moment. Problems, I know. Let's just go ahead and do a little bit of Giant Mole. I do need to kill 300 of it. Or actually, let's scratch that idea and do a little bit of Maspa instead. Now, if we quickly take a look into our combat tasks and we look for Maspa, we are only missing one task, meaning we just need to do the Phantom Maspa Manipulator. I'll figure out if I can do this and I'll go ahead and do it. That's easy points right there. I want to get it done. I'm also going to go ahead and alloc all of my dragon axes, aside from two, because I'm really only missing 3 million woodcutting XP, so this can all be turned into money. But uh, yeah, Maspa should be easily doable, so let's get it done. Okay, so I'm kind of failing right now, but I'm sure at some point in, I, I'm gonna hit it. Basically, I only need to walk, never miss a prayer flick, get all the spikes around, and basically not get hit by any avoidable damage, so it's just gonna take a few attempts. Okay, that should do it if I don't mess it up here on the last attempt. Okay, that spikes everywhere. I've dodged all the avoidable damage, and I've walked through the whole kill, so that should be it. Light work, 200 points for completing all of the combat achievements. Now I can just grind out the KC, not worry about the details, and I can just go ahead, kill it 300 times, get all the points from this boss. Now it should be a breeze. Beautiful. Only took me three kills, three attempts, and we got it done. Sick. Also, shout out to my comment section. If you have an ancient icon, you can use Pestle and Mortar, and it turns into 5,000 essence. If we look into my essence situation, we now have 72,000. I think I need 150,000 to saturate my heart. So how about we go ahead and we do a couple of Maspa kills. But first, I noticed I have all of these dragon javelin heads. And if you guys do not know, these actually alk for a decent amount. I actually need to make them into javelins first because it's also experience. But I do believe the only way to do that is by having a regular logs and then using obviously knife to make the javelin shafts. I don't think you can make javelin shafts from any other logs. And how about we try this out just to make sure. See, you can only do regular shafts. So we're gonna go ahead and do basically a thousand of these. And I also think this is a task to do these uh, dragon javelin heads or whatever. I'm gonna double check that. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna be chopping regular logs for a bit first and uh, making them into javelin shafts. So yeah, let's get this done. So there is in fact a task to create 100 dragon javelins. There it is. How much is that? That's 200 points. I didn't know it was this hard. Never mind. This actually alks for way less than this. I did not know that, but regardless, I'm going to make all of this into javelins because I like fletching XP. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. Venator shard. Is that the bow thingy that I just pulled? I think so. I think so. 7.4 million. Let's get out of here. Let's figure out what this thing does real quick. We're on 63 KC. Okay, I was on the right track, but not quite. I need five of these in order to make a bow. And then all the excess ones can just be turned into the essence. So this is one out of five. Let's keep it going. Let's just say I've been checking the drop rates and I should have four Venator shards by now. And I have one because it's one in 20 drop rate. Well, one in 100 in main game, one in 20 
in leagues. So I'm very unlucky uh, when it comes to Venator shards. I'm just hoping I can get it done by 300 KC. I wanna try to see what happens if I do this. Can I skip the phase? Ah, it heals. Interesting. So I thought that maybe there is an angle where I skip this phase, uh, but no, you have to still do it. 83 KC, enough mass spot for now. I'm gonna go ahead and probably park myself at the trees and finish off 50 million woodcutting right now. I got AFK for a bit. And after that, I'm probably gonna have to AFK mining as well. I'm just gonna park myself on rune essence rocks. It's like 300-400k XP an hour, and it's like completely AFK. I click once every 20 minutes, and it gets me essence, which I can then use for 50 million rune crafting XP as well. Now, you may be wondering, why are you AFKing so much? Well, simply put, today is going to be a little bit of a day off. Oh, also, 22 million, 3 million to go until we can get a bunch of points there. I'm so close to so many points, but I don't really see an angle to where I could make more money. I'm jumping in ideas of what I want to do, but I'm so close to 25 mil. Maybe it's not a good time to start skipping what I'm doing. So how about I sell this guy all of this stuff and uh, let's see how much... Not bad. When, when, when I'm doing pyramid, I'm going to start stockpiling those. Because this guy buys both stone and uh, gold artifacts for honestly decent money. I was unaware, but this shop buys my rubies for 700 coins and it buys my diamonds for 1,400. We probably have enough money just in that. And I can also sell all of these runes to store shops. So let's get 25 mil. After I do reach 25 mil, I still need to make 100 mil more. So money is good right now. Um, but yeah, I did not realize how much money I just had in that. There it is, 25 million obtained. Let's get a bit more and uh, let's do that big task. So what I need to create this demonic throne is left click buy one. We're gonna need 25 magic stones and each one of those costs a million. So well, let's say goodbye to our money. Boom, 25, we have some extra money. Let's grab the hammer, let's grab the saw, let's build this thing. I need to build a throne room. There it is, good old throne room, we build it. And all I need to do is we need to build the throne space of a demonic. Let me just not mess this one up. Yeah, demonic throne, 99 construction requirement, 25 million spent on this thing, 400,000 XP, 400 points for this thing. We're up to 61,280 and uh, we look like a demon actually. I like it. But as I said, I'm gonna park myself and AFK right now. But first, we need to check the high scores. Current high score situation is we're ranked 303, so nothing too crazy there. Let's go ahead and finish 50 million woodcutting and probably a lot of mining. I'll get to you back once I'm done AFK. Here we go, 50 million woodcutting XP, and I'm probably just gonna move on to mining right now. I am currently playing New World, the new patch, so uh, we're just gonna AFK this for a bit. Ladies, gentlemen, they should do it very fast. So I've been AFKing mining and when I'm not AFKing I've been doing a little bit of mall. This is us fully completing the mall by killing it 300 times and we have gotten 177, wait hold up a little bit more, 349 mall skins, a lot of mall claws, I'll trade these in for nests, put them in the bank and then use that to get my farming XP up. Boys, I'm gonna be completely honest, I've just been AFKing these wyverns on my laptop while watching TV and uh, we got it. Wyvern Visage, 1 in 13,000 drop and uh, this is our first out of the three Dragonfire Shields that we're going for. Arguably the worst one for us, but let's go ahead and figure out how to make this thing. It's gonna be probably decent points. And now I'm completely finished with all the Fossil Island activities. So that is pretty exciting. And we don't have that much left to do in this league, to be honest. Let's start working on the other shields. So I know I said I did everything Fossil Island related, but I really didn't. So how about I actually do everything Fossil Island related? Okay, we'll start with this. That is 16,000 XP for 40 points. <laughs> not bad, not bad, we take those. Uh, the next thing, obviously I'm gonna come back here and uh, actually make the shield. Okay, so I do believe if I use my visage over here on the strange machine, we are now a proud owner of one of the three very rare shields. Here's the ancient wyvern shield for a grand total of 200 points. This is a beautifully looking shield and uh, yeah, unfortunately it's magic related. So on Vorkath, I'm probably gonna get DFS and 
the other shield, which I don't know the name of, which will be a full best in slot shield for us. But for now, this is a very good start. But now I have one less activity that I can AFK on, which is a bit of a shame. That is us mining Runite or Fragment. Uh, for, well, 200 points. Somehow that is 200 extra points. And now I need to unlock a thing here, but I'll be honest, I have absolutely no clue what I'm doing. So I have to figure out what is going on. I just ran out and that was me completing a volcanic mind game. Uh, I want to see how many points that was. So that was 920 points. I need to check. I need to buy something from here. All right, I figured it out. The very last thing we need to do in Fossil Island to completely complete everything Fossil Island related is to buy this ultra fertile soil spell. We are on 920 points. Let's see how long this takes. Okay, this is a very advanced method. You start the volcanic mine, you pick the rock, you put the rock down, you mine the rock, you wait for the rock to spawn, you do it all over again until you have 300 points and then you leave and you repeat. And I'm going to do that until I have all the rewards. All right, and just like that, ultra fertile soil spell. Let's go ahead and unlock it. And that's also 200 points when I read it, maybe? There we go, buy an ash covered stone, 200 points. We just got 400 points like that. I'm gonna do a quick relog and check what rank I'm at the moment. We're currently ranked 318, maintaining our around 300 rank, pretty nice. I just spent my morning doing mage training arena. There's a 400 point task here I still haven't done. And honestly, when I do TOA, I kind of don't want to do it with void anymore. I want to have a little bit better gear. We're on 62,480 points. If I trade this guy, I have grinded quite a decent amount of points. I already have Master Wand, Mage's Book, Bones to Peaches, and I've also purchased Infinity Boots already. So let's go ahead and see if I calculated this correctly. Start off with a top hat this and i'm a bit sure on the alchemist and i don't know if i'll need another pair of infinity boots let's see if this does it this does not do it so let's go ahead and get a little bit more points i can now purchase infinity gloves as well and oh man i need another pair of boots because i made them eternal wait maybe with this oh never mind there we go it works Okay, I don't need to do another pair of boots. All right, we're chilling 400 points nice and free. Here we go. Another TOA. We're just hoping for Mazori chaps. There's a purple. It's a duo. It's not mine. Best of luck. I'm gonna assume he just needs a shadow. And he gets a ring. You hate to see it. We get a Breach of the Scarab, a bunch of diamonds, some Cactus Spines, which is actually decent, and a lot of Dragodar tips. This is actually probably not the worst white chest you can get. Ay, ay, ay. All right, I died, so this is not gonna be mine, but best of luck. Ooh, Mazori head. Oh, nice new item for him, and we get a bunch of dragon darts, which is pretty good. Many hours of AFKing later, and obviously a lot of uh, clicking. Here it is, 50 million room crafting experience. And as you guys know, when I'm doing other things in life, I'm at the moment just AFKing the rune essence mine, all the way up to 37 million mining XP. So I also got a bunch of points there. We're now up to 63,680 points. And I think I need to do a little bit more AFKing and then we'll figure out what we are doing next. Here is Maspa KC number 100 and I'm almost at the saturated heart. However, I still only have one Venator Shards, which is insanely unlucky because I should have five by now and I should have the bow completed as well. Uh, but I do believe I'm missing like 4,000 Ancient Essence. So let's get that quickly and then we make our saturated heart for more points. There we go. I believe it took us 104 KC to be able to finish the saturated heart. If I grab my essence, I have over 150,000. If I grab my heart, we have it. So let's go ahead. I've never done this in RuneScape before in my life. 150,000 essence in order to make this thing. And uh, maybe I need to use it for points. There it is. 200 points for that. Boom. This now boosts our magic level up by 13 levels permanently until we basically run out and we need to click it again. In the last league, I plan to do an episode number 21 as well, but unfortunately life ended up getting a little bit in the way. But last league was easily one of my favorite time playing the game and I hope that this league ends up being just about the same. I'm going to be with you guys basically every single day of the league, both on the live streams and with the daily uploads. So I am extremely excited for the leagues to start. I'll see you guys very soon. Have a beautiful day and bye-bye.